his action or what he tries to do with the ball, but he tries to dot it up here and yeah. build the pressure. Play that holding role, it almost looks like. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, that's that real low ball. Yeah, Sailor's played that very well. Yeah, so Peter Sailor, a little bit short of runs for his standard of lay. He'd be looking to go for something big. He'd been given a life on zero, so maybe it's his day. It could be, and I think there was a little bit of a twinkle in his eye this morning. I was think, there? Yeah, I think he's really, really keen to uh, cash in here. Is that allowed in the commentary box? We'll, we'll accept it. We'll call it a Coca-Cola. Yeah, just been handed a nice, refreshing Coca-Cola, <laughs> and I really, really... In the, the, a Coca-Cola in a green can, which is... I've never seen that before, but thank you very much. That's Eddie, Limited new edition. member of the club. He's already given us a bacon sandwich this That's morning. Phenomenal. If Eddie is listening out there... Oh, he's right here. Uh, yeah, That's um, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke, Corey, but anyway. Um, yeah, bacon and egg rolls be much appreciated. Oh my word. They usually, they usually say after a big day that a Coke always helps you the next day. It gets you back on the horse a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, while we have Scotty Edwards in the commentary box, please get your questions in via YouTube or the VSC Rotterdam ECL page. You might want to pick his brain about the ODI Super League. Next week, Utrecht, Kampong, three ODIs. Who's your player to watch out for on the island team as I'll call in this ball and you can have a think. It's full outside off and steadily blocked back. Yeah, give me who you're most, well, not worried, but who's your biggest threat in the batting lineup of Ireland and the bowling lineup of Ireland? Yeah, well, it's obviously pretty hard to go past Paul Sterling. Hell of a uh, player. He's a world class cricketer. My word. Um, I think if we can manage to get him cheaply in a couple of those games, it's going to put us in a pretty good position. Um, yeah. That's a lovely shot by Peter Sainer. If the viewers out there have watched much of uh, Ireland in the Super League... Did you see his 100 against England? Uh, Paul yes. Sterling's? Oh, just and mowing it over mid-wicket and through the offside. A couple of games in Dubai as well, I believe, he's against a, Afghanistan. He, he's just been picked up in a couple of franchises yeah. of late as well. I know he got picked up for Islamabad United in the PSL and impressed. He also impressed there, so he's definitely a batsman to look out for. What about it in the bowling brigade of the Irish? Who are you... Uh, who do you see as one of their main uh, main competitors? Uh, that's a tough one. They're quite a, just a steady bowling lineup, the Irish. I don't think they've got that many. Oh, blow watch what you away. say, Scotty. You might get a couple around the chin if you keep saying <laughs> that. Any Irish bowlers tuning in? Uh, there's no offence meant there. But I think they're just quite a. Um, George Dockrell, the left arm. I haven't seen yeah. their team that's been named, but I assume he's there as the main spinner, yeah, maybe. Th him and Simi Singh are probably fighting it out for a place in the middle order um, as an off spinner. Um, but I think they just work quite well. They're a bit of a working class bowling lineup. Is it a little bit similar to the Dutch, or do you think the Dutch have a little bit more firepower? I think there's probably. I don't want to be biased. I'm no, not of biased course not. in this commentary. But, you, we uh, can be a little bit. You do play for Holland. be a little bit biased. Um, I think there's just that little bit more firepower. Um, if you go back to the World T20 uh, qualifiers. Yeah, unbelievable. I think the. The Dutch bowlers just probably showed their class on what's quite hard wickets to bowl on. We were talking earlier with Pierce Fletcher up in the commentary box about how lucky and impressive it is that the Dutch Pace Brigade, it is out of all the associate nations, as uh, Julian DeMay well flighted and flicked into mid wicket. Yeah, out of all the associate nations, that is a pace cartel, we like to call. There is a, an abundance of fast bowlers, abundance. Yeah, and they just keep coming out. It Even seems. Ryan Klein today, yeah. with a Dutch passport, Absolutely. looks nowhere near out of place. He bowled beautifully. And it's blocked again, and we get into that middle overs of a 50 over game where it might be a little bit slow and a little bit steady as a VOC to do a rebuilding job. But yeah, the likes of Timmy van der Hutten, Freddie Clarsen. Freddie Clarsen's here today. Yeah, is he is he popping into the commentary box? Did I? I don't know if he's actually allowed rings? on the scenes if Fred's allowed to come up here today. I'm going to go find out, actually. You can take over for a moment. Okay. And so Fifi comes in to bowl, and Peter Sailor, <laughs> poor name, and Peter Sailor just blocks that into the offside. Um, from the looks of it here, these two batters are just going to try and get through Julian, I think, as he comes in again, and just blocks straight back to him. That's what it looks like to me. Change of over, that is three for 47 after 17 overs. What did I miss, Scotty? Uh, I was just saying, I think the two batsmen out here are just looking to get through Julian DeMay. Yeah. I don't know how many overs he's bowled now. Is that probably... It's probably six, I think. Let's six get, or seven. Can we get back onto the fast bowlers chats? We got yeah, Timmy, okay. you got Perfect. Freddie, Logan Van Beek's Shane Snader's just Shane taken Snader. a seven for, for Essex a few yeah, weeks unbelievable. ago. Unbelievable. Uh, you got 
Paul Van Meeker and Vivian Kingma. Uh, Vivian's... I've been watching Viv bowl yeah. in this last couple of months. Is in red, red yeah. hot form. My Absolutely. word. Getting it through. I'm sure there's a few others that we've not named that are on the precipice around. But for an associate nation, the fast bowling stocks are unbelievable. Yeah, scary absolutely. even. Tell you what, we'll take a couple of them down to Belgium if they live there for three years, ten month life. I'll take all of them. <laughs> You've been telling me how good the Belgian bowling line. Actually, is. we do have a nice little cartel growing there. Ashley Kula Said and Khalida Mardi, Sabazakil. All Belgian names and if they're Roger tuning in. Uh, Oh, look, we're everywhere. I hope everyone in Holland and Belgium and all over. Go, I know some viewers are in Australia watching right now in yeah, the UK. Yeah, We've got a yeah. couple of messages through. Which is no, it's nice. It's great to be live here. It's Ferdy Vink, the captain of RBS, is going to continue and well bold and Arnav Jan okay. right behind it. So yeah, like we said, like we said, in that middle overs of a rebuilding and. Ben comes in with a comment and talks about how Julian Demay went and played Premier Cricket for Joondalup in WA. And he did. I, I'm from WA myself. So he went and played there two years ago. He went back with Jaron Morgan, who was the overseas for RBS. And Jaron invited him to come back and play for Joondalup. And I think that's helped his experience a lot. That's a short Ooh. outside off and beats the bat and well kept by Toby Savisa. Your compatriot, your uh, keeping partner? as My, my Dutch keeping brother yes yeah so yeah. as keepers do you two actually ever talk about keeping or go into the inner sanctums is there a keepers union uh, or maybe it should be started no we've got quite a good relationship me and toby but yeah. is there a you know how the fast bowlers stick together yeah. spinners stick no, together no we don't really maybe you should start one maybe maybe we probably need a third though i don't think it's much of a cartel if there's only two of us well would you call it a cartel if it's keepers i mean it's a fast bowling cartel what would you call if it's the keepers keep... keepers are a bit funky you're a bit weird right? we are a bit weird yeah, you I'll need a, you need a bit of extra room in your bag because you've got pads and keeping pads and all that yeah, but you're all tennis balls golf tennis balls, balls yeah weird. anything weird you can think of is probably maybe we can right try now. and think of what a keepers group would be called yeah okay and again that's really well played Oh, geez. Just Give us your excited voice, Dixie. Sorry. It wasn't that well played. It was just a nice cricket <laughs> shot. Just down to short third, man. They've really oh. tightened up this offside field. Mm, um, that's a good... looking to dot it up. It feels. Oh, and we've got one of our viewers saying watching from the UAE also. United oh, Arab word. Emirates. I hope you're enjoying the live coverage oh. here at VOC. As Ferdy Vink comes in again. And probably, I wonder if they think this wicket's pretty, pretty similar to the UAE. No, I've been a in... A little bit of... Uh, nah. Slow bit of spin... Maybe, maybe, but this is a great question coming from Roman. Who would you choose, and I'll, I'll ask you, Scotty, who would you choose if you had one transfer, RBS to VOC? Ooh. Who are you bringing Ooh. in? Is this for on-field or off-field? Yeah, we'll do both. Okay, okay. Um, so on-field, who are you bringing, who's going to help the cause? If you had one transfer, a golden ticket. I think just from the makeup of our team, you're probably taking Ryan Klein. I think we're Ooh, that's an extra good... fast bowler would be nice. Yeah. Um, so that's that's my on-field. I'm call. going for I'm going Julian Demay. I just want spin. <laughs> Fifty overs of <laughs> I spin. Mind it. I don't mind it. No, okay. And then if you're going to bring in someone for an evening, the well, night it captain, has to, it has to be Tobias. Tobias Yeah, he's a he's All a right. good man, Toby. I say uh, bring back Berent Westy. Yeah, no, that's well said. <laughs> bring him out of it. He's one of the greatest on yeah. the circuit. Unbelievable. Yeah. And Julian Demay continuing. How many overs has Julian bowled now? I'll have to check the scorecard. But he's been bowling since the second, fifth mm. over of the day. Sixth over of the day. Can you do the numbers for us, Scotty? No. Um, not a numbers man? No, nah, not, well, not this morning anyway. That's well yeah. flighted. And Julian That's bowling a really, really tidy spell pretty, here. Pretty clear here that um, both of these batsmen have no real interest off trying to score against this. Um, I think they're just going to look to try and get through him. I don't know if Harbius has an extra spinner, do they? That's well played. Uh, you've got Navjeet Singh will maybe bowl some mediums as that's worked to the leg side just for a single. Who will come in? They've got ha Reese Mason, I think, bowls off spin. Uh, Adil Ahmed, the mid on fielder there, leg, leg spin. spin. He's leg spin. Quite slow flight. Slow, but when he gets it right, he revs it. He yeah, okay. really gives it a turn. It could be interesting to see a bit later this afternoon. Um, okay, as there's a slight change in the field, just pushing point a little bit further backward. Oh, which like leaves it. point open. I like this field though. No, I'm a huge fan of this field. Look at those catches around the bat. I love seeing it at VOC, the yeah. catches around the bat. Yeah, they probably need one on that leg side just to get that, that photo from Renee, I think. I have a question that's come through from JJ Kawaja. Scotty, what do you think of Baba Azam? Interesting. Uh, do you know who it is? 
I do. He's an unbelievable batsman for but, Pakistan. But, yeah, good. Yeah. Good from you. I'm all over my cricket knowledge, Corey. We've been doing quizzes these last few weeks. Yeah, we have been. We've been on fire. The house is getting a little bit cricket there's, orientated there's at the some moment. Serious cricket nuffies in the kennel. Who's the days. biggest nuffy? Oh, actually, sorry. Before we skip on, Babar's um, thoughts. Yeah, just just, just a, a class, gun. Class cricketer. Yeah, Unbelievable. Not player. much more that needs to be said about. Yeah, about that's anyone, fair. I think. Julian Demay continuing. That's a little bit shorter. Oh, and that is flown to first slip. Oh, that's not even an opportunity, to be honest. He's he's edged that off the Gain back foot. Pace. It's actually flown into <laughs> Navjeet Singh's heart. That's, is that Navjeet? That is little Navi, I think so. It might be Teo Wahlberg. I'm not too, no, it may be Teo. Um, yeah, thickish sort of edge, and that's flown into his chest. I don't think even Mark Waugh, one of the great slip footers of all time, is catching that. <laughs> I know I'm not. Into bowl again. That's a bit short. And that's cut away. Uh, and so that is it's probably four, I think. This. Yeah. So that's probably the first real, real long hop in a while. And good shot by Dutch captain and VOC captain Peter Saylor. And it's might have taken that name. Maybe not. With some yeah. words yeah. in the background about Jacques Callis, also another good slip field. Best slip field has been you've seen sticks. Uh, my second eleven premier what? captain back home. Unbelievable. He took more catches in a season at second slip than I did as keeper. So I dropped a couple as well. So it must have involved some big outies down there in the Victoria oh. Premier League. And you were previously named, recently named the Jack Ryder medalist. What did that mean to you? Yeah, I was uh, a little bit surprised, to be honest, Corey. Well, why I... were you surprised? You got told a week early. <laughs> so you, that, is, that is true. You were told that a week true. early before the presentation, and then you had a whole yeah. week to prepare a speech and... How, would, how did the speech go? Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, One of the those worst. Who, who know me well know I'm very good under media pressure. Well, it's funny you and I were just talking as we get back to the live action about the extra spin oh. option, and it is a deal, Ahmed. So good call from you. Um, he bowls leg spin. I've played with him before, uh, faced him before as well. Gives it a big turn, but he's either hot or cold. So Man. if he gets it right, he can cause a lot of trouble in this wicket, or he can be prone to bowling maybe the full tossing. But most leggies do do that anyway, don't they? It's very, it's a difficult art. Probably yes. the most difficult art yes. in cricket. I think the the key for him here is just going to be his pace. If oh, and that's that a flight sort of, of pace isn't isn't quite going to do it out here. I don't think. Um, I think he's just got to be a little bit quicker into the wicket if he wants to get uh, sort of value. Otherwise, he's sort of just relying on them to hit them up in the air yeah, because yeah. it will sit in the wicket and Peter's just going to look to cut this out to um, cover sweeper every ball I would have thought yeah let's see what Adil Arma can do RBS really pushing for that fourth wicket and that's a better length and that's easily better. left yeah, yeah that's well bowled that's well Working bowled so I think a big contest in this game they need a deal to uh, have a good day here because Julian DeMay has done his job Ryan Klein's done his Ferdy Vink steady so RBS being niggly here and that is flighted and punched back. So, leg spin, one of the most difficult arts in cricket, Scotty. It's not easy to do, is it? No, it's not. And it's it's one of those ones as well where it is it is very hot and cold. Um, oh, absolutely. There's not very many leg spinners out there that are consistent um, on a regular basis, I suppose. I'd like to see Peter Sander maybe use his feet here and get to these balls on the full. And just... Yeah, I think that's definitely an option. Um, he's probably just looking to see a few, um, see how consistent he's going to be. But, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if if he looks to get out to a couple of these and, and spread the field a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's well bowled. That's really real bowled. And you can't be going, oh, in the commentary box, Scotty. Come on, mate. Let's be neutral. Like no, nah, you got to be well. Okay. You were out there and then you kicked and your bat I'm and then not. you threw your bat. So it's probably better you're up here. Except we'd move on from that, Corey. So no, thanks for apologize. bringing that up again. Cambo, if you're watching, I hope you're not watching. Um, sorry. That's that's poor for me. It won't happen in the ODI Super League. Imagine if it happened in the ODI. Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting... <laughs> That is and short and punched and punched away for one. It's really well played from Arnav. And just looking at his batting from last week, I think he was quite solid. He probably struggled to score a little bit, Arnav. But on this sort of wicket, that patience is, I think, the way to go about it. If he could get, you know, best case scenario, sort of thing, a 50 off 90 balls um, is doing a great job. And that takes us there. to drinks with the score at 3.57. So while we're at drinks, let's step away from a little bit of the cricket chat. Perfect. And let's get into a little... Well, this is sort of cricket related. I asked Pierce this before. What are your three favourite kits in top class? Who's got the best kit? Because Harby S, I think, have the best. And who's your two bottom? 
Are we allowed to say that on air? Well, it's just talking about personal preference of colours. I don't think it's... We're not being vicious. These are... Oh, I just want to make sure these are Corey and Scott's opinion. I apologise if anyone takes this the wrong way, but it's just an opinion on colours. Okay. Um... <laughs> I think RBS have the best kit. RBS's kit, each year they are always doing something funky. I, I love it. I love what they're wearing. Black with a little bit of white and red hats. They look it's good. It's a very football type look. I, I sort of like that. So I, I'm more it of a, is a football club. Is it? Yeah, I'm okay. more of a traditionalist. So who's, like. who's your top three? Give me your bronze. Obviously, VOC's in there. Nah, you can't have VOC. It's a TNF. You play kit. for his. No, yeah, absolutely. Don't give TNF a plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's your third favourite in the league? Third favourite. Your bronze medal. On the podium, but not really up there. I don't mind VRA's kit. VRA, okay, yep. that's a fair one. Yep. So they're third. Black Who's your and, second favourite? Second blue. Uh, second favourite would be. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Think. Oh, you've got the Excelsior yellow. You've no, got the HCC yellow. You've got the uh, Dosti grey. Punjab green and black. Yeah, Punjab's not bad. Who else are we missing? How uh, many teams are playing? Sparta, what were they? they I think they were they red. Were, and... They were almost us. I thought yeah, we were I playing ourselves. <laughs> little intra club game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> didn't mind Sparta. So Sparta Spartans. second? They're, they're okay. in there. And then yep. who's your gold? Who's your number one in the league? It can't be us. It's us. No, nah, it can't be us. Okay, if it can't be us, if we're taken out of it, then. Uh... Come on, Scotty. You've got this. Oh, you're melting, aren't you? I'm, I'm just thinking. The I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Dosty, just because I like Dosty. <laughs> the grey of Dosties you got. It. Well, that's it. funny you say that because Pierce Fletcher had them as the worst. Right. Well, Interesting. Okay. So tell me, what's your probably not your favourite? Not your non-favourite colour? I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of the yellow. So uh, HCC HCC or Excelsior? Choose one. Does it have to be one? You have to just choose one. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen Hasa Seas this year, so it might have might have improved a little bit. But the last time I saw it, uh, it wasn't the greatest. It, it was just a bit bland. I wouldn't mind a, a little well, bit more flavour in it. For a wealthy club, Tony Stahl, if, you, doing if a, you're listening. Tony Stahl's doing a good job down there at he's, HCC. He's, he's a good man, but, uh, Tony. Yeah, maybe they could improve those kits. I know they have a strong Instagram game. They do. They've got a very strong Instagram game. Do we give them a shout-out? I don't know if... I don't know, but maybe we should give some scores around the grounds yeah, if you want to get TK old. Cricket up and maybe... Curtis de Jong's around, he wants to ask some questions while we wait. Uh, I wasn't on it, I'll take a look. Alright, Corey, we've got okay, thanks. our first score is uh, Hasse playing Excelsior. Where are they playing this game, sorry? Oh, well, uh, while you do that, I'll just answer a question. You get ready for all the okay. scores. I want you to get the KNCB live up. Uh, I have a question come in from Dara of Solanke. Does anybody have any insight how the run rate is just 2.5? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I would say some strong RBS bowling, some big wickets of Scott Edwards and Max O'Dowd, and uh, just some disciplined cricket. And also the pitch is it's just a little bit slow at the moment and it's taking turns. So it's not the easiest to get away. But we're sort of thinking up here in the commentary box that a pass score is around 160 to 170. So the next little bit is very important. And I can't believe what I'm seeing to my left. Oh, my it's word. It's the big man. It's big red. Freddie Clarson all the way from Kent has flown. Do we get him across here? He, he's flown all the way to the comment. We've got to get Freddie Clarson in the commentary box in a moment. What a moment! I haven't oh, seen this man this in a is, year. This is huge. Can he cricket. bowl today? Can he? Well, I think we've we've put him in the twelve. So I he wouldn't might be, be surprised the, if Freddie he Freddie might be in the eleven. He could be coming in. They should have taken Pierce Fletcher. <laughs> Kent made a mistake. They should have taken Pierce. But it's good to see Freddie here, the uh, big man. I've missed him. If anyone doesn't know, Fred Clark looks like he's put on a bit of weight from uh, from this angle. I'm hearing three passports. They call him now. <laughs> We'll get him in after for a bit of a live interview. But yeah, so great to have Freddie. He played for VOC in the 2018 success scene. Then he moved to Kent. Yeah, he left Kent. us. He left us. He so. left the Kent fast bowler now and also Dutch international. So he's yeah. flown back in for the ODI Super League. Yeah, very excited to have, have the big man. Yeah. Uh, Is he staying at the kennel tonight? I, I would have thought so, yeah. I think he might be in your bedroom, actually. He's, he's requested the big room, the oh, big dog. As long as I'm sharing a bed with him, I'm more than happy. And these are opinions are all of my own. <laughs> As uh, Scotty's going to get some games. So we've got the first game of the day that we're going to give you. HCC versing Excelsior. Scotty, what's the score? Uh, so HCSA is batting first, and they are three for 44. Interestingly here, Corey, 
We've got Tony Style coming in at number five. Sorry? Yeah, so I'm not sure. Maybe a few pecan changes last night. a little bit cowardly night. if you ask me. Yeah, Tony Style, I'm not sure if you're Tony listening. Style. Coming in at five? It's, well, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit different. As I tri- like Tony coming and opening the batting and you know just getting on with the opening bowlers over their head. But as we get back to the cricket here, yeah, Julian Demay still operating. He's bowled really well so far, and that ball is blocked. And both batsmen now opting for the cap. Big fan, yeah. huge yeah. fan of that. It'd be great if we had a couple of floppies out there, even. Yeah, well, I think we're working on a floppy and a uh, TNF jacket also coming unbelievable. through. Unbelievable! I can't wait for that. As that sun really is scorching down now and well bowled again and blocked into the offside so a few other scores around the ground Scotty what else do we so VRA one for 67 versing Dosti probably Ben Cooper we spoke about earlier out earlier as we mentioned but you think VRA probably too strong for Dosti there yeah I think at one for 67 off 13 overs they are they are pretty well placed uh, with quite a strong batting lineup as well I think they'll I'll get the chocolates in that one, Corey. Yeah, uh, and then the other game, we've got VCC playing ACC. What's the score there, Scott? Uh, it's 1 for 25 off 8.3 overs. It's quite slow. Oh, it's probably been updated since then. But we'll go back. What else have we got? Punjab, none for 114. Oh, hello. Let, oh, 19 no, overs. They're playing Sparta today as Julian DeMay bowls very well there and blocked into the offside. So having a look here, and that's Stefan Mayberg, 42 not out of 47, and Remet Zulfika, 68 off 70. Is that at the Zoma Complex? No, it's not. So no, that's, that's at Sparta. At Sparta. Sparta struggling a little bit this year with uh, no wins recorded just yet. And just had, oh, that's a moon oh, ball bowled. What and has happened there? Uh... He's too fast. Arnav's not happy with that. Yeah, but I don't know if he's signalled a dead no, ball. So that, has that gone down as an official delivery? It has, and that would have been extraordinary had he missed that. Un, I've seen some things in my time. That's definitely a new one. As uh, I get a co- good message from our good friend, and uh, he wants a shout-out, and we don't like to do shout-outs in the country, but Dennis Costa. Oh, my word. What a human. Is he, why is he not out here? That's what I want to know. I heard he's got rickety knees. Rickety knees? Yeah. He did go down, actually, he, in that game. Do you remember, I played. played with Dennis Costa for a couple of years, yeah. and unfortunately, Dennis's 24-year-old body just couldn't keep up with the rigours of cricket. He is a big man. He's, there's a lot of pressure going through those knees. Yeah, and we're happy for you, Dennis. I heard you found love recently. Oh, so Another little, man. Yeah, another man down. Hit it, Overdyke, gone. Dennis Costa, gone. Two of the greats. Two of the greats. Lost. Lost. But no, Dennis, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you're enjoying all the live coverage. We're going to have... Robert Van Oostrom as well, later today, joining us. The RBS commentator is going to be in the box. And we're going to have big Freddie Clarson in the box as well. Oh, looking forward to, to tuning into that. Oh, my word. And we're going to have Adil Ahmed continuing from the pavilion end, bowling his right arm leg spin. And it looks like they're going to bring Ryan Klein up from deep mid on into the ring. That's a good decision. Um, yeah. Just tempting Peter Saylor to... Uh, to look to go over the top here, which I think he probably will, to be honest, if he can get to one on the full here. As he comes in, flighted. Oh, and that's well played. So I hope just to... <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, so... Yeah, we've already said you're here yeah. all day. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry, just a little pause as we're reintroducing an old friend back to okay, VOC, and Adil Ahmed bowls a bit short, and... Peter Saylor hits that straight to cover. He'd be disappointed not to get that one away. And, uh, yeah, it looks great. And uh, as I just warm up the commentary box, and we're going to bring him in. All-round good guy. Three passports, New Zealand, UK, and Dutch. Freddie Clarsen, welcome back to VC. How are you, Freddie? I'm very well, Corey. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. I haven't seen you in about a year. You look like a little bit taller. Six foot eight now, six foot nine. Something like that, mate. Yeah, it's good. It's been more than a year, though. So yeah, it has been a year, mate. It is good to see you. And how is it feeling being back at VOC where you used to play 2018 season before you went to Kent? <laughs> Absolute goosebumps being back here, mate. That's the ground used... is looking a picture and the weather is beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, none of the bears are flying, but... Uh... It's these times at the moment, I suppose. Yeah, let's use our outside voices, Freddie, but it is great to have you back, and you'll never walk alone, an avid Liverpool <laughs> supporter. So while we've got Freddie... Oh, that's a long hop, and that's Peter Saylor's oh. hit that straight to mid-off and almost dismissed, so funny day of cricket. I think you find that was actually a full toss, not a long hop, but anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh, we've got some expert comments here from the big man. So, Freddie, they've flown you in for the ODI Super League. As you see your old friend Max O'Dowd walking up as well, is it? Big smiles on the face, everyone. Freddie, how are you feeling for the three one days next week? 
Um, I don't know, it's good to be back in the in the uh, motherland, to be fair. Yep. Um, feeling pretty good, I think it's going to be a couple of three tough games. Ireland are kind of like the old foe, really, aren't they? they we've sort of... Yeah, the Irish and the Scottish have always got against us, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, no, nah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to some competitive cricket. And how's things going at Kent? I know a lot of our viewers tuning in around the world, they're loving the county circuit and they're They'll be curious, how's things at Kent? Alan Donald's still the bowling coach there? Uh, no, he's, he's, he hasn't been there for a couple of years now. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit behind. The hair's gone a bit greyer. But yeah, tell us, how's things going at Kent? The county circuit, the rigours of cricket, they say. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Obviously, last year was, like, any, like anywhere, was impacted largely yeah, by the pandemic. Yeah. So um, we, got, we got two months of the season in, to be fair, uh, which is still competitive cricket. And then this year... Um, we're just sort of slowly getting crowds back, which is which is good for the game, good for the fans. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's going alright. Oh, good to hear. As Julian bowls a short ball outside off, and it's cut beautifully to backward, oh, forward cover, and uh, big red. <laughs> it's just good to see you, mate. It's just good to it's see. Good you. I think too, Corey. everyone's the big Arsenal, the big man. He's just back in the country. Is Ryan out Van Earshot, big smile on his face. Everyone's just happy to see you, Freddie. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Julian DeMay operates again. So these ODI Super League games coming up, Fred. Yeah. I was asking Scotty before, but he couldn't name an Irish bowler because he hasn't done, done his study yet. But who would you say is the key batsman that you're looking to maybe dismiss or get a hold of in this series, if you're in the starting 11? Uh, mate, the Irish have, have a lot of dangerous batters. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, you've obviously got the old campaigner, Kevin O'Brien, yeah, very dangerous. He's still going around the old boy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, skipper, obviously Paul Sterling. Yep. Very good batter. Uh, William Porterfield. Yep. Sorry. I was wrong there. Bell Burney's the captain, also a dangerous batter. So, mate, they've got... It's difficult when you're playing the county circuit so much to then go to international cricket and know so many players. I can imagine yeah, it must be difficult. Yeah, for sure, mate. They're, but, you know, the Irish top six, this top six is very strong. I would even say it's probably their strength in their in their team. Yeah, so, um, and that'll be uh, live in Utrecht at Campong. Have you played at Campong before? Yeah, not for a while. Been good, a couple of years. Good tease. Yeah, is it? Oh, <laughs> my word. We did a little, I think it might have been an intra squad or maybe a Seafarers Hurricanes a few years ago. And oh, one yeah. of the best tees at Campong, my word. Was that when you were on the coaching staff? Back yeah, then, got or? the sack of the Rolly, got a hold of me, took me out back and just shafted me. But that's all right. We've moved on and uh, yeah, <laughs> things have happened. But yeah. no, it's great to have you here, buddy. It's yeah, great it's to have to you here. Yeah, you see how, talk us through how's the Belgium stuff going. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky here and there, but it's an enjoyable job, Freddie, and we do are looking for a bowling coach. So I'll bring Piercy down, but he's into too many chalky digestives. Yeah, he's okay. come back about 15 kg bigger. So, yeah, if you're free. And what's happening going forward with the qualifiers? No, gone. You guys Denmark missed. get free passage. You guys missed out. <laughs> we missed out, mate. Two years in a row, they've canned the ICC qualifiers and they've gone, Denmark's ranked above you. They yeah. get the ticket. Well oh. done, Denmark. Well played. Yeah, bit of, bit of chaos. But now the pandemic's coming to an end. It's good to have COVID cricket going on here. We're doing two tests a week now to play these games. And okay. Yeah, it's good to have top class back, mate. It really, really is. Yeah, very good. As Adil uh, Ahmed continuing from the pavilion end and that's a slow leg spinner. Not too much turn there. And Arnav just touch that into the leg side. So Freddie, the county circuit, who's the best batter that you've been coming up against? I remember you texted me last year about how to get Hashim Amler out. <laughs> I don't know, he's unbelievable. But what, what, what's your thoughts and who's, who have you come up against that's really giving you a bit of a hard time? Um, mate, there's plenty, plenty, of good bats, plenty of good batters out there. Yep. Um, with 18 counties, it's hard to you know put, your, put down a one. Has yeah. anyone impressed you extremely? They're all, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good, yeah. <laughs> you're playing a pretty good standard, that is true. You don't get many bunnies out there, mate, so, uh, you know. No, no, that's fair. Who is your bunny? Have you got a bunny yet? Or dismissed someone multiple times? No. Nah, Come on. Definitely Don't not. sit on the fence, Fred. No, I, I, I don't. I don't. No, not yet. Lacking the wickets. Obviously. Who is your bunny in top class? Um, it was you before we... we were <laughs> you did. <laughs> before you came in. I got one cover drive away and then you just took me poles out. <laughs> Oh jeez, as Adil Ahmed continues, and that's a long hop, and Peter Saylor has moosed that down the ground for four. So, Peter dropped on zero by Stefan Vink, starting to get going. The captain's been a little bit out of runs of late, but looking all right in the net, so hopefully he'll go big for VOC today. How about, while we've got you, we reminisce on the 2018 season, while you were in Dutch cricket with VOC, 
how did it feel to win, be a lands champion and win the top classer with VOC, your brothers, before you deserted them? Yeah, man, it's one of my most memorable moments in cricket, to be fair. Yep. Yeah. Proudest day to speak, I'd say. Really? Yeah. It's actually funny, you got brought up last week, they were pulling that old wheelbarrow around, and oh, I was yeah. like, I remember when Freddie was lying that out during the celebrations. Yeah, yeah the, celebra the celebrations were definitely good. Yeah. They were, they were worth it. Yeah. And that's hit to cover by Peter Saylor. No, that was a good year. You bowled fantastically well. We had slips, bat pads, everything around that year, didn't we? It wasn't just it wasn't just my bowling though. We obviously had Pierce at the other end, and uh, you know yourself opening the batting. With, oh, uh... Do you remember that day when we didn't have a few of the boys, and I put you at four, <laughs> getting excited like you're looking good, Freddie. You're in at four. Yeah, you put a lot of faith in me. Yeah, I batted at five that day. I don't know what happened. I let you down at four. I don't. I don't think I made a beam. Yeah, I think you had a good spell though. You had four for nine or something off ten. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's great to have you back, and uh, there's a few rumours going around you might be at the kennel tonight. Uh, no, that's, that's oh, wrong. okay. There you go, though. that's why rumours aren't always truthful. It is rib night at the house, though, and uh, we've got a new Joe, Smokey Joe's Ribs, uh, every Saturday after a long day of top classer, 20, 28 euro for a kg, 1950 for 650 grand. Are they a sponsor? Of the commentary team, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. Uh, it looks like a little... Navjeet Singh looks like he's about to bowl off spin. Well, didn't he bowl little in-swingers? I thought so. Uh, as I look to Scott, who's just behind the oh, contra yeah. box. Um, okay, interesting. So we've seen Aryan Dutt, who bowls mediums and spins, and now it looks like Navjeet Singh's coming for round the wicket off spin. I've never seen him bowl this before, so interesting. Maybe he's been working on it, or well, maybe not. It's, oh, maybe so. That's <laughs> outside off and beats the bat. <laughs> So, <laughs> Navjeet Singh, who usually bowls right arm in swings, bowling around the wicket, bowling off spin. Fred. Oh, and Arnav Jan's playing it like it's Murali. Um, Freddie, we see these dual cricket. Colin Miller used to do it. Off spin and mediums. Andrew Simons, Navjeet Singh doing it. Aryan Dutt, what do you think of it? Mate, it takes a lot of skill, obviously. Um Bowlers doing it these days. I suppose you come up with something different, don't you? Yeah. Have you ever thought about bowling the left arm tweakers? Ah, uh, no. What would Kent say if you just won't come off the short run one day? Yeah. Bad question, I think. As a yeah, um, G looks like he's going right. And that is a gorgeous shot by Arnav Jane. That's hit through extra cover for four and boundaries in consecutive overs as these two do a rebuilding job as Max O'Dowd and Scott Edwards dismissed early. Did you happen to witness something earlier today? No, I missed, missed the start of the game. What happened? Well, I need to be careful with my words here, uh, but maybe Max O'Dowd, who's next to us, is going to show you, and then we'll bring it up as that is short and hit into the leg side. And uh, they skim through for a single. So Navjeet Singh bowling right arm off spin at the moment. Uh, I've never seen him do it, and he's actually bowling quite well. He usually bowls in swing. <laughs> so... We get back to the live action. Three for 68 off 25. And Peter Saylor blocks that into the offside. So, Fred, you've just been shown some vision of a young Scott Edwards unfortunately dropped his bat and then kicked it. I won't say if it was after a dismissal or not. Disappointed in the young fella? And Scott, are we calling Scott young? Yes. Uh, yeah, you don't really want to see that on the cricket field. Emotions yeah. get the best of us. Yeah. Has he disciplined? Has he been disciplined for that? Or I don't know if the, the reported book's been out. Hopefully not. <laughs> but yeah, definitely an interesting <laughs> scenes. Is that it looks like they might be got sticking with Adil Ahmed here, and it's so great to have so many expert commentators coming in today. As I grab my red can and a bit of a Coca Cola to wet my whistle. Dill Ahmed bowling his leg spins. Bowled pretty tidily so far, just the odd uh, short ball that's been hit away. And that is flighted and punched back to the bowler. So probably a score of 160, 170. Might be par. It is a slowish sort of wicket and it is turning quite a bit as we welcome Scotty back in with Fred Clarsen, our expert commentator. Scott, welcome back. He's yep. flighted again outside off. Oh, and it's a. Edge cut, and oh, it's, it's done, the spin's done him. The spin's absolutely done him, and he's done single. So, Freddie, thanks for joining us, and uh, any last words, Fred? Good oh, no. It's good to have you back, Fred. So, Scott, welcome back. The score, three for 69. Yeah, the, uh, 
the VOC batting lineup just seems to be composing themselves a little bit here as Peter cuts that away for no run. Um, yeah, just a little bit of a rebuilding phase, I think, probably looking about to that 40 over mark. Uh, and then obviously with you know the artillery down the order, Yelts Schoonheim, Pierce Fletcher. It's a great shot again by Sailor. Yeah, that looks like that Pines might trickle. This, and it's well a fielded. Unbelievable save as they come oh. back for three. Yeah, easy three. I always easy get nervous run. when I see a big fast bowler diving on the boundary, but he did that really well. He's, a, he's an athletic man, old Ryan Klein. So oh, he's a very good fielder there on the boundary. Score moves on to 72. And our face is up. lobbed up and punched back down the ground to mid on for no run. Yeah, a few com comments coming in via YouTube. Good spell by the spinners here. Yeah, they're bowling pretty well in tandem. We're looking to bring in that big fourth wheel. That is a long hop. I've put the commentator's curse on. That might be a noe as well. And he's only got that away for a close to a no ball. Two. It looks it like the um yeah, given. it's been two. So I love a spinner no ball, Corey. Oh, you don't want that. And do you get a warning for that for being one? I don't think spinner. Oh, actually, maybe they've changed the rules. I'm not, I'm not, exactly not too sure. sure. I'm not too sure. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like it's a dangerous delivery. Yeah. Okay. So it's only if it's deemed dangerous that it, it gets. I believe so. Yes. Okay. So it's a free hit to Arnav here Obviously against the leg spin. They can't, can't change, change the, the field. field. Yeah. So Arnie probably going to come down the wicket maybe and loft it over mid off and mid on. And that's exactly what he does and gets none of it. So he'd be really disappointed there. He's over, tried to over hit that, only had to punch that over the top. And geez, to get away with a free hit as a leg spinner, that's it's very, very well lucky. Done. Very well very done. lucky. I think the sun is shining here in at Hazlerweg. Gorgeous, gorgeous day for cricket. It is, it is. It's about time, may I say, Corey. I think we've had... Majority of the game's rain affected, so it's nice just to be able to rock up to the ground without having to take covers on and off all day. So, what's your, I asked Fred just before, what's your thoughts on these young cricketers dual wielding their skills with the ball? It's pretty impressive. It is, absolutely. I think probably previously it was a little bit frowned upon when it was only, yeah? only Simons and, you know, a couple of guys doing it, but I think Sir the Garfield, game... Sir Garfield Sobers, greatest cricketer of all he time. Was, he was okay, yeah. But... I think you're talking about the highest end blokes that were that were doing that back in the day. I think there's a few more out there that are sort of dual skilled these days in the bowling department. I hear you're dual skilled. They once took the gloves off you when you bowled in the top class. Yeah, up. pretty good left arm round the wicket changers. How'd you, who'd you get out? Uh, I have, if I just check in my pocket here. Um, oh, that's a sweep shot from Peter Sather, but doesn't beat 45 and they'll scamper through for yeah. a single. Peter Boren is is well in the pocket there. Uh, who else we got? Benny Cooper. You got a couple of wickets that day. Yeah, yeah. got a couple against Hasse as well. Very nice. Pretty good record. Pretty good record if you if you look at it. But yep. Very nice indeed. As Navjeet continues with his off spin. Is and a catch? Oh, it looks like it is oh, a catch. No, He's just ballooned back. it back to him and that's the fourth wicket. So really, really poor dismissal there and Navjeet, well, showing that, hey, I can bowl in swing one day off the long run, I can bowl right arm off spin the next day, and Arnav would be very disappointed with that. Batting at number five, it was a soft dismissal. Yeah, it was a little bit. He, he was building well there, and sort of just gave his dismissal, uh, gave his wicket away a little bit. Um, but, nevertheless, there is a little bit of a platform building here. For only four down after 30 overs uh, on this sort of wicket, I, th I think it's, it's a pretty evenly... Uh, Space game at the moment here. Probably slightly in VOC's favour. You think so? I, I, as I, long as no, I Peter don't Sailor's out there, I think it's slightly no, in VOC's I, Look, favor. I disagree um, completely, actually. I think Harvey S are on top at the moment. Uh, VOC's dismissals have been quite cheap. Weren't from amazing deliveries. And, look, maybe you think 160, 170 might be enough, but there's some good batting. That Teo Wahlberg. You've got Tobias Vise. But... You've got to being. think about the VOC bowling line. Well, Peter Saylor's back. I'm not too sure he might be bowling today. You young Sieb, though. Young I mean, you've got Sieb, who's the leading wicket taker with his leg spin. Yeah, bowling good leg spin and carom balls, that young man. He's Unbelievable. A, so I, I'm struggling to keep to it these days. I don't know which 17, way it's turning. 17 years old and leading wicket taker in the top class. It just shows the depth of Dutch cricket, absolutely, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So Dirk van Baren now at the crease. He'll be looking to contribute in some form with the bat today hasn't had the greatest year with the bat so far 
This will be this will be a little bit of a test here for Durkee. I think he's he's well, well known for. I think he'll be aggressive. He's got one way really. Yeah, it's just a quite a hard wicket to drive uh, aggressively, I suppose. Um, but it'll be it'll be good to see. It's good to have I think Peter Saylor out there with him. Uh, yeah, just to talk probably, him through it yeah, a little bit. Always good to have the captain at the non-strikers end as he blocks that respectfully back to Navjeet. He's an amazing looking cricketer, isn't he? Too? He's a very good net player. Yeah. Yeah. Very good in the nets. Yet to make a top class 50. Mm -hmm. Could come today, I think. Well played again, just padded back to Navjeet. So Navjeet's actually doing a nice little job coming around the wicket and just following these little loft spinners. Not trying to put too many revs on the ball, but making the batsman make the error. And that brought the wicket of Arnav. So RBS, after winning the toss and bowling, I think you'd be happy at 4 for 76. Yeah, yeah. I'd... I, th I think it's in the balance here, Corey, but um, you can obviously have your own opinions. Um, and if you think RBS is on top, then... Yeah, I think so. I think if they had to break through, especially if they were to get Peter Saylor soon, then, then they're thinking yeah. maybe a 130, 140 to get the last couple. There is a lot of pressure on Peter Saylor here for the Dutch batting side. Uh, sorry, the VOC batting side. Uh, it looks like they're going back to Stefan Vink, who uh, unfortunately did drop Peter Saylor on a, on a duck earlier. Mm. So he'll be looking to make amends. Brother of 30, Vink. He bowls right arm outswing at a steady pace. Just tries to dot it up as well. There's another man that bowls right arm outswing that I'm thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. Born in Pakistan. As that is punched into the offside. Sorry, where are you going with this, Scotty? Oh, never mind. Never mind. You obviously haven't got the joke there, Corey. <laughs> oh, I get ya. Oh, you're going the song, I get ya. Apologies for the viewers. That yeah. was uh, an inside joke. Yeah. Uh, Stefan starting his second spell today. Well, that is well bowled and respectfully played by the VOC captain and Dutch captain, Peter Saylor, who's moved on to 23 not out. And uh, doing a bit of a rebuilding job for VOC. The VOC just haven't got going today and haven't put on a big partnership just of yet. That is oh, that's a big appeal, but the umpire. Yep. Oh no! Oh no! Peter Saylor's gone down. That might have hit him in the crown jewels. And it, yeah, I'm look viewers. <laughs> yeah, a couple of smirks from the people behind us, but nothing funny about the gonads being hit. That is painful. He's had a kid, Peter Saylor, so he's got one out. Well, that's good. There won't be a second. He's in a he's, he's in a lot of trouble. I can one for one can say getting touched in the. Uh, nether regions isn't pleasurable i've heard i've heard rumors that you're not batting with protection down there i don't wear a box anymore when i play any any uh opposition players listening in there is there is a spot to aim for down there so. yeah well i'll tell you what that might he, peter's in a lot of trouble here as a man getting hit in that in that region, it's not nice. He is in a lot of strife. Try not to. As we a, shouldn't smirk. We shouldn't laugh. That's but always. It is funny. As, as much as it's Christina, not funny Christina, Christina, if you're watching, you know, partner of Peter, he's going to need a little bit of help tonight. <laughs> Get the ice packs out. Yeah. So a little bit of delay here while Peter sorts himself out. And I'll be back in two moments. Sorry for the slight delay there, just a little bit of food in the commentary box being passed around. So Stefan Vink doing a nice little job here for RBS. RBS proving their worth and very plucky here, keeping VOC at bay. As that is miscued to mid-wicket and it looks like all the batsmen today struggling to get their timing going as Toby's VC jogs through the wicket as the keeper. And we are live today, obviously, and if you want to get your questions through by YouTube or on the VOC Rotterdam ECL page, you're more than welcome. 
We've got some guest commentators, Robert Van Oostrom from RBS will be joining us later today and give us some of the thoughts on how the RBS team are going this year. And Freddie Clarson, we've got Max O'Dowd, Scotty Edwards, Pierce Fletcher and a few others that are going to join on the commentary box. So any questions you want to get in, please feel free. Is Navjeet Singh bowling right arm off spin from around the wicket at the airport end, which is quite impressive. I've never seen him bowl off spin before. Usually comes off the long run and bowls in swing, bowling to Dirk Van Bar and Dirk blocks that back to mid off. As that is cut straight to cover, so Dirk yet to get off the mark. Bit of pressure building, possibly. is blocked into the leg side and well filled again by Ryan Klein who's proved to be a little bit of a live wire out in the field and with the ball but a beautiful opening spell earlier today as that is flicked fine and that will be Dirk Van Baren off the mark so a little tickle and well mopped up by Adil Ahmed so he's off the mark now and Peter Saylor on 23 not out. Handed a life earlier today, as we mentioned, looking to capitalise and go B. He's been hit once, so... Looking to be determined is Peter Saylor and punches that straight to cover in the offside. So VOC a little bit guilty of hitting the fielders a lot today as well as RBS are operating with a pretty much a ring field. Only two boundary riders, deep long on and deep backward square. Forward square, sorry. As that is cut straight back to Navjeet. So you can see this pitch just a little bit awkward. I'm not too sure any batsman really feeling in just yet. There's VOC with 20 overs remaining. There's an old adage in uh, 50 over cricket that you look to double your score after 30 overs. So if we double your score there, that'll take them to 154. Uh, will that be enough? I'm not too sure. Harvey has strong batting lineup. Tobias Visa at the top of the order will be looking to get after them. And Pierce Fletcher with the new ball will be an interesting contest later in the day. <laughs> so, Stefan Vink to continue from the pavilion end. Dirk Van Baren on one. Stefan just bowling pretty steady. It looks like they're going to bring in deep cover up into the ring. So pretty attacking from 30 Vink, noticing that the new batsman on strike, only having one person on the boundary, they want to keep him on strike for all six. It's good captaincy. Very good captaincy. Very proactive is 30 Vink. As that is bold and blocked straight to him as we speak of at mid wicket. So obviously Harbi is seeing this as an opportunity to keep Dirk on strike and they'll be thinking if they can take two more here maybe they can run through VOC today as that is blocked also Is blocked again so we're in that middle stages of 50 over cricket here it's a little bit slow a little bit of a rebuilding period and so it will be a guest commentator coming in and it's going to be Maxwell O'Dowd Max Corey. what are your thoughts on the game at the moment evenly poised or Harvey S with their noses in front evenly poised I think at the moment I think having Peter Saylor in at the crease is vital yep. for VOC right yep. down at the moment um, I think if he can stay there and until the 40th and we can be on around one, I mean, ideally if we can be over, if we're around 120 at 40, 42, that would be fantastic. Um, and Stefan comes in and Dirk miscues that to cover, not getting any flow into his batting just yet. So you think maybe 150's par, you've been out there yourself, didn't get to yeah. the 300's in a row, we're bigging that up today, yeah. didn't get that. No, it would have been nice, it was... Um, not the best ball um, that got me out. I think Julian and May will admit it himself. Um, just caught the toe end of my bat and lobbed it to, to backward point, which is relatively frustrating, Corey. Yeah, it happens. It does happen as Dirk on one off about 15 at the moment. Peter Sower there on 23, not out. Yeah, so a little bit of a slow deck. Didn't look like anyone's really been in just yet. Um, 
You were at the other end earlier when you saw what Scott had done. I was. Yeah. Thoughts? Well, I didn't see him kick the bat. Kick. I all I remember seeing is the bat being on the deck, or him throwing it out of his hands. Um, and he will admit himself he shouldn't react like that. He just told me he's going to apologise later. Um, but to be fair, I thought it was a little bit of a tough decision seeing he gave it out LBW. Yeah, look, decisions though, it's yeah, not decisions, easy being an umpire. He, he made a very good decision um, off Ryan Klein in the first over when there was a big noise, but it was Scotty hitting his pad. and you know, A lot of umpires would give that out, but... Um, he didn't give it out, which I think was a great decision. Yeah. But that's the way it goes, 50-50. It's the way you know, the players crumbles. make mistakes, umpires make mistakes. Yeah, and Navjeet Singh doing a really little good job here, just bowling pretty... I'd call this Corey Rutgers-esque around the wicket, off-cut, a little off-spin as well, and it's going to be tied here. Uh, Ali Ahmed, no. No, it won't Ali be Ahmed. tight. looks like that'll be a leg by, yes, a leg by, so they'll keep Dirk Van Baren on one. Yeah, not an easy job being an umpire, obviously a lot of appeals throughout a day, warm weather... Yeah, it's not an easy job. I don't envy them. I don't think I'd like to be an umpire, but... No, and I, I think without the umpires, it wouldn't be possible, you know? No, it wouldn't. We'd just be 11 versus 11. And it would almost be like an internal game. It wouldn't quite be a proper cricket match. I wonder, has there ever been a match where the umpires just haven't rocked up and then what happens? You just umpire yourself. Yeah, player umpires. I mean, player umpires happens quite often yeah. when, when I play club cricket in New Zealand. Yeah, OK. Um, not the best. But we just have a rule, if you nick it, you walk. So um, don't put the pressure on your own players. Yeah, that's a fair rule. That is a fair rule. So the ODI Super League next week, Maxi, you've been in pretty good form. Excited? Extremely excited, Corey. It's going to be great fun. And uh, when do you off? So into the bubble, isolation periods and things like that have to be applied still? Uh, that all begins on Monday. We go into isolation uh, it's very strict, I've been told. Uh, we're only allowed to go downstairs to get food and then we have to take it up to our room. Oh, well, Thankfully, iso- are you isolating at home? No, no, we're isolating in a hotel room um, in Utrecht. Utrecht. Yeah. We'll be uh, isolating there with the team. Um, but no, we've been training at Kampong. It looks amazing. This weather looks amazing. And how so. the, how's the new indoor facilities at Kampong? Kampong's, it's, uh, it's a great spot to be. You yeah. know? I've um, not seen them yet. They're good? No, it's cool. It's, uh, it's nice. It's good to have an outdoor facility and an indoor facility in one spot. Um, so I think Kampong's making a real good case to be the, the home of Dutch cricket, yeah. after VOC, of course. Oh, interesting, as uh, Stefan Vink will continue, and Dirk hits that straight to cover. Um, yeah, so how is it as a professional cricketer going into isolation periods and things like that? Do you find that difficult? I mean, yes and no. I, I, it was very difficult in Nepal because I wanted to go out and explore Nepal. It's not often you get a chance to go there and, and really enjoy your time. Um, so it was it was pretty frustrating to be sitting in our hotel the whole time. Um, but I mean, you make up for it with board games, card games, the Oculus, which I cannot wait to take off your hands um, for the next week. So you just play a few little games and things like that yeah. just to pass the time? Little games here and there, do a bit of work, uh, make some very important phone calls. As that's tickled fine by Dirk Van Baren and they turn for two. Probably a little bit of bat on that judging by how far the ball's going. Well, let's hope so because I really want Dirk to get going here. We all know, well he's told us himself, it could be his last dance, Corey. Not today? Um, no, not today but just the, the season. It's almost like a Flage for the whole season, he's ready to go. I think he's due for his first top class 50. Oh, he's never scored a top class 50. Oh, that's what I've been informed as he's blocked that into the offside. And Stefan Vink doing a really, really good job here. He doesn't have too much pace, but he just hits a length. No, I think that's exactly what you need to do. If he can be consistent on a line and a length on this wicket, it's going to be um, very tough to get away. It's a little bit on the tacky slow side mm. um, after the heavy rainfall. Oh, oh, that that's is a, a lovely cracking shot. shot. And they're going to have to run that because that does not look like it's going to no, cross the gonna... boundary. Four runs. That's going to cross the boundary as Max uses his commentary voice. And nice shot from Dirk. He has these moments, doesn't he? Flashes of brilliance. And that is yeah, a great shot. That's a great shot for a Toast Resort. Maximum four runs. It's a beautiful stroke from Dirk Van Baren as he plants the front dog and opens the chest and slaps that ball through front of point. What a shot. Yeah, gorgeous shot from Dirk. So maybe that'll get the engine going for him and him and Peter. So they're really trying to do a good read build job for VOC. Stefan Vink, full outside oh, off, and that's a, That's even better. That, that be could better. be the shot of the day if that goes for four. Dirk Van Baren on an absolute barnstorm, a great fielding Adil down Adil Ahmed. Adil Ahmed putting in an absolute shift. 
Yeah, brilliant fielding by Adil Ahmed. So RBS giving all their support to the bowlers. Stefan Vink will be disappointed to maybe give a couple of drive balls at the end there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you this question I asked Scotty earlier. Uh, if you could do one player transfer from RBS to VOC, who would you get into our team and why? Oh, that's a good question. Um, uh, Tobias Vissay, he we could we could have a chat about him. Um, but I feel like with Scotty and myself opening and Tim DeCock an aggressive batter at three. Very aggressive. Um, I don't think he would fit our team well, and I know he's a Harbius man through and through. However, there is one who I think would really bolster our team and, and would probably walk through the whole league if he was playing for us. And that would be Ryan Klein, I think. Yeah, that's who over. Scott chose earlier as well. As if we had an extra pace bowler uh, to, to aid Biff and uh, Bobby Hanif, it would really be um, a, a great asset to us. Otherwise, Julian Nemeo on a turning wicket with yeah. our nine spinners. Yeah, we are very spin orientated to the VOC squad. As Navjeet mm -hmm. Singh showing his little right arm off spin is uh, actually more than effective. Colin Munro's just chimed in and said hello and saying he's enjoying the live co coverage. Really? Wow. Colin, well, it's good to, good to have you on the live stream, Munners. Munners. I called him Butterbean in the PSL. Yeah. <laughs> That's about right. Oh, um, I've just got a message from... Uh, who was it? Oh, he's skied and That is a terrible, terrible shot. Navjeet Singh's going to have his second wicket. It was a long hop, and he's sort of pulled it straight. I'm not too sure how it's gone there. And that's the fifth wicket, and VOC just can't build a partnership. Peter Saylor's still there, but Harvey has to be absolutely rubbed. So I mean, you can hear Pete yelling um, to the 12th man, trying to get that drink out there quickly. As we look back at the replay here, Corey, yeah, coming it, around the wicket, short and dirty, just throws the kitchen sink at it and hits it straight up. Not really what was required from Durkee. Um Nonetheless, here comes the big man, Ayaz Durani. He's my favourite cricketer at the he club. He is up there with one of the best. Um, yeah. Hits one of the biggest balls in world cricket. Not just top classer, but world cricket. I yeah. think he could clear. You put a 90 metre fence up there, high up in the air, he'd clear it. Yeah, that's one thing you'll get with Ayaz Durrani. No messing about. He'll play his game, and usually his game will be boundary orientated. Somewhat, mm. somewhat like yourself sometimes, Maxi. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right there, Corey. Um, Ayaz Durrani, not one to run between wickets, um, but will make the most of a, of a flighted nut. Yeah, absolutely. So, Navjeet Singh, who's been bowling these little right arm off spinners from around the wickets, bagged himself two. Mm. So, sometimes the part time option, or maybe a bit better than a part timer, can pick up a wicket. And mm. uh, I think all the HBS boys would be thinking if we get one or two more out now. We might be rolling VOC for maybe a 130, 140, which would be under par. Yeah, it just looks like we're losing momentum. Every time we're about to press the go button or we're looking like we could roll at four to five runs and over, we get a, we lose a wicket. Yeah, as Ayaz facing his first ball. Has Ayaz batted this year? Oh, that's a great defensive shot. Um, I don't think he has. This might be his first hit for the question. year. I feel like he has batted against VCC. Okay, yep. Yep, that would be correct. So... It looks like they're going to go to Reese Mason now. I'm not too sure I've seen Reese bowl too much. It might be spin as well. It looks like Tobias Vise staying up at the crease. So mm -hmm. RBS going with spin, 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 spin. And I don't mind obviously reading the pitch quite well. Some would say spin to win, uh, Corey. Yeah, I'll have to do a couple of spins on the uh, wheel actually. So yeah. ten of them actually. Yeah, Reese Mason now from South Africa. He's been over here for a few years now. He was yeah. at RBS when I was there and. He's a very, very good fielder. He opens the batting now and uh, bowls some tidy spinners. What, what kind of spinners? Uh, I've got to guess off. Off, okay. I've not seen him bowl too much, to be completely honest. I'm, I'm going to go rogue. I'm going to say leg spin. Yeah, well, you got a 50-50 shot, so... Yeah, you're not wrong there. As, uh, they're operating with a deep backward square, deep mid on, and a deep cover. And that is definitely oh, an off spin's off action. Spin. Yeah, it is off spin. So pushed into a big hole in the leg side. No, Peter Saylor might be looking at two, and he is looking at two. And that is running. great running from the VOC captain as it's fired back into Reese Mason. A good running from Ayaz Durrani, who's not admittedly the quickest between no, wickets. No, and uh, his technique with um, sliding the bat also um, non-existent. As you see, I think there's a big chance for RBS to, to exploit that. 
Well, I've got a question for you, Max, as we look at the second ball from Reese, and that is slow outside off and cut for one. At a moment like this, a five for 90, I think Ferdy Vink's captain pretty well today, but have they missed a trick? Could they have gone Mr. Klein right now? I think as, as a captain, do you go th foot on the throat I thinking? I go foot on the throat, bring Klein on for two overs and see if he can snatch a, a wicket, snatch the, the vital wicket of Sailor. Because if Sailor's still here in the 45th, that total can, you know, it can be the difference between 120 and... Oh, it's Ayaz Durrani just is. goes with the bloody shovel and he's MS Dhoni esque It was... Fr that almost came from behind you his You will legs. find that in every coach's book. That's a great shot. He's almost whipped that from his behind he's his He's got legs. a swashbuckling style on oh, Ayaz Durrani. Does he what? I hope they bring... Uh, oh... This could be an interesting option, bringing both mid off and mid on up. Yeah, I dare say, knowing I as it's it's one way I or mean, the highway. He if, he ba if he bats for twenty minutes, he makes thirty. If he bats for ten minutes, he could make seventy. Yeah, it is one way or the highway. I do enjoy watching players if like this. If this goes up, it's going. Yeah, if my, this is flighted, I as will probably be licking his chops and all my. Oh, oh, oh it's missed everything. Has that spun past leg stump? It's, I think that's hit the foot marks. It's hit the foot marks, and it's. Just miss league stump. There's uh, expert comments from Max O'Dowd, so I think Ayad's very lucky there. That could have actually taken the wickets and hit the poles, as we'd like to say, but gets another life. Spinning past the league stump out of the footmarks, unbelievable. Oh, and I've just received a message from Virat Kohli joining the live stream here. Um, Virat, good to have you with us. Um, hope isolation in India is going well. And where our heart goes out to everyone in India during the pandemic and everything they're going through. But thanks for that for tuning in. Oh, and that is flighted. And oh my word, Peter Sutherland's dropped his. It's a Scott Edwards moment again. Oh, he's, he's dropped, dropped the his bat, bat and, and his the helmet. helmet. And he's had enough. I oh, know, but he's not kicking it in disgrace, which is good. No, I tell you what, I'm going to take a little break here. And Corey Rutgers, you can continue this on your own. Thank I'll you be very taking much a break as well. Thanks for being with us, Max. We'll go get a little bit of food and we'll be back in one moment.
Pijn, Kasburger en Glijsteen. De laatste acht overs. VOC uh, toch weer wat runs op het bord. Dankzij Ayas Durani. Schitterende zes zojuist uh, voor uh, het laatste bal vorige over. Wat denk je Pep qua scoren? Uh, ja, wat, denk... wat zit er nog in? Ja, als ze rond 180 kunnen uitkomen. Ik denk dat dat wel verdedigbaar moet zijn. Oké. Okay. Dus hopelijk dat uh, Pieter en Ajax nog even in kunnen blijven staan en uh, in ieder geval dat kunnen halen. Pieter gaat voor ja. de grote klap. Gaan naar square leg, wordt mooi opgepakt. Oké, okay. en twee. En twee runs voor Pieter Selaar. Het lijkt er in ieder geval wel op dat ze inderdaad met fastballers wat meer kunnen dan uh, met uh, spinners zojuist. Dat lijkt het wel op, ja. De bal vertrok echt niet. Ja, Mooie lange zeggen, bal, mooi geblokt door Piet Selaar. Ik kan ook zeggen dat HBS in feite goed gebruik maakte van de conditie van het veld. Hè? Ja. ja, zeker waar. Ja. Wederom mooi de legzaak ingeprikt. Defensief. Ja, een dotje. Ja. 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 Ze komen ze terug voor de tweede, ja, ze komen terug voor de tweede. Plenty of cocktails, I guess. Mm. So I heard. So. <laughs> But, uh, Corey, Corey will be back for the, for the second uh, innings. So. Yeah, you finish this quick. It's in this look, yeah. Another one. Mooi singeltje naar uh, Midwicket. Pieter ondertussen op 54. En uh, Ajas op uh, 36. Netjes. Ja, netjes. Ja, niet te voor een Ajax. Ja, dat is zo. Got a message coming in, uh, Pep, for. No. No? Eind van de 43ste over en de score is 151 voor 5. 157. Oh, 100, correctie, ja, 157. Ja, yeah, oké. Okay. Where, where did the two commentators? They left. Yeah, they were there. Oh, they went for a walk. Come on, Pep. Well, normally the BBC has a couple of duos of commentators, I guess, so. Not bad. Where you go? You go. Okay. Good bowling, yeah. Uh, de bolo van de airport zijde is de heer Vink en Ayas Durani staat aan strijk. Ja, zo om over. Ride om over. Ja, no one. <laughs> Ayas had wat uh, groter zijn gedachten daar. Ja. Kwam er niet hij helemaal lekker onder. Nee, maar hij heeft wel altijd grotere ballen laten zien, toch? Ja, ook een paar keer uh, goed weggekomen. Keer op drie. Dus hopelijk vier. Ja. En Pieter die uh, gaat mooi naar de middel. Ja. Jammer maar één een, een, een singeltje. Maar goed, zo so far uh, is nu bijna elke bal in ieder geval een run. <laughs> Gemiddeld. Ja, het scorebord tikt rustig door. Juist. Oef. 
Oeh, Pizzella teruggestuurd door Ajax. Ja. Ging gelukkig goed. Ajax stapt een beetje weg van de bal, uh, leek het. Maar... Ja, ik denk dat Ajax de ruimte voor zichzelf probeert te maken om zijn bed er volledig doorheen te kunnen zwaaien. Ja, en nu iets te veel ruimte kreeg dus. Ja. <laughs> Ja, het, het plan was goed, de uitvoering was er daarentegen wat, uh, wat minder. Oh, oh die gaat er weer ja. aan, staat erbij en laat hem vallen. Oké, okay, dat is drop 4 on Ajax. En Pieter komt terug voor 2. Ja. ja. Zoals uh, onze eigen Ronald Kivits hier zegt, uh, Ajax is de kat met de negen levens. Groundsman Ronald Kivits. Ja. ja, daar lijkt het zeker op. Het is ook een teken dat het met VOC wat beter gaat. Ja, HBS wordt uh, uh, harder aangemoedigd door uh, coaches. Wederom uh, de grote klap in gedachten. Ging ja. niet helemaal zoals gepland, dus uh, singeltje ja. naar midwicket. Ja, licha lichaamstaal ging meer richting vliegveld eigenlijk, hè? Ja. De bal. Ja. ja, maar dat haalde die net niet. Ja. Dit, uh, deze was bestemd voor de aanvliegroute van Rotterdam uh, Airport. Juist. Ja. Oeh, heel mooi door. subtiel! Heel subtiel. Haalt hij het? Haalt hij het? Ja, ja, veld is droog genoeg geworden. Van de beentjes afgeweekt door Pieter Sela en vier runs. Mooie bal weer van Pieter Door Fine Lake. Heel subtiel bal. Ja. En dat is het eind van de 44ste over. En de score is 166. Yep. Voor 5. Pieter Seelaar op 59 en Ayas Durani op 41. Ja. Samen ook een century. Ja. Ja. Nummer 4 en nummer 7 van de betting line-up die trekken VOC er nu even doorheen. Okay. Ryan Klein weer bowling, zo te zien. Ja, Ryan Klein vanaf de pavilion in. Ja. Voor HBS. Ayas Durani uh, ontvangt. De ontvanger. Ja, maar. Hij stapt weer een beetje weg. Hij krijgt een beetje spanning, een stapje. En een run-out. Ja. Het idee, het idee was goed. Nee, het was. Ja, het idee was goed. De uitvoering was wat minder. Ayas die bleef even iets te lang bleef staan. Pieter. Goed, dit uh, schept mogelijkheden voor Jelte Schoonheim, schat ik. Toch een mooie volgende, volgende cameo van uh, Ajax. Ja. Ajax krijgt applaus van de aanwezige groundsmen en spelers. En commentatoren, want we zijn de broers niet. Ach. In komt uh, Jelte Schoener Schoonheim, wiens vader nog steeds speelt. Ik uh, verwacht dat uh, Jelte eigenlijk vanaf bal 1 voor de grote klappen gaat. Ja, denk je? Denk het. Ja, ik heb zo'n voorgevoel. Ik, ik verwacht toch dat hij eerst even wat, wat meer rust uh, in zijn slagen heeft. Dat, dat hoop ik eigenlijk. Dat ik het. Voorlopig uh, gaat uh, Pieter weer ontvangen. Dus de receiving end. Ja. Kijken wat die nu nog kan met de ballen van Ryan. Ja, ik weet niet 59. hoeveel ballen van uh, de heer Klein Selaar heeft gefeest al, ook in trainingen en alles, maar het lijkt me wel een interessante uh, match. Vast, vast wel de nodige, zeker ook ja. uh, gezien uh, het feit dat Ryan ook bij de selectie zit van het Nederlands elftal. Dus die hebben ongetwijfeld met elkaar wel uh, wat ballen uitgewisseld. Ja. Het is plenty of time. It's now or never. 
Yeah. Uh, it's more an hour later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so late. The third ball from the over. Oh, oh mooi geblokt. Defensive. Bleef denk ik yeah. iets lager als dat Pieter had gehoord. Ja. Hij leek het wel op. Maar het is daadwerkelijk eind mei en we hebben zo waar gewoon de eerste echte zomerse dag hier op GWC. Weet je wat de temperatuur is in het moment eigenlijk hier? Ik uh, zou het niet weten. Om de, om de kijkers achter het scherm nog even wat uh, jaloers te maken. Ik gok op een uh, zalige 23 graden met uh, noordwestenwind. Dat, dat komt vast overeen met 18 in de schaduw. Ik denk het wel. Ja. Ja, ik denk dat je er helemaal op zit. Eén bal deze over voor uh, Jelte. Eén bal voor Jelte. Heeft iemand ze hier op het voetbalveld al een seintje gegeven dat ze misschien een, uh, een cricketbal uh, kunnen verwachten? Ik, ik denk het niet. Ik, denk ik niet. zie onze nieuwe Zuid-Afrikaanse aanwinst, uh, Eddie Leach, zie ik alvast naar het voetbalveld lopen. Nou, je hebt toch wel enigszins gelijk gehad, uh, Pep. Daar zat inderdaad weinig terughoudens bij. Ja. En het ging net goed. Geen run, maar goed. Een uh, meden over voor uh, Ryan Klein. Nee, nee, nee. Toch? 166. Nee, nee eentje. Eén Eén laatste bal was een single. Oh. Dan hebben ze die nog niet op het scorebord verwerkt. Er staan nog 166. Ah, de scorers zijn ook maar mensen. Overigens aan het, score, aan het scorebord vandaag uh, voor uh, VOC, uh, Mean, Nelly, Carling Frex. The woman, the myth, the legend. Yes. The one and only. Die let, uh, liet wel weten dat de temperatuur daar in dat uh, hokje, ja, ons clubhuis eigenlijk moet ik zeggen, cricket clubhuis, toch wel uh, een graadje of 8, 9 lager is dan uh, hier in het zonnetje. Ah, die verkeerd dus. Mooi geblokt door uh, Piet. Ik zeg maar, net niet de jas aan. Back to the cricket. Oeh, shot to Piet. Daar is hij dan eindelijk. Mijn favoriete shotje, de slok over Kou Corner. Jammer genoeg niet voor zes, maar viertje neem ik ook. Doe ik het gewoon voor. En de 180 uh, komt in beeld, hè? Ja, zeker. Ik zou het wel fijn vinden als er nog iets meer in zit. Ja, iets meer buffer. Ja, 200 zou ook wel lekker zijn. 180 is wel echt tot een beetje minimum. Ja, dat Mooi. Is de volgende vier. Upfish, cover drive. Yes. En weer Lovely. een vliegje. Heerlijk. Lovely. Ja, je hebt wat meer buffer nodig, denk ik toch? Het veld, het veld is natuurlijk goed droog, hè? dus daar kunnen de batsmen van de HWS straks uh, een voordeel mee doen. Zo. Terwijl we hier een uh, goedkeurend knipoogje krijgen van Corey Rutgers. Ja. Oh, mooi de legs uit ingeprikt. Oh, Komen ze terug voor twee. Ja, we zijn hij snel. Heel netjes gespeeld. Mooie twee. Hele mooie twee. Dat zijn er al tien van de over. Ja, heerlijk. Het veld van ABS staat lekker agressief, of in ieder geval lekker defensief. Middel en middel staan helemaal. Uh, ja. Een sweeper on the offside, sweeper on the leg side en nog square leg staat helemaal. Eén. Eentje naar uh, diep middel. Ja. Nou, Jelte. Slower bal, alle pace van de bal afgehaald en 
Ja. Ja, te weinig pace voor Jelte om er wat mee te doen. Helaas. Helaas. En eind van de over en de score is 177 voor 6 na 4, uh, 46. Nog 4 overtjes te gaan. En die 180, ja, die moeten ze wel gaan halen. 24 ballen. Maar goed, Ryan uh, was erg scherp net. Ja. Twee honderd zou toch leuk zijn? Zou leuk zijn. Ja, dat is one. Snel gekold, snel gelopen. Heerlijk, niks okay. meer. En dan Jelte op Ryan. Even kijken of dat uh, Jelte's six hitting ability nog niet verloren is. Ja. Nou, met on uh, geslagen en uh, singeltje. Dus uh, Jelte is van de verschrikkelijke duk af. Dat zou je wel gewoon verwachten van Jelte, toch? Nee, je zou denken dat dat wel een zekerheidje zou moeten zijn. Ja. Maar Ryan uh, bal goed. Daar komt zijn derde. Oh, hele mooie Yorker. 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 Ja. Goeie bal van HBS dit. denk een impact outside of. Ik, uh, dus ja. uh, dat het hem niet raakte in lijn met de stem. Dat is uh, heel ver de enige, enige verklaring voor dat uh, de ja. scheidsrechter niet Ho hoogte, hoogte was goed. Ja, ja. Pepper, wat denk je overigens van uh, de, dit is de topklasse, maar uh, de klasse daaronder, die mensen zitten ook te kijken, ja. luisteren. Wanneer zouden we weer wat kunnen gaan doen? Nou, aan de aanleiding van de oh, persconferentie van... Wat? Oei, oei, oei. Ja. Dit was vast Houd, gepland. Houd de, houd was de umpire, ja, umpire houdt zijn arm naar beneden, dus het was onder uh, waist high. Ja. Maar, maar wel via runs uh, over de keeper, top edge. Ja. Nee, na aanleiding van de persconferentie gisteren is er weer meer mogelijk, gelukkig. Voor uh, recreanten en uh, alles onder de topklasse. Maar Vanaf 5 juni uit mijn hoofd. Dus, juni? Uh, juni. Dus uh, ja, hopelijk kunnen we zo snel mogelijk weer wat gaan doen. Oh, oh, en een misfield. Dat is. Ja. Er zat vast effect aan die bal. Hè? Ja, zijn voor dan. Oké, okay. over van Ryan. Dus ja, ik, uh, ik denk dat er wel weer wat meer mogelijk is. Competitie zijn helaas nog niet mogelijk, maar uh, onderlinge potjes wel. Dus ik denk dat we binnen VOC daar wel uh, heel snel wat mee gaan doen. Ik neem aan dat de andere clubs dat ook gaan doen. Ik uh, wens het iedereen toe in ieder ik, geval. Ik, ik ga er, ik ga er wel vanuit, ja. ja. Nou, dat was het einde van de 47ste over. Uh, de score is 185 voor 6. Met uh, Pieter Selaar uh, still motoring on op uh, 77. Terwijl, uh, terwijl er op het voetbalveld naast ons een fantastisch mooi doeltje wordt gescoord. Ja, de onder 18 jeugd die, uh, oh, is heel heerlijk mooi. aan het uh, sporten Door hier. Point. Wordt net geen vier. Nou, blijf ruim. liggen. Blijf liggen. En een tweetje? Een twee. Mooi de maat uh, 44, 45 er tegen aangezet. Ja. Derde bal. Oh, en een white ball. White. Voor 4, dus 5 white. 
192 coming up. Terwijl uh, achter ons langs uh, Reinhard van Iers van Merel Vaassen met de lunches lopen. Voor de spelers. Voor de spelers. Fantastisch goed werk doen. Covid-proof lunches. Jawel. Dus de heren kunnen op het veld blijven allemaal. Ja, die is weer weg toch? En dat is een volwassen klap van Pieter Selaar. Zes runs over Kou Corner. Mooi de, mooi de handen er doorheen gezwaaid. Heerlijk. Ja, Pieter die acteert hier toch echt als een captain. En Denk neemt, jij neemt zijn team bij de hand. Denk jij René dat Pieter die laatste 15 runs nodig voor een 100 nog gaat halen? Uh, Op deze manier wel. Uh, ja. En weer een fantastische grote zes. Die is uh, Over het, wa om. het water in. Ja. New balls please. Dus nog negen. Ja. Daar ben ik toch wel benieuwd voor uh, de mensen die van uh, statistieken houden. Heeft Pieter ooit wel eens 100 gemaakt in de topklasse? Ja. Louis zit je te luisteren. Laat het even weten. Laat het even weten. <laughs> Ja, hoewel Bob Galensloot zou misschien ook nog. Uh... Ja. Jongens, laat van je horen. Ja. Mocht je het weten, stuur het door. Ja. 200 is sowieso binnen. Twee ballen net over? Mm. Eén of twee ballen? Ik zal eens even voor jou kijken. Thanks. Nog twee ballen? Ja, oké. Okay. Heb je hulp nodig? Dus nog veertien ballen. Pieter heeft er nog twee nu. Wie weet. We gaan het zien. Als er weer een bal is. Overigens zijn de spelers nu bijna drie uur bezig. Hè? Ze zijn iets voor elf begonnen. Ja, ze waren natuurlijk vanochtend vroeg op de club om uh, getest te worden. Allemaal geslaagd. Ja, ja aangezien jij uh, de testen afneemt. Nou, niet omdat, omdat ik ze afneem. Ik heb ze afgenomen, maar ze waren gewoon... Nee, ik bedoel ja. ook, jij weet dat omdat je ze afneemt. Juist, juist. Ja, ik, ik doe vooral de, de, de vloeistof... Uh, op het teststripje. Uh, ja. uh, mijn partner is al vrij geweest. Uh, ja, om, uh, fantastische mooie de testen door. af te nemen. En dat worden er weer vier. Sleer. De field geeft het op en het zijn er vier bij. Zeer op 95. Niet de grote klap, maar gewoon mooi geplaatst. Ja. Delicaat. Ik denk dat het veel want Max en Corey hebben al. Oh, oké. Okay. Ja, dan uh, mocht je overhouden, dan hoort het wel. La laatste bal van de over. <laughs> Dank wel. Oh, oh, eentje. Daarmee eentje, komt... maar maakt niet uit. Hij blijft wel aan strijk. 96. 96. One shot away. Ja. En dat is het eind van de over. De score is 209 voor 6. Ja. Na 49. Of na 48. Maar... Uh, 48, Ryan, Ryan Klein bolt deze uh, ene laatste over voor HBS. Ja, daar. Uh, die, ja, met alle respect voor uh, het bolen van zojuist, die, die bolt ze toch iets scherper en lastiger. Voor de VOC'ers, zo Zeker waar. Dus we gaan kijken. Het veld blijft redelijk verdedigend, hè? Ja, ik denk niet dat ze een andere keuze hebben op dit nee. stadion. Uh. Oeh. Mooi gepakt door, uh, ik denk Tobias Fisse. Ja, ik denk het ook. Ja, ja. ja, die uh, heeft er weinig uh, gemist daar. 
diegene die doorging, die ging over hem heen of uh, echt ruim er langs. Ja. Dus, uh, bal 2. Mooie cover drive en wederom een misfield. En Jelte keert snel terug voor twee. Mooi gelopen. En uh, Pieter staat op 98. Ja, mooi getal. Zeker. En als je het één iemand wel echt gunt om de ronde te maken, is het toch wel, uh, is het toch wel Pieter. Ja, zeker met deze prestatie nu. Ja. Zoals je team, uh, wat ik eerder zei, bij de hand neem. Het, uh, klasse. Oeh, ja. een single pak om op 99 te komen. Ik, uh, ik, uh, ja, ik weet niet wat ik daarvoor moet denken. Ik denk dat hij goed in zijn vel zit en weet wat hij doet. Dat, dat is de geruststellende factor daar. Ja. Nog uh, drie ballen deze over. Jelt aan strijk. Ja. Mooi naar middenof geslagen. Eén. Ja. Voor een singeltje. Pieter weer aan strijk. Jelte doet het juist. Dus gewoon bal slaan. Andere, uh, naar de andere kant lopen. En zorgen dat je team van het strijk komt. Die er op 99 staat. Ja. Nou. Daar is het. Lekker voor yes, Pieter. Pieter. Applaus voor de captain van VOC. Zijn century is binnen. Ja, well deserved. Zeker. Zeker. Echte captain's innings noem je dat. Rustig begonnen. Nu Jelte. Oh. En daar gaat Jelte zijn paleis. Yes. Brian Klein feliciteert Captain Pieter Seilaar, die toch wel weer graag een drankje wil hebben. En terecht. In komt uh, Piers de Biff Fletcher. Uh, Roman Malik zorgt voor het drankje voor uh, Pieter. We hebben een beller. Louis, komt ie. Hey Louis. Oké, okay, dus het is de eerste topklasse century. Kijk, kijk. Top, gaan we dat hier doorheen. Onze, Dankjewel. O, ai, ai. Onze als ik loop die Louis Reniers in. Speler van VOC 4. Het is mij dus ingefluisterd dat de Cedelaar zijn hoogste score is hiervoor. In 2020 had hij de 93 en in 2019 had hij de 93, maar nog nooit 100. Dus we zijn hebben eerst een... de 100. We hebben een primeur. Juist. Prima. Normaal gesproken, well done, zijn... Normaal gesproken zijn dat dan twee kratjes. Eén voor je sentry, eentje voor je hoogste score in de topklasse. Okay. Maar helaas, Club is nog dicht, dus die moeten we hem later... Uh... Ja, ik denk dat we daar wel ergens normaal aan moeten kunnen passen, toch? Ja, natuurlijk wel. Oh. Oh, en hij is nog niet klaar. Die gaat, uh, zoals uh, mijn grote vriend Eddie Leeds weer zegt, die gaat inderdaad voor <laughs> Dat heeft hij goed gezien. Louis, nogmaals bedankt voor het bellen en het doorgeven van deze waardevolle informatie. Geniet verder van de wedstrijd. Oeh. No. Hij mag niet uitgaan. Hij mag niet uitgaan. Dat is de... Ja, bij elkaar. Vijfde, zesde drop, denk ik. Voor de duidelijkheid... Oh, dit 
Not shorts. No. Uh, we hadden het zojuist natuurlijk over de Century bij VOC. Uh, maar er zit er een kans in, ja, om daar op in te haken, dat hij voor Hermes, toen de tijd dat hij nog Century heeft gemaakt. Ja, dat zou zeker kunnen. Dat het zou, zou zeker, kunnen, alleen zou, uh, volgens ja. mij toen bij Hermes was hij echt wel een, uh, een bowler in plaats van een better. Maar ja, uh, dat zou kunnen. Dat zou zomaar kunnen. Misschien moeten we het hem straks gewoon even vragen. Ik denk dat dat wel de beste optie is. Ja, en hem even voor de microfoon uh, halen. Met nog uh, drie balletjes te gaan deze over. Sailor aan strijk. Ja, dat zijn de laatste drie ballen van de over. Hè? Niet. Van, de, van de inning bedoel ik. Zo, haal bijna het hoofd van Piers Fletcher eraf. Dat hoofd kan wel veel hebben hoor. Ja, dat is ook wel. Mooi gelopen voor twee. En goed ingegooid. Ik hoop dat we al ergens het zuurstof uh, praat hebben staan. Dan gaan we het gewoon even de helm afzetten. Weer kort. Het, uh, het, 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 ik zou toch verwachten dat er veel voor die bal gaat. Ja. Maar hij bleef echt wachten. Hij bleef er gewoon op wachten. Ja. Oké. Okay. Hebben we de laatste bal? Uh, ja, dit is uh, wat nu komt is de laatste bal. Hopelijk dat uh, Piers hem uh, het Schiebroekse park in uh, krijgt. Maar door, uh, te, na cover mag voor mij ook. Eén. Ik ben de Bruce niet. En dat is het uh, eind van de innings. En de score is geëindigd op 225 voor 7. Piet Seller maar een fantastisch mooie 110. En uh, Piers Fletcher die eindigt met, uh, met 2. Nog uit. Netjes. Uiteindelijk uh, stroef begin voor VOC. Moeite met het veld. Vooral ook moeite met uh, de, de, de bowlers, de spinners. De bal kwam niet los, maar nu uitstekend werk van uh, ja, vooral Pieter Selaar wordt gefeliciteerd door de andere spelers. Met, uh, en zijn eerste century, 110 en voor VOC. Dit waren Papijn Katsburg en René Gleistein. De mannen gaan lunchen en daarna dan, uh, zijn of wij of Corrie die uh, Rutger is, die is weer terug. Dankjewel.
Hello and welcome back to Haslerweg. We're here in the 50 over clash between RBS and VOC. VOC making 225 earlier. Splendid 100 for Peter Saylor, the first 100 for VOC have been informed. And I'm joined by our special guest commentator from The Hague, Robert van Osterum. Osterum, Robert. Yeah, yeah correct, uh, Corey. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, nice to be here, nice to be sitting in the sun and uh, enjoying a game of cricket. Um, yeah, arriving at the ground and seeing Peter Sela smashing uh, us around was, uh, was a bit of a um, yeah, a negative, negative thing. Uh, we could have uh, yeah, done a bit better, I think. Yeah, but, uh, unfortunately, he was dropped yeah. on zero. Yeah. So I that, that so. yeah, I dropped on zero and went on to make a hundred. But in a Dutch perspective, with the Irish games coming up, it's pretty good to get the captain informed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, pity that we uh, are uh, um, facilitating this. Yeah, uh, sometimes though. it happens. Cricket's a funny game like that. So it looks like it's uh, Reese Mason and the dangerous Tobias Vise to open up, and it looks like Pierce Fletcher will have the new ball, an ex RBS player as well. Yeah, a lot of, uh, hey, <laughs> lots of uh, connections around. That's always nice, and uh, also with you, Corey. Yeah. Good to be. Uh, hey. Good to be uh, around in this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a privileged uh, position, really, to be uh, to be around the cricket field, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to be back on the field. First bit of sunshine coming through on a nice clear day, which is great for everyone involved. Yeah. So Pierce Fletcher will be bowling from his favourite airport end. Pierce, only two wickets this year. He keeps telling us he's due a bag. He okay. wants a few. Yeah. And he's uh, beat the bat a lot this year and hasn't had too much luck. So maybe today will be his day. Well, that's funny. Uh, I think Tobias Fizé is due for some runs hey. as well. So uh, could be interesting. Oh, I don't want to be biased, but I actually don't mind watching Toby bat. If he bats for an hour, they might be in with this chase. Scores very, very dangerous. Reese Mason's been in some form as well. Yeah, yeah. He's worked really hard. He has, he, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He was the specialist fielder, uh, batting a bit and, and bowling a little bit. But uh, he's worked really hard this winter. And... Uh, yeah, getting along and getting uh, starts, and uh, now he has to yeah convert this into uh, 50s and 60s and, and even yep. bigger. Yeah, good and on him because yeah. I, I remember a few years ago when he joined RBS, he was more really good fielder, bowled a little bit, but his batting was a little bit behind. And now to see him opening in the top class of fixtures, good on him. Yeah, definitely. And he's only young, huh? he's, he, he came when he was 16 or 17 with us. I think he's 22, three now. Really, as Pierce bowls the first ball, it's a high full toss and just to the leg side so yeah it's good to see if you work on your game throughout the winter and you keep going then you can earn yourself a spot and uh yeah represent rbs in top class yeah what about you rob still miss playing i remember when i was there you were still playing in the twos a little bit every now and then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah well uh, d d don't start about it really uh, this, <laughs> at this uh, moment uh, sitting here with my leg up and the mm. plaster around it uh, I um, I tried a game last week and uh, it only lasted two balls. Oh no, really? Yeah. So yeah. what? That, that's a cricket injury you've got at the moment. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's no. a proper cricket injury of the old old uh, player really, uh, of the not so uh, well uh, trained older player. And yeah, it's it's uh, the Achilles tore. Oh no! Snapped. Yeah. Did you hear it go? I I heard it. I heard it, and uh, I, I I looked around. I I thought, keeper, what are you doing? Are you? Uh, why do you kick me? Was Jan Elenius and uh, but uh, yeah, he he was there and, and watching uh, me fall on oh. the ground. But it felt like a snap, like a explosion, really. As our uh, Pierce bowls a yeah. straight delivery, not too much shape, and Reese blocks that into the leg side. Well, maybe it's time to join me in retirement. You might have to retire and hang up the boots for good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the was that the last injury your body can handle? Um, Cricket-wise, yes, I think um, I think it's better now to uh, to really stuck to uh, cycling and uh, yep. jeu de boule. I don't even know what that is. The tank. Oh, is that with the racket and it's like no, 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 no. It's with the iron balls. It's a French game. Oh. Um, and it's like balls, sort of. Or oh, as Pierce beats the outside edge, VOC operating with two slips and a gully. Max O'Dowd at first, Peter Salop second, and Bobby Hanif a gully. Okay, yeah, that's actually like bocce. We call it bocce in Australia. It's heavy ball and you flick it out like that. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and you have to uh, aim at a small sort of uh, ball uh, to, to get closest. Yeah, well, I don't think you'll be breaking your Achilles or snapping your Achilles doing that. It might be a safer option. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So hey, pity, pity. Uh, but uh, I think it's wiser not to uh, not to do it anymore and uh, just to hang around the, around the field, watch the kids, yeah. watch the first team. 
Yeah, brilliant as that. Pierce beats the bat again and gets that natural away shape. He uh, swings that new ball quite a lot. So 225, Rob. It spun a lot as well. Do you think that might be a little too many or a couple over par, or what's your gut feel? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's over par. Um, it's 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 really going to be a tough chase um, to to get to this total, really. Um, mm. but yeah. Then again, Tobias is is dangerous, and uh, got some good uh, middle order batsmen in uh, Theo Walbrook. Yeah, the overseas signing. He yeah. seems to have hit hit the ground running. He's made a couple of fifties already, hasn't he? Yeah, he hits the ball hard. He he works really hard on his fitness, on yep. his strength, and but he's it's not all uh, it's not all strength really. He, uh, he times the ball and looks a really dangerous player. But then again, stiff target. Yeah. Yeah, stiff target, stiff target. So it looks like Arnav Jain, the uh, off spinner, is gonna going to start from the uh, pavilion end and yeah VOC this year starting with spin in most games something that's come into cricket mostly in the last maybe 10 to 15 years teams opening with a spinner yeah I don't know what 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 uh, RBS did this morning with uh, with the uh, fifth with you, Julian Demay Julian Demay came on in the fifth over so 30 yeah. bowled two and yeah. then uh, straight to Julian Julian bowled really well yeah nice yeah but yeah, it does seem like it's something in one day cricket and T20 cricket now that uh, yeah a bit of white ball cricket some spinners come on very early and it might be, or maybe also they know Tobes loves pace on the ball. Yeah, so it might yeah, be a exactly. tactical thing as well. Yeah, yeah, no, true. And you were at uh, RBS for the Tide game the other day, I imagine, with HCC. That must have been exciting. Yeah, I was there uh, the whole day, uh, commentating and uh, yeah, hanging around a bit as, uh, as, the, as the, the medical delegate uh, yep. of the KNCB. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, I've got different. Uh, Caps on. I mean, that's how we say. <laughs> Commentator, <it>. doc, everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a pleasure to watch, really. As Arnav starts his spell and defended into the offside by Tobias. So Tobias Vise, easily the most dangerous batsman probably in the Netherlands, not just RBS. Will be looking to uh, get him off to an explosive start. And straight away he's gone the slog sweep, and it's uh, going to be mopped up by deep mid wicket and a deep backward square in operation so that's Tobes' account starting and yeah, yeah luckily he uh, didn't really time it that well fortune favors the brave they say i don't yeah. think he's got one way Tobes. it's pretty yeah. exciting to watch if he bats yeah. for an hour he's probably on about 70. he tries to hit it into the wind eh? that's well, his, uh, yeah maybe not the wisest decision I remember opening with Tobes a few years ago when I was at RBS and there was one game, we were none for 64 and I was on one and he was playing the most outrageous, our second ball of 50 over game, ramping it and this and that, he's a freak talent, an absolute freak talent. Short leg coming in yeah. as well. Yeah, I like it. Oh, as he beats the bat, that, that's actually, nice how shape. many fast bowlers do you see bowl the first over of the game and then go bat pad in the second? That's yeah. Pierce Fletcher. Yeah. Maybe one of those things put the biggest man there so you can yeah. block the ball. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of body. Yeah, there's a lot of body. <laughs> and that's almost brought him into the game. And Oh, oh there should be a run what? there and there is a run. Bit of confusion at first. But no bat pad for Toby. So that will start Reese's account. And he will get a single as well. And that's always a nice feeling. You were an opening batsman as well, weren't you? Yeah. Always nice to get off the mark with yeah. a single. Yeah, oh. yeah. It, uh, in the old days, it took, sometimes it took, 15, 20 balls, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting nervous and nervous. Yeah, it can happen. That Arnav, who's bowled well this year, that's well played by Toby, and another single into the offside. So the RBS openers on their way now. Who was the fielder? Uh, that's Dirk Van Barren at yeah. cover, left arm thrower. Yeah, okay. I, I, don't, I don't know if, if they knew that he was left handed. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, and that's well bowled. A bit of flight from Arnav. Arnav has bowled really well this year. He's also a young, exciting prospect. He's only 19. Yeah, he's in the national setup. Eh? Yeah, he's in yeah. the national setup. Yeah. yeah and uh, looking forward to watching young uh, Sieb bowl later for us as well. He's 17, and currently he's the leading wicket taker in top class. Leggy? We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't I can't tell you. I can't tell. You. No, no. Okay, we, yeah. We've got <laughs> this fun little thing at the moment. A lot of people are asking that. What's he bowled? But I like to say he's got the carom ball, the douchery. He's a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think predominantly it's more off spin and he's got the surprise leggy. But oh. Don't don't tell Harvey okay. S for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not watching. <laughs> nah, and hello to all our viewers out at The Hague who might be watching. If you want to get any questions in for Robert, 
ex-international Dutch cricketer, you can send them through via YouTube or on the uh, VOC Rotterdam ECL page and we'll get around to them when we can. Went to the 1996 World Cup, you were telling me, in the in the break. and. You can maybe give us some stories over the next couple of hours of that. Yeah, some of the stories have been told already, but uh, it's always good to uh, to repeat uh, good stories. Yeah, as Tobias faces his first ball from Pierce Fletcher, and uh, was basically off the bat. Not too sure what Pierce is appealing for there, but this will be a good little contest. Pierce Fletcher versus Tobias, ex-teammates, and uh, yeah, I dare say. What is the field looking like? Well, it looks like they've got. Get on my feet. We've got it's tr yeah. pretty traditional fine leg. You've got two catches in your two slips and a third. There must be a third man, or I've not seen him. Uh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like no. it. So no. an extra hole there. Six three field. Oh, and that's a lovely shot from Tobias. He just stands and delivers and lofts that over mid on. But it's going to plug in that outfit. Might not trickle for four. It no, does. it does. It does. So that's what we're saying about Tobes. He just natural timer of the ball, a freak talent, and he's one of the few people that strike rate right? over 150 nearly every time he bats. Yeah. Oh, this shit. season, this season, uh, yeah, it was a sort of a trademark 30. I I, I called it once uh, in, in in the previous games, 30 of 20 balls. Um, that 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 is. I hope it's not uh, his trademark. Uh, yeah, I think if he wants to go to the next level with his game, he turns yeah. those 30s into 70s and 80s. Yeah. Uh, what can Pierce Fletcher come back with now and that is chipped and that could be out and it is out oh no it was a full toss and unfortunately Tobias has sort of check drived it to a diving Dirk Van Baron at mid off and Rob oh that's disappointing yeah, that's a, to say the least that's a blow yeah quite a big blow yeah it's one of those ones with full tosses as a batsman everyone thinks it should be the easiest ball to hit but sometimes it's always a bit awkward yeah yeah, the previous ball he didn't hit that hard either. Was it checked? Yeah. Checked lofty drive over middle. Middle. Dirk. 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 Okay. Next batsman is Theo Wolbuk. Yeah. So how's Theo look? How does he look? Well, as a player. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, strong. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's one. Uh, um, yeah. Explanation really. Uh, he's really strong, composed. Uh, wants to hit the ball. Uh, pretty soon, sometimes a bit too early, maybe yep. on his on his shots. And what's his? He's back. He's South African, and uh, was he playing provincial cricket over there or yeah, first class yeah. system? Yeah, yeah, Western Province. Okay, yeah. So first class experience. So I think he has played once or twice for the Cape Cobras. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but he, he was a regular uh, player for the for Western Province. Okay, provincial side. Yeah, so a lot of responsibility on his shoulders then. I think if uh, Harbiess are to go close today, he'll have to bat most of the overs. Yeah. And uh, he sets up for his first ball today. Oh, and it's uh, flicked into the leg side, but not not off the meat of the bat, just a dot ball. So yeah, disappointing for Toby and. Yeah, just one of those ones, a low full toss, he just checked it straight to the mid-off fieldsman. But maybe in a big chase, like two good partnerships, two partnerships of 80 set you up, two partnerships of 50, 60. Yeah. We don't have a long betting lineup, to be honest. Um, but we do have some uh, some decent middle order batsmen. Oh, it's played through the V to mid on. Yeah, so I saw that it's good for Harbi. I saw there's some young kids, young Benos in the lineup as well. And yeah, Navjeet. Uh, Navjeet still. He, how old is Navjeet now? Yeah, he he, he, uh, he looks like he's uh, 30 maybe, but he, <laughs> he I think he's only 21 yet. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he was the the, the 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 big talent in the youth, debuting for the first team when he was 16 or 17. And he's still and doing well as well. Yeah, and he's doing better and better as a batsman uh, as well now. Uh, that is driven confidently to Tim de Kock at cover. Yeah, there's no G, another maybe one more big year with the bat, maybe a couple of hundreds, and you think you'd think the Canes would be, and maybe Ryan Campbell would come have a look. Yeah, I I, I would definitely uh, have a look at him um, as a, as an all rounder, uh, and he even showed that he can pull some some off spin uh, today. I don't know, if he got smashed a bit in the end, but uh, didn't do that badly. He's uh, suffering a little bit from an injury. Uh, 
so that's why he didn't bowl last week and the week before. But betting wise, he he's really solid and um, definitely worth uh, a mention. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've been informed that a little bit of the live scoring isn't working. So it is one for seven at the moment as Arnav gives that some flight. So we'll keep you updated with the scores at the end of the overs, uh, just if the frog box scoring system isn't working. But yeah, Navjeet, you are right, has a lot of talent. Yeah. A lot of yeah, talent. So yeah. is he batting at about four or five? Is yeah, he? he'll be in four, I okay. guess. Yeah. Oh, as Reese Mason looks to cut the ball turning into him. A little bit tricky on this deck. It did turn a lot today. Yeah, and obviously already was um, within the, the A side, I think, uh, two, three years ago. So okay, so he's been in the system yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he, uh, he is in the system. And there's some good youth kids coming through at the moment for, for RBS? Yeah, well, some of them um, already in the selection and, 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 and making debuts. Um, yeah. Julian van der Raad uh, is playing today, um, mainly as a fielder, really. Um, uh, <laughs> Martijn Scholte is a 12 man, 16-year-old um, uh, prospect. Good keeper. Keeper, yeah. He will be the next keeper uh, once Tobias uh, decides to bet only. Yeah. Yeah. He can bet a bit as well. So yeah, that's a prospect. Um, and your your boy. Yeah, possibly. I uh, hope so. Yeah, we we, we got two uh, two really good youngsters like my 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 son and uh, and, and uh, Azam Khan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you said that before. Very very good. Very composed batsman. Uh, good leg spinner but already. How old is he? He's thirteen. Oh, or good. Fourteen and yep. yours is fourteen. So yep. they uh, they could uh, step up in the next two three years hopefully. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, there's a and lot of yeah. exciting things going on with Dutch cricket at the moment with all yeah. the ODI Super League. You're going to get more yeah. and more fixed over the next six to seven years. Are you looking forward to the Ireland Games next week? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Are you attending? Are you attending in an um, official role or anything? No, I uh, I will be sitting with my leg up and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and have a look at uh, at Zigo. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool that Zigo is covering yeah. the matches as well. Really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah professional commentators. Uh, even more professional than uh, than us. Than, than, Never. than us than you. Yeah. Uh, oh that is God. a gorgeous shot, my word. Shot of the day? Uh, well, Peter Saylor played some pretty nice ones, but for correctness and a bit of if you're a cricket purist, <laughs> yes, that is a gorgeous shot. Just uh, over pitch there by Pierce, but don't mind that from the bowler as well. You've got to get that white ball up there to swing. You've got the slips yeah. in place, so yeah. sometimes you take a few to get a few. You've got some runs to play with. Yeah, yeah exactly right. I don't think that should deter Pierce too much, but yeah, gorgeous shot. Uh, Pierce wow. now goes straight, and that's an even better shot if you ask me. It's a on, on go the full distance. Yeah, and that's an on drive and uh, absolutely gorgeous shot. So Teo Wahlberg is it? Wahlbrook. Wahlbrook, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Showing a little bit of class here at VSC in the sunshine. Uh, <laughs> it's about time we had some sunshine. Rob, what was going on in May? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No, Not good. Terrible. Yeah. No, I, I, I felt for uh, our two South Africans, or well, Brian is not completely South African, of course, so he knows about the possibilities of rain. Oh, that would have oh. been three in a row. It's three gorgeous drives. That one's hit Piers Fletcher on the foot. You can say it's a bit of good fielding, maybe, but yeah. yeah. I think he was a bit late. Yeah, he's a bit no. late down. <laughs> but uh, Teo's yeah. looking in uh, some mine, fine touch. Yeah. yeah. No, he uh, he will prosper in uh, better weather, even. Yeah, that's true. That is actually a true thing. When you feel comfortable in your skin, yeah, the runs usually flow as well. Yeah. But we shouldn't jinx it. Eh? Well, you yeah. shouldn't jinx yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. Team VOC. <laughs> no, I'm trying to remain <laughs> neutral as well. Being neutral in the commentary box is always important. When was the last time you were at VOC then? Um, it's been a while? Playing. Or oh, no, or just, uh, just, just here in general. Oh well, th th that was not too long ago because oh. I'm a, I'm a chauffeur for uh, for the girls. Oh, uh, of yeah. course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've been uh, here more often, uh, more than I would uh, would have been at HBS uh, last winter, really. That's in the air and almost caught by Tim DeCock, but it's going to run away. You'd think for a, a third boundary for Teo. 
No, it's, oh, it's, no, the commentary's gone a little bit too early there as it's pulled in by Ayaz Durrani, so that'll be three, and that was almost the big wicket, but he's looking at some nice touch, isn't mm. he? Mm. I think VOC, when the sun's out, aesthetically, it is one of the more beautiful grounds in Holland, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We cannot really see the the, the, the clubhouse, or how do you call it, the pavilion. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's majestic. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? If needs, you're a cricket purist, you, yeah. you enjoy it. Needs a little bit more trees around, and it's... <laughs> uh, yeah. As that Reese Mason gets forward nicely, Reese has definitely made that technique a lot more compact I remember him a few years ago it was always a little bit loose he looks nice and compact at the moment so I'm looking forward to this little battle though Teo versus Arnav Arnav's bowled really really well the last few weeks with the new ball be interesting to see if he gets after the off spinner early yeah what 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 they did very well last week against HCC uh, these two and 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 also Navjit is uh, ticking the score yep uh, getting ones where they're, where they're yeah where where nearly no ones they they, they took to ones so that frustrated has to say a lot um, I think that's the way to go now um, just to, to yeah pluck the ball to square leg and uh, yeah just tick it over yeah. and just yeah. Don't take too many unnecessary risks at the moment. Yeah, uh, just get four, four and over, four, yeah. five and over. Take this game Without deep risk. and then see yeah. what happens later. Yeah. Well, watching him bat against pace was pretty impressive. Looking forward to seeing how Teo sets up against spin now. And that is blocked beautifully into the offside. Nice drift, it looks like. Yeah, Arnie's yeah, yeah 19, uh, tall, off-spin bowler. Got a nice little arm ball as well, but I think he's another one that Ryan Campbell might have his eye on. Yeah, he's in the setup. Oh, as he beats the bat there, that one didn't drift so much and sort of went on with the arm a little bit. as well I don't think that's I think that's more natural variation just going on straight and not actually turning right. that's the thing as a spinner if you turn one ball quite a lot and then you're a batsman you sort of play for different lines all of a sudden you're thinking it's going to turn and if it doesn't it just slides on past the bat yeah that's flighted and that is a gorgeous shot my word this boy can play that is gorgeous it jeez I like the, I like the look of him yeah. my word there's a bit of class in all of those drives, isn't there? You were a pretty aesthetically beautiful driver of the ball as well. I yeah, remember watching. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> <a> step up. <laughs> yeah, he's 23 or four, so uh, lots of years. Is South uh, Africa having a good look at him. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. They. Um, I'm not too sure about the whole South Africa system at yeah. the moment. Uh, I, I, yeah, I was told by Ryan and by Theo that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really look good. The uh, players would rather leave the country than, than to mm. stick. Uh, no, that's just sure. disappointing to hear. Yeah. Is that Arnav comes back with two pretty so interesting over that. A couple of balls beat the bat and then a nice drive. So one for 22 off five. Teo has moved on to 15 not out. Reese Mason on one not out with him. Yeah. So how do you? How does Harvey S then? I've got a question for you, Rob. How does Harvey S go about picking their overseas players, and who goes through the system to do that? Um, yeah, we 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 got an agency. We got uh, contacts. Um, Short and, and Taco. Uh, Short Roman yeah, yeah, and yeah. Taco yeah. Rosalana yeah. got uh, contacts in South Africa, uh, mainly at the moment uh, through uh, Kenny Jackson, through uh, sometimes through uh, Bradley Barnes. Yep. The previous overseas, they all know the people around, and uh, we uh, we found a way to to actually get uh, South Africans over again. It it, it, uh, it it's not a illegal act or so, but it, it just took a lot of paperwork to. Uh, to get them over um, because the the, the, the END, the IND is mm -hmm. a little bit difficult in yeah getting uh, foreign yeah, employees. Yeah, it gets a bit to, tricky, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So, but but we got away and and yeah, they they, they speak the language. They um, yeah, and then it's just a matter of picking who who we need in the team. Yep, understandable. Yeah, it seems uh, you guys have been blessed over the years with some decent overseas. I remember J Jaron Morgan. 
just a couple of years yeah. ago was yeah. he was a freak player hit a thousand runs yeah. he hit the ball so hard yeah. so hard and then yeah. you had Grant Elliott good, back uh, in the day good mate of you uh, yeah he's a good mate Jaron he's actually just um, cracked through the Perth system a little bit more made his debut for the Scorchers in the Big Bash yeah. back home and, yeah. and now he's he's gotten quite fit Jaron so yeah he, uh, he's lost some weight eh? yeah he's yeah. lost quite a bit yeah. there's a Pierce Fletcher bowling to Reese here and uh, well blocked again by Reese Mason. Yeah, and some, what about some of the older overseas at Harvest? Grant Elliott, that's yeah. a pretty big name. Yeah, that's a decent, uh, <laughs> decent, decent big name, yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. He, uh, he looked classy when he played for us uh, in all three aspects of the game. Uh, uh, betting, getting hundreds and bowling, uh, nippy, and, and, and taking unbelievable catches. Yeah, yeah he, just he, a he freak talent. Ultimate and a real nice guy, so he really fit fitted in uh, Javier's nicely. Yeah, very important. And um, yeah, he went on to become uh, New Zealand, right? Yeah, and, uh, he did. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that everybody knows him in the world. In the every, world now. Everyone knows that famous shot in to win the semi-final for New Zealand yeah. to get them in the final in that 50 over World Cup. And getting Dale Stein back on his, yeah, yeah. On his feet again. Yeah, yeah. No, good man. Good man. And yeah, I think uh, at RBS, all the overseas have always enjoyed their time. Oh, I did enjoy my time. They're one of the best social clubs in Holland. RBS is a brilliantly <laughs> social club with the football mix, the hockey mix, the yeah. Friday night cricket, yeah. all the things. It's great fun. You uh, you fell with your nose in the butter, eh? <laughs> That's how we go. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one, yeah. mate? No, you, you were right on the spot. You you, you were really enjoying uh, the, the, uh, the, the RBS, the system, the, 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 I think the I enjoyed, girls around. I enjoyed my time at RBS a little bit sea, too much. The sea and the sand and the, the beach. It was, it was yeah. such a good lifestyle. It was, yeah. it was go, go down to the beach during the day, enjoy a bit of a lunch, go for a swim, come back, coach the kids, play, yeah. do some training, go do it the training next day. Training on the beach. Training. We did a lot of beach cricket, actually, yeah. with our youth kids. Oh, yeah. It was great fun. Uh, that's driven nicely to mid off but yeah the Hague beautiful spot and uh, that was always the thing that surprised me the most when I moved to Holland that you actually do have a bit of a beach scene I mm. never ever growing up thought oh Netherlands yeah. and beach but it's actually yeah. beautiful what part of the Hague are you living Rob? Uh, well right next to Harvey yes yeah, yeah still not next at, to the club at the moment I'm living there and uh, I, I grew up there so uh, yep. uh, I'm, I'm yeah, I've so, got black blood in my uh, yeah so you're a you're a crow from a young yeah. young age yeah yeah okay yeah. Yeah, always been, never left the club. It's got its, uh, its pros and its cons, of course. Yeah, uh, as every club does. Once you know the club, you know all yeah, the ins and the outs. And the, uh, yeah. yeah, that's nice. So you must be proud to um, have seen Julian DeMay, another crow, make his debut for the Dutch last, well, yeah. not last month. Yeah, really nice, really nice, yeah. He uh, he also worked very hard. He's a he's a typical laid back sort of character mm, uh, very. who who needs some pepper uh, pepper up, yeah. and um, he seems to have gotten the, the message really. Yeah, well, a good opportunity for him in the coming years because Peter Saylor and Rolf van der Merwe are probably at the ends of their career, and yeah. you think the Dutch will be looking for a left arm spinner to stay in that in that group as Teo's back on strike and. The score at one for 23 off seven, but the danger man, uh, Teo, on strike, looking beautiful at the crease. Oh, and there's a bit of a loose, flashy drive, and it goes past Max O'Dowd at first slip. And It'll be three, I guess. Yeah, I imagine that'll be no. three. Yeah. That's well run from Reese. Oh, a little bit of... That was, hurry. It was actually well run from Reese there. Teo was yeah. being a little bit lazy, but no. Reese called him through, which is... Good cricket to get him back on strike. So maybe the first loose shot there. Yeah. And does Reese still do a lot of working with the kids as well? Yeah. He yeah. Um, he, he he not only matured in his uh, in, in his game in his cricket, but also in uh, taking up coaching roles. And, Good on uh, him. Yeah. He uh, sort of the the head coach. Yeah. Um, of the youth, yeah, um, organizing uh, games and, and, and training plans for uh, for all the youth. So that's really good. And he um, he found a uh, a learning job. Or how do you say that? He, he he's, he's uh, doing a study and working uh, together as a something with his with his hands. And okay, nice. Yeah, yeah really good. Uh, so he uh, it's nice to have in the club. Yeah, brilliant.
Oh, and that's a nice drive, but just to cover maybe the toe end of the bat. So he's just the only he's just struggling a little bit to get himself going here. He's on one. He's been out there for some time. I wonder if he'll think about maybe going over the top or taking a little bit of a chance with a sweep shot. As he defends that as well into the offside. But he's getting himself in. He's still there, which is important. Yeah. Now he's really a nice guy as well. And uh, hard worker. So that's uh, ab absolutely uh, great to have him. Yep. So you'll be getting all the social cricket and the twos team back shortly if the restrictions improve. And Yeah, actually last week was the first uh, sort of uh, mixed game. It wasn't, uh, yeah, we, 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 we couldn't call it a game. It yeah, was it's, a not that, yeah it was it's, a it's like a centre wicket almost. Yeah, just a practice session uh, with two teams really. The under 17s, the Zamis and the seconds. Uh, and, and yeah, that, that was quite good. Yeah, nice. Some girls involved as well. Brilliant. Obviously, uh, we've got five or six girls in that age group. As uh, Teo drives very nicely in the mid on. He, he looks good, this guy. He's very, very good. Uh, we have a problem with the laptop and so the, the score yeah. the drop box is not working. Could you, could you just tell the people every now and then what score is? I'll do it at the end of each over. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. Oh, finish your oh, sorry. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are you on the uh, list? Oh, and that's uh, a bit of a loose drive from uh, Tao there, but Pierce still operating with quite a attacking field. Yeah, it's an attacking yeah. field, and he's bowling very, very full. So I'm sort of a, still trying to induce the juice the uh, error but they've just moved out first slip it looks like Peter Saylor the captain with plenty of experience moving first slip into mid wicket and keeping the one catcher behind so maybe something we don't know oh, and that is flicked down to our fine leg where Sieb will do the mopping up young Sieb Looking forward to him having a bowl of his leg spin or off spin later. Yeah, I'm going to watch closely. Yeah, it's hard warm, to tell. Warm, warm up routines. Yeah. Watch his hand closely. Another exciting cricketer for Dutch coming through. So yeah, the ODI Super League next week is very important for the for the Netherlands and their projects. How do you think they'll go? Um, yeah, I think both teams missing uh, a couple. Yeah, a couple there. So yeah, should be even, even chances possibly. Good single. Yeah, that's really good running by race. Yeah, it's uh, the Dutch bowling looks strong. They're batting yeah. a little bit, yeah. maybe a little bit Bigger. nervous. Yeah. Yeah. But Ireland, I don't think have anyone that's going to blow them away. It's just a, it's almost a battle of attrition between those two teams. Yeah. I'm liking the looks of Logan Van Beek, Timmy Van, Beek, Freddie Clarkson was here today, so he's just landed in the country. So a lot of our uh, county experience coming over yeah. with the ball, which Brandon is handy. Glover. Brandon Glover's over yeah. it now. Vivian Kingmar's in so much form with the ball as well, so plenty of options for the Dutch. Oh, as Teo goes for a booming drive and Pierce Fletcher beats the bat. But yeah, plenty of options. It should be good and they're three, just a three games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it means a lot, the ODI Super League. Uh, yeah, basically if you finish in that top 12, you get another three year cycle in that. And X amount of Some games. Extra, extra Euros around. I imagine yeah. there'd be more money, more sponsorship. <laughs> Sri Lanka are struggling in that. They're on negative two points after five games. So if the Dutch can win a couple, uh, it'll mean quite a lot. Oh, and that's a beauty. That's probably the best ball Pierce Fletcher's bolt. Maybe it's a little bit of seam away. But while we've got you here, Rob, let's pick your brain. 96 World Cup. Who? I like these sort of questions. I'm a bit of a cricket nuffy. I like old cricket. So tell me, 96, who was the best bowler you came up against um, that you faced? Yeah, I, I betted t twice in, uh, in in those matches. I, I was lucky to bet twice, uh, but I only betted at eight and nine. Doesn't uh, matter, you were still there. I was there. I uh, got to, uh, yeah. Who? What teams Experience. were they against? Um, I played against the UAE and against South Africa. Okay, so um, South Africa. Who yeah. was in that lineup there? Yeah, um, Alan I, Donald? No, I, f I faced uh, Sean Pollock and what, uh, was Sean Pollock there? Yeah, he was. And um, I didn't face Alan Donald in that uh, World Cup. But oh, you faced him in? I faced him in, in England. Um, 
but also uh, Craig Matthews. I, yeah, th those were the two bowlers. I I scored five not out. Um, yeah, in, in the in the last in the. So they couldn't get you. They couldn't get. Yeah, me. that's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> it looks like Bobby Hanif is uh, coming on for Arnav Jain. Oh. Yeah. And the uh, the score here is one for twenty eight. <laughs> if you can't see the scores on our live app, just uh, we're getting that just for the score at the moment is one for twenty eight. Did it, that World Cup, the boy, the man from the UAE that walked out and faced Alan Donald without a helmet. Sultan Zarawani. I watched that again the other day. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable footage. If yet. Yeah. What was he doing? Yeah. I, laughing, you know, mate. We we were we were uh, in 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 our hotel rooms and uh, we we were all relaxing and watching the game and and when we saw that everybody was shouting and and saying what what is Sultan doing and. Uh, we were all coming together and watched this first ball of Alan Donald and uh, bang, smack on the head. And it's floppy. Say the, say the <laughs> name again. So if you're listening or watching this. Sultan Zarawani. Sultan Zarawani. Please go on YouTube well, after our live coverage and look it up facing Alan Donald in the 96 World Cup. You know the best thing about this? He walks over, he holds his head, then he picks his floppy up and yeah. he faces one more ball with the floppy on. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he didn't go down. I, I've... That is, I literally watched it this week again. That is some of the biggest courage or n nutcase I've ever seen. Brilliant. Yeah. Cricket folklore. Yeah. And Sri Lanka won that World Cup, didn't they? They did the Aussies in, in yeah. the final. Yeah. Couldn't win it. We can't win everyone. Mate. <laughs> it was like Bobby Hanif, old Bobby Hanif coming in. Mm, Bobby. Off good. Yeah, he's a crafty bowler, Bobby. He knows his art. Basically, he'll come off these steps. He'll do a little off cut, a little leg cut. Uh, he'll seam does one. He nip it, uh, yeah, he does. He does deliberately. Uh, I don't think he. Well, when you hit the seam, I don't think he knows what way is it going to go. Usually, it goes in for him, but he's he's got a really good off cutter and leg cutter that he likes to operate with. He's taken a lot of wickets and played a lot of games for VOC. He's, uh, he's one of those typical top class bowlers. Just knows his game really well. Uh, so that's driven nicely by Reese. So you think uh, Reese might be feeling a little bit of pressure at the moment now? He's still on two. He's still there, but yeah. as an opener, do you think he's? No, it's never nice to to to, to have two off twenty balls. You know, it's 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 not very nice. You, yeah, he should be looking for the single really. I think he's looking, but yeah, just you see doing doing well. As, uh, there comes his first loose stroke. So maybe we will correct that pressure just getting to him and goes past the outside edge so the, the thing is they only have to go at 4.5 and over so it's not a crazy run rate they required rate they need to get yeah. but uh, I'm sure uh, they'll be looking to build a good partnership here with Tao. Navjeet Singh coming in next Adil Ahmed in life Julian DeMay that's a pretty thing there's a fair bit of batting yeah. oh lovely shot by Reese. nice and straight but it's picked up by the young Sieb Yeah, I know VOC will, uh, I'm not too sure Peter Saylor will bowl too much today. I think he's going to look after that back. Yeah. So, that's one bowler down, but they'll be maybe looking to Yelta Schoonheim or Dirk Van Baron. Max, Max O'Dowd? Max O'Dowd's bowling his leggies again now, and they're coming out really, really well. Really, really well. So, and I always believe he's making a lot of runs, so when you're confident with the bat, everything in the field goes well, the ball goes well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks so much. As uh, our good man Ronald's going to bring over two red cans, no green cans yet, no Heinekens yet, just a nice Coca-Cola. So yeah, please get you know anything about top class cricket or talk to Rob about his 96 World Cup as Reese Mason shows a, a little bit of intent and chips it over mid on and should get back for an easy two. Ooh, the batsman almost collide. You ever been in, you ever done no, that? A collision, no. No, never. No, no, I can't remember. No. You see it happen every now and then. One no. batsman's on the floor no. and the ones run no. out. And I once collided, uh, sticking out my bed um, and, and and tripping over the bed oh, when, when, when when it got stuck. So it got plugged so into the plugged mud, in, sort of. Fell over and I dislocated we, we, my. Uh, oh, you're kidding! My, my AC. Yeah. <laughs> we call that jackknifing in Australia. Mm. It's like a jackknife of yourself. So Reese may be starting to show a little bit more intent. Yeah, should get a single now. And uh, he's whipped that, and whoa, did that carry? I'm not too sure it carried to Bobby Haneef. There were shouts of catch, but I think it was on the half volley. So VOC doing what they do best, sort of just sticking in it. Nothing amazing, just being plucky. I'm getting a message from uh, Marco Frizzell. 
Hello, actually, Marco. Actually, in Spain at the moment. Hey. And, um, he, uh, yeah, enjoying the the live footage as well. So, Jeez, it's uh, yeah. difficult for some, Marco, in Spain. I wish I was there. Well played by race. Yeah, it's, uh, we had on the YouTube chat earlier, we had people from the UAE, people from India, people from Bangladesh, all tuning in today and uh, sending in their country flags where they're watching from. Mm. Yeah, we, uh, we, had, uh, we had a feedback on the, on, on the YouTube that, that uh, 10, 10 or 15 percent of our viewers was from, from India. Yeah, oh, they'll, they'll watch any form of yeah. cricket. You can play yeah. six-a-side tape ball match and they'll tune in. They love it. They just love it. Do you reckon there's some some betting betting on uh, on, on these games? Oh, I'll be allowed to talk about it because I've got money on this. <laughs> um, I don't. You know what? There probably is somewhere. Um, I think wherever there's live sport, there's some yeah. syndicates going on in that. Um, not too sure though. Not too sure. But yeah, like all our Indian viewers and. I did a bit of work and commentary with the European Cricket Series recently and they get extraordinary numbers all from India and Pakistan. Some of that cricket's quite a low level, but it doesn't matter if it's cricket, they'll watch it, you know? Yeah, quite funny and good good, good footage of yeah. that, those. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's Pierce Fletcher's starting to bend that back. and Bit of extra bounce. Yeah, it's been a funny... Uh, Teo came in, boomed three or four drives and then maybe just in the last 10 minutes VOC have fought back a little bit so a bit of cat and throws Pierce Fletcher bowling pretty well here yeah bowling a little bit shorter yeah a little not, bit not, shorter not feeding the half volleys yeah yeah you can't do that to Teo well I don't think Pierce will be coming back for a second spell it's all in this first spell with him so will he uh, join us up here no, then. Yeah, he likes to get <laughs> off the field early old Pierce we've got a 12th man today as well so he comes in again and that's well bowled, and that's beautifully driven. But Tim DeCock, great fielding by Tim DeCock, saved yeah, a certain so four cool. runs. Yeah. yeah, he's uh very, very agile. Tim, he's also now being picked up in the sort of Netherlands A, Peter Boren's mm. group, and training with them. So it's quite nice to see Dutch cricket growing. And well done, Timmy. So you can hear the supporters in the background, absolutely ecstatic. Yeah, colleague, colleague Doc. Yeah, another Doc. <laughs> But yeah, so many people from RBS have been tuning in the first few weeks, enjoying the frog box and the interact sport. Yeah, we don't know exactly how many uh, RBS guys uh, actually or people watch, but uh, also quite a big fan base supporters at yeah, RBS yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, there's about. They have, they, I think one stage uh, against HCC there was about 160, 170 uh, viewers. Uh, so all in all, there must be must have been yeah, a couple of thousand viewers v views during the days. As uh, Reese drives that nicely to backward point, and the old boy Yelcha Schoonheim does it the mopping up. Look that subtle, <laughs> <laughs> but he's played plus 500 games. He actually got given his 500th cap last year. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's Still going. He's 40 and he doesn't want to stop. He respect, loves it. Respect. His the father as well would be playing in the two. He's still, still playing. I think so. Well, the, yeah. without the pandemic around, he would have been. So that's cut to Yelter again, <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> no one hits him in the shin. <laughs> what age did uh, you play to? And when did you retire from maybe top class? In 2007. In, so okay. I was 39. 39, yeah. yeah. But... Um, after that, um, yeah, once or twice a year with the second. Yep. Uh, four or five years ago, once with the first team. Yep. But uh, yeah, that, that that that's not on anymore. I I, I don't think that that forty plus uh, really should should uh, should be playing unless you're called Darren Stevens or what's his name? Yeah, D yeah. Darren Stevens yeah. from uh, from Kent. Absolute freak at the moment. Unbelievable. Yeah. That is unbelievable. And that is a gorgeous shot from Reese Mason. So he's shown a lot of patience, but he's got a wide ball from Bobby, and uh, he has hit that gorgeously to recover point for four. Thank you, Veres. Ronald, our trusty, trusty supporter, hands us a nice Fanta and a Coke. What a shot that was! Yeah, nice, nicely uh, executed. He's improved a lot, Reese. He's improved yeah, you, a you, since you, I last yeah. saw him. Yeah, you um, can see it. You can see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, he was playing twos, I think, and. Yeah. yeah, he's he's struggling improved. in the twos. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's improved a lot. With his judgment and his techniques are good on him, and he's I think still that there. Ball, that ball was there to be hit as well. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes batsmen hit a four and they think the job's done, but he could have hit that one as well. But these two putting on a nice partnership after the early wicket. Oh, 
that's driven uppishly, but it's in the gap. It'll be two. Yeah, it should be a simple two. As, uh, Rob will take over for a moment as I go and put my phone on charge. Yeah. <laughs> Finishes the over, over number 11 with 37 on the board for the loss of one wicket. It looks like Pierce is going to drop his cap again at the far end. It will be Pierce Fitzer again. Read out some scores from around the ground. Yes, do that's it. a yeah. lovely, yeah. lovely yeah. on drive. Oh, another ease. boundary. I'm back, ease. Rob. With the ease of this, this was a, a copy of the uh, the previous on drive that he played. I'm um, back, Rob. Uh, how did you go without me? Everything's okay? Yeah, I think yeah, I, <laughs> I, I managed. Yeah, I saw uh, Pierce <laughs> dropping his cap again. Oh no! At the far end and. Uh, Oh, he's bowled him, and that's a huge wicket. So Pierce Fletcher's snuck one through the gate, and it looks like the topper off there. Maybe it's come off his pad and then gone into the top off, but that is a really, really big wicket, Rob. Yeah, he looked in some form. Yeah, he did. He did. Oh, uh, yeah. Still got it. So while we've uh, got you here, we'll give you some scores around the ground, get Rob's opinion. It's two for 43 here after 11, but we'll give you some scores. So Excelsior playing HCC today, Rob. HCC won the favourites. HCC all out for 91. Excelsior, 4 for 25. Oh, no. That, that is at, uh, where? where is it? Excel Third lead. Yeah, okay. Is that Excelsior, it's right? Difficult wicket. Yeah, yeah, wow. So 4 for 25 chasing 91. That's pretty even. Yeah. Okay, the other game we have VRA playing Dosti. VRA made 302 for 6. Dosti, none for 7 in that chase. I'm not too sure who made the runs there. I'll find out. Punjab also playing Sparta. They made 285 for nine. So a couple of high scores there. And Excelsior in that chase were actually four for 12 at one stage. Wow. Yeah. Let me uh, find out who made the big runs in the, the other games. Uh, also, we have Vorberg versus ACC. Vorberg made four for 244. Arian Dutt with 75 there. Nice. Oh, and uh, it looks like Engelbrex there to the end. He's hit 131 knocked out Ooh, of yeah. 124. Sibrand, Essa, formerly of RBS as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, no way. You guys have had everyone. Yep. And, uh, that brings Navjeet Singh to the crease. Always like the look of Navi. Um, is that Navjeet? No, I don't think oh, my so. My apologies. I think it, it, it looks like Ryan. Klein. Oh, okay. So th is that a promotion? Is he usually a bit lower or? Yeah, I don't know what the tactics behind this is. Um, well, I, what can you see uh, on, on, on the scoreboard? Yeah. What is this? Um, everybody's wearing black. Uh, yep. Num uh, number seven on the back. It doesn't look like yeah. Navjeet. Is that? Pierce, who got the big wicket this over, comes in. No, that might be Navi. I can't tell from here. We'll have to yeah. get confirmation. Thanks, Tom. But uh, VOC now firmly ahead with that big wicket. But uh, yeah, some high scores around the ground. It'll be interesting that Excelsior HCC game. Ooh. Always like a low scoring thriller. That's well bowled again. So Pierce in some really good flow at the moment, getting that ball through nicely. So well, let's go back to the 96 World Cup. You told me you told me who you played. I love old cricket. I really do. Sean Pollock, you said. Who is the best batsman that you have come up against in that World Cup or around that period? Yeah, I remember uh, Andrew Hudson scoring 167 against us. <laughs> and uh, I had to... It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I had the honour to uh, to catch him out. Oh, nice! Yeah, on the on the bowling uh, of Eric Gauka. Yep. 
Um, Eric Gauka bowling one of his famous knuckleballs. A knuckleball, right? Yeah, eh? the Eric Gauka knuckleball special. Yeah. He uh, he trapped him. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we we. What did him. they make then? If he made 167. Yeah, I think it was about 300. Back, which, which was a huge score back, back then. Back then, 300s <laughs> ridiculous, yeah, right? Yeah. It's amazing how much the over rate, uh, run rate, sorry, have changed in the last 20 yeah, years. Yeah. Now we did actually, uh, we did quite well to contain him to 300. This wasn't that bad. Well, so that was in the World Cup. Yeah. That was, yeah. 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 To be honest, the other matches I don't really recall because I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't in, I wasn't on the field. Uh, yeah, it's a different mindset. It just, yeah, it was quite disappointing really to uh, to not play more. Um, yeah, playing yeah, against yeah. UAE, we, we, we played against them every year in, in those days, so that, that wasn't really really uh, a special game, even yeah. though it was a World Cup game. Did you win that match? Um, I don't think so, no, I think oh. we, we lost that one, we, we lost everything, but it was... Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter, you're at the World Cup. Yeah. So do you still hold on to, did you hold on to some mementos, like your playing shirt and things yeah, like that? Yeah, 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 a, stu uh, a stump, I, uh, yes, I, I snatched cool. the stump of the, the game. Against that's a good shot. That's a nice shot by Reese Mason. He's cut that backward point and turns for two. Turns blind. Turns blind. Yeah, I was going to say yeah, that. Just the little one percenters. Turns blind. If our viewers don't know, turning blinds, <laughs> turning your body away from where the throw is coming from. Yeah, he. I think he he he, he gets his uh, speed more turning. Yeah, with the right foot. So that that's that's why he sticks to that. But it's dangerous. Yeah, it is very dangerous. He blocks that astutely into the offside, but still overall an amazing experience to go to, yeah. to Asia and play cricket and oh yeah, top Definitely. 14 teams in the world and was it 14 back then actually? No, 12. Yeah, it was less. Uh, I think it was 12. 12. Uh, it was UAE, uh, us, and I think Kenya. Yeah. That's driven into the offside. So then the 99 World Cup, you, you mentioned to me off the air. Bangladesh did you in in the qualifying process? Yeah, we we, we played uh, that ICC trophy in in uh, in Malaysia. Yeah, um, and we we were quite unlucky with the weather, losing toss, and 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 the 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 monsoon coming in in the afternoon and Bangladesh, uh, yeah, playing tricks on us uh, with with with. Yeah. yeah. With not going in the field, etc., etc. They 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 outsmarted us really, and and, and the the weather. Yeah. So so th yeah, we we should not have lost to Bangladesh. Catch. That's a good shot. That is a nice shot. Nice cut shot for another dot ball. So what, what's your view on World Cup? Should the ICC be looking to expand them and have more teams in? Because it seems like it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Yeah. From from our aspect uh, perspective, yes. Uh, yeah. Make it a bit bigger. Uh, Get the uh, the associates more chance to uh, to step up the game, like yeah. like Ireland is doing now, yeah. um, and like we could be doing really. Yeah. 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 yeah even twenty over cricket could even have more teams and things like that. It is the global game, but it does yeah. feel sometimes it's yeah, for a World Cup as well. You'd want more teams in the area. It's always good to see an associate nation go up against the big boys. Yeah getting a surprise as well that's always nice it happens happens quite a lot but actually that's what they're afraid of i think ah uh, yeah there's a fair bit of revenue things as well i think it was in the um i remember one of the t20 world cups not long ago bangladesh upset india in the group stage as many india didn't go through and that's if it, then india don't mm. play seven games you lose yeah. seven days of viewership and yeah. it's quite a lot of money yeah but yeah, it would be great to see more of the minnow countries, they say, get into the World Cups. One can hope. It's Pierce Fletcher continuing from the airport end. That's a high full toss and flicked away quite nicely. And that should probably be a three if Reese Mason runs hard enough here. Reese can turn uh, not blind this time. Yeah, no, he's, he's done the right the thing. And I think it, that is Navjeet he's batting with. Yeah, yeah, it is Navjeet. Little yeah. Navjeet. So his birthday today as well, so happy birthday Navi, oh, if yeah. you're going to watch this later. So he must be 22 yeah. now, 23, 21, still a young boy. Yeah, experienced player um, yeah. by the, the number of years in the first team, but only 22, 3. Mm -hmm. yeah. A 
that's a lovely drive from Reese Mason through wide extra cover and they should turn back for an easy two as Arnav Jans is the chasing down so Pierce just maybe a bit of fatigue coming in this is his eighth over it looks like yeah respect yeah eighth on the trot to the big man yeah We're out to the big man he's one of the bigger opening bowlers I've ever seen actually he gets through loves a tosty and his ribs and <laughs> the big food connoisseur Pierce Fletcher but uh you can still steam in with that big heavy frame it's pretty impressive you're a doctor how much weight is he putting down on his knee and ankle when he lands yeah that, that, that's that's heavy right I think 10 times body weight really uh, going down on the left. Oh, and that's clever batting from Reese. This time he's opened the bat and let it guided through to the vacant third man for another two. So Reese just starting to get going now. But yeah, as a doc, you, you what's about 10 to 15 times your own body weight lands through? Yeah, with, with, with the front foot impact, yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. And I've seen, uh, I've seen injuries because of this. Uh, more often with with the opening bowlers with, with pace bowlers um, posterior impingement we call it to the ankle which yep. is uh, which is quite a nasty injury and can take you out of the game oh and that's an inside edge but that'll be just a you, single you know there, there's, uh, there's no scoring is there, uh, yeah, it's nothing cool. yeah okay cool thanks buddy so that takes the score to 2 for 52 <laughs> Navjeet Singh on strike Pierce Fletcher bowling his 8th consecutive over the big man that's full Yorker ball blocked out well played by Navi so 2 for 53 at the end of the 15th and uh, I think you'll start to see some of the slower bowlers come on. That must be the end of Pierce's spell, you would think. Pierce is uh, waving to the side. That's he'll come. He'll, he'll, he'll be off the field. Yeah. He's asking for a tosty, or he's coming <laughs> off the field. <laughs> yeah, it does look like the twelfth man, Rohan yeah. Malik's walking on. Ah, oh, he's done his job. Well, are you allowed to just go off for a rest after your spell? Ah, uh, if you, if you. Uh, I think you are. You but are? You, yeah, but you cannot bowl for the amount of time, time that, that you're, you're off. off. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Pierce comes off asking for some ice, so the big man has done his job. I'll be surprised if he goes back on Magnum. the field. Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> so Bobby Hanif continuing from the pavilion <laughs> end. Old stalwart Bobby is full house life and this is what Bobby will do most of the day pretty gentle but little bits of movement he won't go away from that line and yeah really been really impressed with Reese actually he took his time to get in but now he's getting the rewards for being patient yeah I feel maybe spreading a little bit yeah square leg up uh, not up I mean on the, on the boundary yeah so they're operating with a seven and two field which you don't see too often in 50 over cricket and we see Pierce Fletcher walking past us after a terrific eight over spell he unfortunately picks out the one man on the leg side in the ring <coughs> So you're doing a little bit of work now with the, the Dutch setup, Rob? Yeah, since last year I, um, I'm sort of contracted uh, to uh, yeah, for consultations. Yep. With the team, once a month I uh, I go to the team to the to the one of one of their practice matches, uh, practice venues, yep. and uh, assessing together with the physio George Dunlop. And uh, I must say that uh, they uh, they keep me busy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Is, it is not that easy a sport as as, as everybody uh, in, in, in the Netherlands would think. Quite some injuries, fractured thumbs, fractured ribs. Uh, oh, as Reese Mason comes down the deck and he's got quite a bit of that. He's hoiked that over wide mid on and had a trickle in for four. So Reese showing he belongs here and yeah, continue up. So quite a lot of treatments for all the players and yeah. Uh, ooh treatments like uh, well yeah it's more about assessing and, and, and making diagnosis and, and um, yeah 
it, it's got a lot to do with, with, with loads and load management uh, mm. of the bowlers, of their backs, uh, the ankles, uh, the shins. That's very, very um, strenuous. I've how, got do you, how do you say it? Yeah, yeah. It's stress yeah. Yeah. It's stressful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got a good question for you. How's the fitness of the squad compared to the squads you were in back in the day? <laughs> Much better, yeah. 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 I can say that, that when I was in, um, we had some, some uh, uh, strength and conditioning sessions. And we had eye sessions even with, uh, with, with uh, Cheryl Kohler, I think it was. It was the, 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 the South African uh, hockey player who sort of did eye consultation so we we started to do uh, things like that uh, psychological sessions and but it's more professional these days uh, uh, dietitians uh, a sports doc yep. like me around uh, nearly full-time physio um, just a more professional setup in these yeah. days isn't it yep. more support staff and the players yep. get looked after quite well how yep. many support staff would you take away on a tour back in the day Back in those days, one physio, and if we were lucky, a doc. Yeah. And a manager. And no coach? Coach. And coach. Yeah. yeah. Who was your coach at 96? Uh, David Trist. David Trist, good the, coach? The New Zealander, yeah. Yeah. And that, it looks like Dirk Van Baren will uh, take over from Pierce Fletcher's excellent opening spell and gentle left arm into the pitch. This ball's thrown across the turf. Yeah, so it's definitely a much more professional setup these days as some teams go around maybe 10 support staff, especially the big teams, they've got someone for everyone. Yeah, assistant to every Every person. single player. Yeah, We've got yeah. some people carrying bags for them. Yeah. As Navjeet Singh gets a short long hop and he's pulled that very, very nicely for four. So a bit of a long hop from Dirk Van Baren, not too quick either. So pulled away nicely there. And Navjeet's first boundary of the day. The birthday boy. Yeah, Navjit really turned into uh, a top order batsman, reliable, scoring runs in every game so far, and yeah. And I hope he has a really big welcome. season, I, I really think he could offer something to Dutch cricket over the next few years, and I'm sure Ryan Campbell's got an eye on him. That's a little bit fuller from Dirk, and blocked into the leg side, so 2 for 61 after 16. Big wickets of Tobias Vise and Teo Walbrook. Walbrook. But Harbier still in the fight. Still some batting to come. Yeah, 30 Vink, still. Stefan Vink, Julian DeMays improved his batting a lot. He made 90 yeah. against us last year. Ryan Klein, who is uh, in South Africa, is a bowler, but he's really a... Uh, That's very high. And pitching down leg. Yes. Yeah, I think that was an adventurous appeal from the VOCers. Yeah, so there's still some batting depth to come. Oh, definitely, yeah. I think uh, this, the chase is still on. Uh, I think it's evenly poised. Yeah, one of these two, you'd imagine, would have to go quite big and bat most of the overs. But definitely still in with a shout. So that's a bit fuller. And Navjeet just taps it on its head to Max O'Dowd, wearing the blue floppy hat today out at cover. I think we'll see a little bit of Max's leg spin soon enough and maybe a bit of Peter Saylor. And that's when the, it might get very difficult for Harbius if this pitch takes as much turn as it did earlier. That is well played as well. So let me see if I can find out those scores of uh, Excelsior. So having a doozy of a game. HCC earlier bowled out for 91. Excelsior with 4 for 12. As I look across and Pierce Fletcher can't believe it as he rests his... Leg after that eight over spell, while ball pierce. Don't expect us. Oh, and I get up. Excelsior moving on to 40 for four, so getting themselves back into that chase. And it is time for some more spin. So, Peter Saylor, the Dutch captain and VOC captain, and his first 100 today for VOC. Big moment. His last 100 was for Hermes a few years back. So. He's made a couple of 90s for VOC. So yep, so he made 93 twice So for VOC. So very happy to get across the line today. He'll be coming in to get some un overs under his belt before the Island Series next week. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can extract as much turn as uh, Julian DeMay did this morning. And, uh, 
the more I watch Pete bowl, the slower he gets, I feel. Last week he was bowling at about 8 kilometres an hour. I think that's touched 10 kilometres an hour. Nice and steady, old Pete. Oh, that is slow and very difficult to play. I'm not sure what's happening with Match Center. Uh, no, nothing yet. Dot KNCB dot NL. Nothing Maybe really a bit of TK happens. Cricket also gives us some nice updates as Pete continues and Reese blocks that into the offside and thinks about a quick single. So, Peter Sadie, the wild old fox, 100 today. Also survived a, a hit in the nether regions. It's good to see him walking again. We've got two doctors on standby that would have saved him as Reese gets a bit funky in the crease and Pete offers actually a bit of a long hop. And it's well run actually and they've chosen the man right wisely as Rohan Malik does the mopping up. That should have been Pierce Fletcher out there but Rohan does a good job. <laughs> uh, that's well played. You must love watching Pete bowl. He's changed into a batsman over the last few years but he's a clever bowler isn't old, he Rob? Old Fox. Old yeah. Fox. Yeah. Remember I get playing against him uh, in my later stages and he, him coming up. Oh, so that's hit wide of mid on it's going to be Ayaz Jirani and Reese Mason turns for another two. But yeah, he's changed his game a lot, old Peter Salen, now becoming a top order batsman and hitting hundreds and yeah. wasn't like that a long time ago. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. It's not that warm anymore. No, as soon as that sun goes behind any sort of cloud, it drops a few. And the wind has picked up here, but at least there's no rain today. No rain cards. Dirk Van Baring continuing. That's a better length from Dirk. Better length at that pace. You can't can't be off a length too much. <laughs> So the two left arm bowlers for VOC operating. Oh, and that is not good bowling at all. That's a it'll be four. Yeah, that's a long hop really. Um, and Navjeet Singh just had to touch it on his head, and he did what he. That was required. He looks quite compact at the crease. Reese Mason's moved on to 27. Navjeet, that'll take him to 11. The score's 2 for 69 at the moment. And Harvey S showing that they're in for this fight at the moment, even if they lost Tobias early. Yeah, compact is uh, the mm. right uh, description. Both Batman. Uh, what I, what I like about Navi, he plays the ball quite late. Yep. And he never really reaches, he's usually quite late on it. Really good batter, uh, knocking it down to third man as well. Soft hands. Reese, like we mentioned, has improved a lot, a lot from the last time I saw him play. There's that, that one is an off cutter, slow off cutter, just blocked back. Excels, you're uh, repairing the damage a bit. Yeah. At uh, chasing 91 all out, there are 44. Okay, so there. Stubbs relieves the tension a bit. Uh, Tristan Stubbs, also a Dutch passport holder, and that is short and fumbled by Scotty as well. Looks like uh, if anyone is going onto the Kings, it'd be live app at the moment. Just a couple of technical difficulties, so we'll try and keep you some of the scores around as that's left wide of off stump. The score here is currently two for 69. Good player, very good player. There's uh, everyone on the balcony enjoying watching Navji and Reese go about their business, and Dosti look like they're none for 56. Chasing 302. After nine overs. After nine overs, yeah. well, you yeah. have to go at six and over, so they're doing that. It's a nice start for them. Uh, Dosti trying to get their first win of the year. Also, with Sparta trying to get their first win of the year. 
So Peter Saylor continuing here, and that is slow and flighted. Who was the spinner in your day, Rob? Who who was the spinner for the Dutch? We played against uh, in, in for, for, for the Dutch team. Yeah, for your Dutch team, Eric Dilfer. What did he bowl? Uh, off spin. Right arm. Uh, right arm off spin. Right arm off spin. Yeah. Um, oh, is that a bit of pad first? No. It was like a bowling machine. Was he? Um, yeah. Eric, Eric Dilfer from uh, from Turlede, Excelsior, playing on the small ground. Yeah. Wow. Well. As Reese comes down, he's hit that straight to mid on, and Ayaz Durrani takes the catch. I thought he was going to eat it with his face at one stage, hey, catch, but he Ayers. puts his hands up in the way, and that's the big wicket of Reese Mason out for 27. The score three for 69 just didn't get enough elevation, Rob. Mate, he had the, the speed and the timing, but yeah. Yeah, just not enough elevation. Yeah. Maybe could have gone a little bit straighter with the stroke over the bowler's head or more mid off. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to be disappointed. That looks like it is Ryan Klein, the South African-born Dutch passport holder, coming out to join Navjeet Singh, the birthday boy. And it is drinks here. So we'll take a moment and we'll be back in a, in a couple of uh, minutes for the next now interval. Ryan, come back off. And uh, welcome back here. So Peter Saylor in operation. And uh, we're lucky enough here to uh, have Stefan Vink. He's going to come join me in the commentary box for a few moments while 
Robert takes a little break. Steph, welcome, mate. Look, not the uh, greatest day in the field for RBS, but you're three for 69, chasing 225, still in this game? Of course. Yep. Of course we're still in this game. And Singy uh, is settling himself now. Yep. Ryan, we have still plenty of guys that can make uh, 30, 40 runs. Yeah, so absolutely. If we build some partnerships, then uh, yeah, we still win this game. Yeah, I haven't it's going to be tough. Yeah, I haven't seen Ryan bat too much. Is that, yes, so he bowled very well today. What's his batting like? Nah, he's, uh, he's, he needs some time to, uh, to, to set. Uh, he will take some time also, of course, on this wicket. Uh, but once his eyes in, then uh, yeah, he's, he's a proper number five for us, yep. uh, for the top class. Uh, he scored 80 in the warm-up game against VCC. Oh, okay, lovely. So, uh, uh, yeah, he, he's got some runs on the board already. Yeah, and it was good to see uh, Reese Mason's looked good. He's improved, yeah, nice, a, he's improved yeah, a lot. Yeah, lovely, but he's put so much effort the last two years in his, in his, in his game, and it's coming out. And, uh, He's, I think every game he's making at least 20, 30 runs. And, uh, yep. Um, yeah, if you see where he's coming from, uh, I think you were there when uh, mm. uh, when, he, when he arrived. At I was saying before on air that compared to four years ago, he's improved out of sight. Yeah, to be cool. opening in top class, yeah. co he looks compact. I'd be disappointed to get out on 27, but he looked really, really good. Yeah, yeah. It's Navjeet Singh facing Dirk, and that's a lovely cut from Navi, and it's misfielded by Arnav Jan, so they should turn for two. And he's another good young player, the birthday boy Navi, still young. 21 um, today. 21 to, oh, yeah. he's 21st. 21 well, that today. is a big birthday, but yeah. he's, a, he's a hell of a player as well, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got so much time. Yeah, um, and he's, he's a cool, calm head as well. Yeah, 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 and, and he's an all-round cricketer. Eh? He, can, uh, he, can bowl, he can't bowl his, his normal ball because his ankle is, is a bit uh, mm -hmm. sore. Uh, so his landing ankle is, uh, is not, not okay. So, oh, that's, so why that's why he bowled off spin. That's why he bowled oh, off spin. Okay. Yeah. Um, so normally he bowls that, that medium in-swinging ball, mm. Mm. Uh, wicket to wicket. But uh, yeah, that's, it was his first game he was, he was spinning a bit, and mm. especially on this wicket. Uh, yeah, it turned, turned quite a lot, didn't it? Yeah. But uh, also uh, in the field, I mean, good fielder hands are, are, are safe with him. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he's got so much time with this, with with batting. Well, it's um, good to see so many young fellas coming through RBS. Benno's in the team Benno, today. Benno, yeah, yeah. Benno's improving a lot. Um, also, his bowling and then, yeah, as a lower order batsman, he's a, he's a he's a he's a nice nice batsman to have in your in your squad. Mm -hmm. As Dirk continues here, and that's a full ball brought back. So not your favorite day in the field no nope. we won't get into you because it happens <laughs> i've dropped catches before as well but oh, yeah, yeah, tell yeah, the viewers yeah. who don't play cricket when you drop a catch how, how hard a feeling is it uh, it's especially, hard especially if you've dropped peter sailor the, ca the captain of netherlands captain but of the netherlands. people would say you've done a favor they're playing ireland next week in three big games you might be the most loyal dutch cricketer if peter makes uh, some runs uh, against you've just put iron then uh Oh, I, I expect, he had, expect something back of him. Well, he hasn't been in form, so <laughs> you've got him into form, and now we're playing on it. If anything, you should go. We should be giving you a medal, Steph. You've saved the Dutch. You've just given them ODI cricket for another three how years. Much, how much money do we get if we uh, if we stay in the <laughs> yeah. Super League? Come well, on. yeah, quite a bit, a couple yeah, of I, million. So I, I get some percentage. I'll start that. be saying two percent to you, mate. <laughs> That's yeah. fair enough. Then we'll do it. Then I'll then I'll, I'll give one point nine percent to the to my teammates. <laughs> fair enough. Sorry, fair enough. Guys. No, it was terrible. And then you're enjoying uh no it happens but you're enjoying playing top class cricket and giving it your best yeah of course of course i mean this is what what what, what uh, yeah what you want as a dutch cricket player and and you're not uh, at the international level you want to play mm -hmm. top class is the highest that you want uh i'm happy we are happy that we can play in this situation yeah absolutely uh, yeah uh, we're happy we have, we have a good squad we have we, we're uh, we're on uh Training every week all together with 15 guys. Brilliant. Uh, James Hilditch was there last Thursday with us yep. to help us out, and it was uh, it was nice. I hope Robert is yep sneaking in, so we'll hey. uh, extra guests. So yeah, it sounds like you've got a good group growing there. Yeah, isn't? definitely. And it's a year, I think, a year for us that we uh, need to need to rebuild from 
yeah, some some guys that quit it last couple of seasons. Yeah, you've had a few retirements. Spirit West Dyke, Feshard Khan, Wessel Costa, Wesley Beresi, Wesley Beresi, Dennis Costa's knees Dennis gave Costa up on him. Gave up on him. So yeah, he might have been at the scene or the Hariyagaba. So <laughs> maybe Dennis Costa needed to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dennis, if you are listening. <laughs> no, so it's it's the rebuild, and we started it last year, of course, with yep. the uh, with the season that there were no overseas. Yep. Uh, so youngsters like Martijn and and Julian and Benno got more involved, and uh, yeah, we continue with that this this year. So yeah. And how does it feel playing for RBS with your younger brother as captain? Nah. That a bit of fun, so he gets to be the bossy one now. He, yeah, finally after uh, <laughs> 31 years, he's uh, uh, he can take over the. I thought he did quite a good job today. He was quite proactive in the field at the start and had some different sort of fields. I don't mind that. At least he's thinking outside the box. Yeah, the definitely. No, definitely, and especially with with the help of Tayo and and and, and Ryan and of course Tope with, Tope his, with uh, the gloves and yeah. Um, no, they they helped us. They help us well. Uh, yeah, we need that. I mean, we're not. As you saw, a, a strong fielding side, so we, we need help of, of the, the experienced guys. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. As uh, Dirk Van Baren with his left arm mediums will continue from the airport end. And Steph, are you still doing some coaching with the youth cricket or is yeah. it just football? No, you're still doing no, cricket still, coaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, with the, with the chair, chairman of the youth sitting next to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a, we have still have a good co- coaching group. Uh, with Julian, we always did that. Julian de Mij, now Julian van der Raad, Benno, Rees, uh, Ryan, Theo, yeah. Sandar, who's, who's injured. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the girls that are helping out with the U9, U11s, uh, the, the, the U15, U17 girls we have. Yeah, you've always had a pretty strong youth, pretty strong youth set up at the uh, Habia, sorry. Yeah, it's a good environment. Uh, mm. uh, people want to join the train that, that we are, uh, that yeah. we are at, uh, to help out. Uh, the youngers, uh, younger kids to, to have a good time and to no. develop. No, that's important. It's all about the kids at the end of the day. Yeah, you saw some some, uh, uh, some quality coming through now. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of kids that are playing at the Dutch uh, uh, Dutch national sides mm-hmm. as well as uh, girls as, as boys. Um, yeah, so we're hopeful for the, for the future. No, that's good, mate. That's yeah. good. And hopefully you can get all the crowds and supporters back in soon enough as well. You know, you know, I know. You experienced it. Eh? Don't tell me. Don't bring it. Can it be, can be uh, <laughs> loud yet at, at HBS. Eh? What was the saying? Is that's nicely whipped off the legs for probably a two. What was the saying you said before, Rob? Can you please repeat what? You fell with your nose in the butter. That's how he described my two <laughs> years. At, that's how he described my two years at RBS. Yeah. And I tell you what, I enjoyed oh, my time there. Yeah. I still say by a country mile, it's the best social club. No disrespect, I love the OC, I have a great time here. Mm-hmm. But socially, yeah. oh my word, yeah. RBS. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Birrant West Dyke, Thursday after training, you could be as tired as anything, you want to go home, and that man... <laughs> Hank, we call him Hank. Yeah, Hank. Hank would come out, and he'd get 20 com- <laughs> twenty of his best friends, and then we're at the scene, and the, what's the, what's a little Italian place called again? I love that place. Brata. Burrata? Burrata, yeah. Oh, yeah, my. yeah, with the, with the horse. Oh, my. <laughs> the mythical horse that we tried to steal every single time we went there. Oh, it's so, it's just a brilliant social club. There's yeah. football, the hockey, the yeah. supporters. We had a lot of fun. We had a, yeah, we had a good time. Well, we were successful as well. We made that T20 finals day. That, yeah, and then we, yeah. we guys got promoted again. Yeah, the champions in the head, the head class. Mm. Um, You've yeah. done that a fair bit in the last bit of yo-yoing, but now you're in the top class permanently. Yeah, now quite stuck. Yeah, 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 you are. Last, uh, mm. It's well kept by Scotty Edwards. As the, the, the score. We, we, we need to keep um, mentioning the score because the, the live speed... <laughs> I will leave it up to you guys. Thanks. Thanks, Steph, for joining us, mate. Good Have luck good with man, the bat, yeah? yeah. As, uh, we welcome back our co-commentator and all-round good guy, Rob. Three for 75. After 22 overs. Yeah, and that's driven to backward point. I as Gerardi doesn't want me up. It's 22 overs, 3 for 75. Game on still. Yeah. 28 overs, 2 go. Yeah, you'd think, uh, yeah, the run rate, required rate's not not extraordinary high. Navjeet's looking good on 12. Ryan Klein's obviously got a lot of experience. Stefan Vink's going to be in the lineup. Julian DeMay, so 30 Vink bats. Go, they do bat deep, RBS. Yeah. Julian DeMay is more and more a uh, recognised batsman, so... Oh, oh no, a little bit of confusion, up. but no. Um, yeah, Julian Demain made a 90-odd against us last year. I was in that game. 
That's the first time I looked at him and thought, wow, th yeah, he, he improved a lot as well. Yeah, the week after he scored an 80, I think, so it wasn't a fluke. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't just a one-off. Uh -huh. The end of the over, 75 for three. 22 overs gone, 23 now. I think that's 23 gone, Rob. Yeah. I think. To Peter Saylor getting in a few overs before his big week next week with the Dutch. Rolling to a, a young, exciting prospect, Navi, and Navi drives up beautifully. And Tim de has been excellent at cover today. A couple of diving stops. POC pride themselves on their fielding. Do a lot. Did a big hour and a half fielding session this week on That's Thursday all night. You're working? No, not me. I've, I've retired, mm. unfortunately, from the seniors. But uh, no, Tim DeCock's doing some great work, and Pierce Fletcher and I help out a little bit, Rob, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But no, usually good sides, uh, winning teams are usually very strong in the field. It's a battle of attrition, 50 over cricket. Really nice pasta, this. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you to Meryl Farson, who's been organising all the lunches for us, our team manager this year. What are your thoughts, Rob, while well, I've got you? You're a stalwart of the game. And I'm uh, I'm a bit younger and I enjoy my T20 cricket. What's your thoughts on all this T20 and the franchise leagues and the 100 they're doing in England? And you see some T10 cricket going on now. Do you like it? Is it good for the game? Or are you a bit more of a purist? And Yeah, I... I have to say I'm a bit more of a purist. Um, I still think that that basics are taught in the longer format, um, so that will never die. It shouldn't die. But then again, um, if you want to keep up the televised games, maybe even Olympics, or yeah, you mm. have to dream big. Then you need to go shorter. Yeah, they're thinking maybe T10 for the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. That's where uh, Ooh. probably the money is, but uh, yeah, I still like my uh, longer format. Longer formats and uh, yeah, grafting, mm. Mm. digging out the draw. Yeah, I you play a lot of three-day cricket, four-day nah, cricket? No, nah, nah, hardly, hardly. Only in South Africa, I played two-day uh, uh, cricket, club cricket in uh, in Cape Town. So yep. uh, that was four innings in two days. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. And how many? What's the longest you batted for? Um, 90. Uh, <laughs> As I, we have Tobias V saying 30 Vink. Tobias so hit a full toss back to the fielder today. Disappointed. Ah, and yes, but nice to see all the RBS faithful here. But yeah, sorry, Rob. Oh, there's a little bit of confusion. But yeah, so what's the longest you batted for? Um, yeah, I think that must have been um, opening partnership with Chris Stockdale. Um, Playing for Northern's Goodwood in Cape Town, uh, I think we, I bet it about 60, 60 overs. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah 50, 50 overs probably. Yep. I think I scored 95 or so. No. Yeah. When I was growing up in Australia, we used to play 80 overs one weekend, 80 overs the next. So as an opener, if you got in, you knew you had 80 overs. About it was a beautiful feeling. If you had yeah. a good day, you could end the day on 170 yeah. or one. A beautiful yeah. feeling. Yeah. Not too sure I could do that now. <laughs> <coughs> That is cut quite nice to, to point, Navi. Just couldn't pierce the gap and thrown in on the bounce to Scotty Edwards. But yeah, so you're a longer format lover. Yeah, yeah I think so. Do you follow yeah. this? Do you follow the county cricket much or? I, nah, it's hard to keep up really. Uh, I in, in in the old days I I always used to uh, buy the cricketer magazine and and see what the scores were like. But yeah, these days obviously you can have a. Uh, Mm. Misfield by Max O'Dowd. Yeah, uncharacteristic. Yeah. I've just yeah. put the hoodoo on them. Maybe that long hair's gone in that way finally. <laughs> now, it's hard to keep up, uh, but I do uh, follow some of the counties who uh, were good on social media mm -hmm. and uh, I pick up uh, wickets and, and interesting uh, facts. And But to be honest, I don't really know who plays for who, which county and, and, and and who's the best and and etc etc. Not enough time and that's oh. a big heave. Oh Pierce Fletcher. Oh the big man. Pierce Fletcher has made 15 meters to his left. He's taken a rolling catch. He's put the sunnies back on and 
There's some cheeky smiles on the VOC faces because I didn't think they thought the big man would get there. Yeah, that is a great, great catch by Pierce. Uh, on the edge of the inner circle, wide mid off. One thing I can tell you, Rob, Pierce will be watching this footage tonight at this very moment. He yeah. will rewind this a million times. Put this on the social media. Yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. will be on his Instagram, his <laughs> Facebook, his Tinder. Yeah. This will be on everything. Do you think is is uh, what's the, what's oh, the what's camera it, position? Oh. Yeah. I think it was just outside, Pierce. That's a no, no. I reckon you've got it. Okay. I reckon you've got that. I reckon we'll be able to watch that live. Well, not live, but later anyway. As that looks like it's Julian, Julian Demay, the ever improving Julian, the Dutch international Julian Demay, Demay yeah. now. So do when a RBS player makes the international level, do they do you do anything? Is there a little? Uh, we give him a mention on on our uh, social media yep. channels. Yeah. But is there a, maybe a little pin or something? Because he. No, 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 no. We actually uh, only just started to uh, to honor our uh, yeah our our centenaries and. Uh, 100 games from the first team and 200 games. So uh, did they get who? Get, so you have to go back through the old record books to find that. Yeah, but that's um, that's all. Um, yeah, registered really uh, through through KNCB and through uh, Rod Lyle. Uh, yeah, he does a lot of work, old yeah, Rod. Yeah, we can we can find it out. So Tobias Fise last week played his 200th yep. game, and Julian Demay played his 100th uh, top class game for uh, for HBS last season. So he must be in. 110 or so. So we do honor them with a with a little silver plaque. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice touch. So that is that short ball. Just it seems like Dirk Van Baren just every now and then just drags that length back and he's getting capitalised. Yeah. Nice shot from Navjeet there. Nice and patient. Oh yeah, he's very patient. He looks very good today. Scoreboard is on 79 for four. Yeah, 79. 25, I think. So you're saying uh, you give a pin for 50 and 100 matches and things like that. Who's played the most games for RBS? Do you know? I'm going to put you to the test. Pim van der Vecht? Nah, yeah, My old housemate? I don't <laughs> think so. Um, it could be me. I think it. Really? Could, yeah, I think it's Diederik Fizé. But maybe uh, if Short Wormon is uh, following, oh, then Stewie will yeah. be listening. He loves yeah. the cricket. Maybe please, please uh, correct me uh, if I'm wrong. Uh, but it might be Diederik Fizé. Um, probably some in yeah, the order of 400 games. Wow, well, okay, it's a I lot. I have played 320 or 30 or so. Yeah, yeah. Reinhardt will uh, be uh, up there as well, but he yeah, had. Hang on, <laughs> There's a Tobias Vise with a couple of cheeky remarks. Good luck next week, Tobes. Yeah, so a lot of games. You played more than 300. Yeah, yeah. It sounds painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, what were you thinking playing last week? And you've done your Achilles. What yeah. were you thinking? Yeah, I was thinking uh, I. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think a lot, really. I, uh, oh, as Julian DeMay chips that into the leg side. <laughs> but yeah, you, you've just thought one more game and bang. Yeah, I thought, well, uh, I, I don't mind to play with my uh, children and, uh, and see if I can keep up, keep up with them. I would have loved to have seen Monique's face when you told yeah. her the news. She was there. She was, she was at the game. She was scoring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Peter Saylor bowling to his left arm spin compatriot, Julian DeMay. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. We still haven't seen Young Seab yet. Seems to be warming up at mid-on. That is full, and you see a bit of puff of dust come up from the footmarks. And Pierce Fletcher, oh, a confident man throwing himself around in the field. It seems like uh, RBS at 4 for 84, just keep losing a wicket once they get a little partnership. 20 run partnership, wicket, 20 run, they just can't get that big partnership just yet. Oh, and that's an edge pass, Max O'Dowd. And that should be a three possibly. Max is quite quick over the turf for a burly man, so maybe just a two. 
did Stewie message? Did we get our message through from Stewie? I'm sure, yeah, here it is, Rob. Oh. I'm sure if any of our RBS, RBS listeners out there, maybe give some RBS questions. Uh, who's played the most games? Who's hit the most hundreds for RBS? Um, I think that could be me. Oh, jeez, Rob. Yeah. Jeez, I've loaded yeah. you up here, live on the air. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> Not unfortunately. Think, yeah. <laughs> this is your moment in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know how many hundreds I scored. Uh, they, uh, yeah, I think as a, yeah. if you're a true batsman, how many have you hit? Yeah, 11. Nice. In about 15 seasons or so. so it was w- once a season. Yep, yeah, one a season's always a good year. Yep. Yeah, it does look like it's going to be the leading wicket taker in top class. Young Sieb, so bowling his leg spin, off spin, top spin, caramballs, doucherers, a bit of licorice, all sorts, and he's had the competition, had the competition uh, under his palm so far this year. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue his wicket-taking feat. Last weekend in the double-headed rob, he took nine for thirty for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. I uh, heard so, I saw so, in all the social media. Here he comes for his first ball today, and that's a lot of flight, and that is hit beautifully by Navjeet Singh. So, as he wipes his hands on the palm, maybe a bit nervous for the young fella still, and that's the last shot. Navi looking good, the birthday boy, moves on to 25. With the score on 86 for four. Yeah. 24 overs to go. Yeah, still in this game. Navi's probably the key now. They really need someone to turn convert this 20 or 30 into a 70 or 80 or a 90 even. Yeah, it's still only six and over, but as you say, partnership is the key. Yeah, and the wickets column as well. They need to keep that down for now. But still a lot of batting to come. The, the Vink brothers are still in that lineup. I know how dangerous Ferdy Vink can be. Oh, that's well bowled. Being looked after in the commentary box, Rob. We're being looked right. after very well. Tapas. A little bit of tapas for us here. I think I enjoy this more than the playing days, to be honest. A little bit of food in the sun. Perfect. Are you, uh, up to uh, a rosé? <laughs> That's Already. covered driven beautifully, and Max O'Dowd atones for his error last over and picks it up with one hand. And brings on the left handed Julian DeMay. I did get a, a viewer's question. Oh, please. No, no. It's by, uh, by one guy called S. Worman. Oh, Stewie. Stewie Worman, yeah. He, um, Stewie Worman asked um, if you can uh, um, explain a little bit more about the, the famous Zami tournaments at HBS or in the Hague area. What, m- me? Yeah. Hoo <laughs> Jeez. Any, any stories to, oh uh, to, be, to be shared to uh, to the listeners? Or is that a case of... Uh, oh, that's a lovely shot. Sorry to interrupt you there. Julian DeMay has cover driven that beautifully and that's probably going to go for four. No, no, I can share a story or two. Just, I remember being told that there's a, the Zami cricket day is coming up at RBS and I thought, okay, sounds like a bit of fun and six aside things and team people are dressed up in fancy dress and that. I told one of my good friends, Josh, who was playing at Kampong at the time. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to come up for it as well. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm about an hour late. It started at 9 or something silly like that. As see bowls pretty nice ball outside off. And I get there and I come around the corner. I come through those gates. I work to the right and I look there. It's 10 a.m. Everybody's dancing on those benches on the outside. And there's my best friend, Josh, who's come all the way from Utrecht. Didn't even tell me he was there an hour already headband on a few beers and he's jumping around this is the greatest club in the world one of the the best days i know those zami cricket days toby as v say loved it as well he was always a couple of bitches in hand and yeah, nah. did, did, did toby play as well in those days no yeah. we weren't allowed to play we I, I wouldn't have played but i don't know if toby, i think Berent west was playing for those Zami games though yeah, with a with a costume on in yeah the, with a costume on yeah. and <laughs> no like i said one of the best social clubs in holland if not the best i don't know any other team it gets close actually. I think it's a great mix with the, the hockey and the football. And all the teams seem to support each other really well. Everyone just wants the Crows to win and then everyone's back at the clubhouse afterwards. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of spite in the pitch from Pace. That's a slow spin though. It's not not vicious, it's just slow spin. 91 for four. 
after 27 overs. Yeah, Peter Saylor, the old fox bowling to a young and prime Navi, and Navi Square drives that. And Navi, the birthday boy, 21 today. So or 20. Big, no, he's 21, oh, I'm not 20. told, yep. Okay. Yep, Stefan yeah. Vink told me. Ah. Um, he's on 26 and looking very good. Every time you say this, I'm uh, looking good. Sorry, I am a VOC <laughs> supporter these days. RBS is always my second club. No, I did enjoy my time there. We had a lot of success. Lots of fun. First year I came across with Brad Rodden. Remember Brad? Yes. He was uh, a very, very nice man. Good man. A lot of hair, Brad Rodden. Yeah, big uh, beard. Kiwi. Bowled some medium. nice medium paces and... Uh, yeah was a handy number five batsman. Actually, that's well played through backward point. That could be two if they scamper, no, just the one. He just, um, last year, actually got back into the first-class system and played a couple of games again oh, for really? Auckland. Okay. Played two first-class games last nice. year. He's apparently found some good form with the bat. And then my se second year, I came across, and I remember bringing Jaron Morgan, yeah. and he... I knew he was a quality player, so I'd played with him in Perth. But he took that t that year... Scored a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good year that year. I think yeah. I hit 720. No one yeah. talked about it because yeah. they were just like, well, Jaron said that. I was like, unbelievable. Yeah. And to be fair, I think it was the way he went about his runs. Those 1,000 runs, he had to have hit about 50 sixes. Mm -hmm. He hit so many sixes, that boy. They weren't small either. No, they weren't. He's a stocky man as Sieb continues and uh, well played by Navi. But yeah, you have been spoiled. You've always got good overseas. That I really like the look of that Tao. He, he batted beautifully, disappointed to be dismissed by Pierce Fletcher. And uh, Ryan Klein bowled beautifully as well today. Yeah. Oh, that's a miscued cut back to the bowler. Yeah, I'm still uh, trying to figure out what, what he is bowling, actually. Yeah, I, this I, is the confusion yeah. in the comp at the moment. Can't really see this one. Yeah, you've got good cricket eyes, though, Rob. Well, what's that? Offy. Is it? There was Offy. Is it? <laughs> I'm not telling you I'm not going to confirm I see this boy every week what's that one? Oh, he's got him he's got him down leg oh oh that stayed a little bit low that might have been the Dusra. <laughs> no one knows what this boy's bowling no, it's great to see he's been um, a youth kid for VOC for many years handy little batsman as well but his bowling in the last two years has really come on. You want to join us in the... Good, quick single. Brings the score to 92 for four after 28. We're still in the 28 over. Well, yeah, I like how RBS are still keeping themselves pretty much in this. Yeah. This is not r really, this is a little bit unlike how we is. Collapsing. Yeah, I we, think. We, we would always collapse after, yeah, having an opponent uh, on, on, on the back of their mm. heels and, 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 yeah, getting away with, with quite a big score. Then, then normally we would, uh, we would be uh, back in the pavilion. What was the, um, what was the tied game like the other week? Must have been, I've not seen a tied game in a 50 over clash. Yeah. The, the it was amazing. Uh, it, it, it was uh, shifting. The, the, the chances were, were going up and down towards HCC. In the end, they should have won, really. Uh, um, being only five down or six down, I think. Yep. And, um, but there was a stage that there were 15 below uh, DLS. And then, uh, yeah, there was one bad over from, from one of our young guys, and, and they were above DLS again. Yep. Uh, yeah. It, it, it was. I still have no idea how Duckworth Lewis even works. No, Confusing. No. Oh, and that's a close cut shot, almost sneaking through Navi's gap. A bit more turn happening maybe with the ball going on. But yeah, a tied tied game. I haven't been involved in a tied game, and you don't see them very often. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I was involved in two or three. In really? The, in, in the years, in all those years. Yeah. Well, that's well played from Navi, showing a bit of his class here and. Just knocking that on his head. Yes. Has Navi had a good season so far? I haven't been up to date with his scores. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah he's, he's, he's performed, I think he scored 30 or 40 in every game so oh, far. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh good. Yeah. Well, and was in big partnerships of 70, 80 with uh, Teo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll be looking to take that middle order position with both hands. 
He uh, probably needs to step up as well with Wesley Veracy retiring and, as we mentioned, Wessel Costa and Dennis Costa. And yeah. There has been yeah. quite a facade and beer, and there has been quite, quite yeah, yeah. a lot of changes, a lot of changes from a few years ago. That can happen, though, at once some, for some teams and club sides around the world. Just a cluster of players retire or give up boots, and then you have to rebuild once again. That's well Bob and if I, I like the look of Arnav. I, I think he's going to a big Dutch future ahead of him. Really tidy off spin, comes from a tall height, gets quite a bit of bounce, a lot of spin. Mike's bowling with the sun, he's on. And he's got really good control, really, really good control. That's the score is on 93 for four after 29 now. Julian the May on two. That can't be. He, uh, he's on three, but I don't think that's correct. He hit a four, didn't he? Hit he hit a four. So, yep. yeah, so maybe I think he's on We'll have to double check with the scorers. Yeah. Navjeet Singh, we've got him on 28, still there. He's the glue in the middle. There's VOC now operating with the two spinners, getting through these overs pretty quickly as well. So it'll be 132, 133 of 21 overs. Yeah. Yeah. Six overs. So it's starting to get at six overs. But I think in this day and age, even if it gets to seven and over, you're not too worried. Players seem to be able to hit boundaries quite easily. On this wicket? On this wicket, though. Well, I know you feel that 30, oh, yeah. 30 Vink gets in later. He doesn't mess around. Mm hmm. True. It only takes one little cameo here, a little 40 off 20 as Sieb comes in. Bowls, it might have been a top spinner or a leg spinner or a yep. Who knows? I can't see from this <laughs> from this angle. The mystery <laughs> man, Ajantha Mendez. chat from Max O'Dowd saying the required rate is lifting he's above six now as Julian hits that nicely down the ground for a single he's improved his batting a lot you can tell a lot more confident yeah they were all decent players when you were uh, around coaching I think you uh, did some good job uh, yeah, I enjoyed myself coaching yeah. these guys they're always hungry to learn always yeah. rocked up to training and that's a spray down the side that's what I love about Navi. He manipulates the ball lovely and very calmly. That's what he did with bowling-wise as well, Mani manipulating the ball a little bit with yeah. his. Uh, yeah, I've never seen swing. him bowl off spin before. That was different. No, he usually bowls his big banana in swingers. Yeah, that was in the red ball uh, era. Yep. I think that ball was a bit more suited for his bowling. Oh, we were we had some crazy fields when he was bowling at Harvey. So we, I remember I was fielding at like a little bat pad on the leg side. We'd have little two catches at mid-wicket, a deep square, a little leg side. So he used to swing it that much. Oh, it was almost as a batsman, you couldn't hit him on the offside. No. And that's well played again. Scott Edwards, the national keeper, just a little bit of foxing. The two national keepers here today, Toby Svisa and Scotty Edwards. There's a few compatriots enjoy themselves. A nice warm beer. Finally, a bit of summer weather. Finally. That was a long day. Corey, how, how often are you going to Belgium? Three days a week now. Yeah. yeah so running a pretty big program there and yeah it's uh there's not too many hands-on people so it's when you're organizing a tour or the 19s the women's the a team it's just yourself they've, they've got a couple of volunteers that help out the women as well women as well we've just hired our first women's coach so he's going to take over that but um yeah it's it's a good little system but yeah we could use a few extra hands it, it is difficult to stay on top of everything because when we organize a series there's no as that's flicked by Julian. Straight to 45, could be a run out, and Yelta takes his time. Um, yeah, so even organising tours, I'm on the phone to different countries, organising the itinerary. And so, yeah, it's quite a hands on job, but it's enjoyable. I've got some really good cricketers, and they're so keen to learn. So keen to learn down there. They need to fix their structure a little bit and learn the game a little bit more. 
batting in, discipline. Is it in Antwerp? Uh, we try and base ourselves out of Antwerp for the um, trainings on a Wednesday evening. And then on if we get intra-squad games, our home is RBCC in Brussels. So tomorrow we've got two intra-squad games because hmm. we have a tour of Malta coming up in about five weeks. So that's about to get... Oh, that's going to be spinning down leg, I imagine. Yeah, so that's about to get announced. I think I wasn't even meant to say that just then. That's a seek, sneaky off the press. But yeah, we're off to Malta for a training camp and uh, five internationals versus them. They're a green country at the moment, so there's no isolation rules, which makes it a little bit easier. Oh, that's a long hop and well played by Nav G. He's sort of a standing pool sweep. Flick that beautifully. He's been hot in that zone today. And the score goes to 107 now. But yeah, no, it's a good job, Rob. I'm enjoying it. There's a lot, lot of talent. A lot of talent. Undiscovered, but it's all very raw. Is there any, any native Belgians in... Like, like Jamie Famillo and Roger mm -hmm. Sarklane, both born mm -hmm. in Belgium, mm -hmm. born and bred, and they're both in the national squad now. But then obviously we do have quite a lot of um, Asian expat influence. Mm -hmm. They've been, But they, they say Belgium's their home. They've been there for 10 plus years and so on. And yeah, uh, it's a good squad trying to get them fitter. And yeah, it's enjoyable. Is there also uh, guys like Guy van der Smissen or, 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 or uh, Jan Keulemans uh, playing cricket around there? No, uh, not that I know of. I don't know those names, Rob. <laughs> uh, Simon Newport's back playing for Antwerp. They, their domestic season starts next week, actually. So I know they've been starved of cricket and our program got washed out again because of the pandemic, but they all go back into regular fixtures as of next week, so they're pretty excited. Score is 1-7 for 4, 32 overs. Or 4 for 107, the Australian way. Yeah. <laughs> That's I always found that weird. Why do we say it different? It's because Australians are a little bit funny? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's always it's 4 for 107. Mm. Well, young C, maybe that was the off-spinner. Well played by Julian Demain. VOC trying to uh, take the fifth wicket, but RBS putting on a little bit of a partnership. This partnership's grown to 28. Julian's on 10. Navji on 34. One feels if RBS are going to get close today. Young Navi on his birthday might have to score quite big. And that is a great sweep. Great stop as well by... That's the old boy, Yelta, Yelta Schoonheim. Yeah. He's been pretty proficient backward of square today, Navi. Sweeps and pulls. Oh, as he punches that straight, young C does well to keep it, keep it to a dot. This game definitely still on. Maybe we check some scores around the ground, Rob. Oh, and that's cut beautifully, but straight to Max. So a couple of dot balls. Yeah, I wonder what's happening in that Excelsior HCC game. Nice shot there by Navi and Peter Saylor does some brilliant work at mid-wicket to keep it to another dot. So a good over from Young Sieb there. Yeah, what we see is that Dossi are losing some wickets. Three wickets, 106 for three after 23 overs, mm. chasing 302 of VRA. We see... Um, oh, wow. Well, Excelsior has done it. has done it already, yeah. 92 for 4. Stubbs ends the game on 44 not out. So after being 4 for 12, they got there easily. Yeah. Interesting. Good on them. Yeah. Not unusual for Excelsior to uh, to scrap home. No, they're one of the, I think, yeah. they're, they're just a good team. They 11 proper cricketers. I actually think they're favourites for the title this year. Arnav Jan continuing now to Julian Demay and Cut, oh, driven uppishly and a little bit of confusion, but it'll be a dot ball. Four for 108 the scores here. What else is uh, going on around the grounds, Rob? Yeah, that's from half an hour ago already. ACC 38 for three after 15, chasing 244. So you'd think that's... Vorberg. Yeah, that's yeah. probably too much to get for ACC, you'd imagine. Yep. And uh, we have a look. What about the Punjab Sparta? Punjab Sparta. Yeah, that's not been updated that well. It Sparta 31 for one. But that's already uh, nearly 40 minutes ago. Yeah. 
Oh, as Navdeep pulls out that sweep shot again, and that's big Pierce Fletcher doing the mopping up and well fielded out there, so it'll just be a single. Decent arm. Yeah, he's got a good shoulder, Pierce. Big frame, good shoulder. So some interesting results around the grounds then. Uh, I guess this this is it for now. That's it for now. Maybe we'll give some yeah. updates in the seven overs time at the 40 over mark. Oh, that's well bowled, but that's all bat. So mischievous appeal from Arnav, who's bowling pretty tidy spell here. Yeah, he's enthusiastic. Let's say enthusiastic. Yeah. A feeling. Young guy. What's his age? 19. Hmm. Yeah, so young Sieben himself, 19 and 17. Been bowling. They opened the bowling for us last week versus Dossie. Went with the two off spinners to start. <laughs> Something a little bit different. Tried to beat the weather. <coughs> well, that's well played. Nice and late by Julian. who <coughs> is looking pretty good as well. He's on 12. Navajit Singh's on 35. The score's 4 for 110 off 34 overs. 116 runs required. Oh, well, maybe the batsmen starting to think if they can kick in the singles, or maybe one of them opens up a little bit, Rob. Yeah, I think singles are the key at this stage. Yep. Up to the 40th over, definitely. It's a beautiful day for cricket. Just sitting back in the sun. Life could be worse. Did you put some suntan lotion on? No. No, oh, I did about six hours ago. Yeah. Probably need a new squeeze. It is starting to bake down here. And there's that sweep shot again from Nabi. And that's picked out Bobby Hanif at Deep Acre Square. He plays that sweep really well, Rob. Yeah, he's uh, mainly a leg side uh, player, but he's very patient and um, he, he, he's got a good um, lofted uh, yeah, drive sort of over cow. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's very uh, well executed. Uh, I hope to see that uh, later on as well. Oh, is that inside edge from Julian who sets off down the wicket and almost run out? Oh, you have brought the sunscreen, Rob. Yeah, Sensational. Yeah. You go yeah, first yeah. and I'll, I'll follow you yeah. as we sit on the terrace at VOC and it is scorching up here now. <laughs> Once that wind goes away, it's very, up to, very warm. Up to the mid, mid tens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a scorcher at 16 degrees. <laughs> Where's the hottest place you ever played cricket? Did you ever have a day you thought, oh, this is unbearable? Yeah, South Africa was was uh, was getting hot. Um, Kenya was humid. Malaysia was very humid and, and 30, 35. Yeah. That, was, that wasn't nice to play in. I haven't played in, 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 in Australia. You never uh, went to Australia to no, play? Oh, no. that's a shame. Oh, as Navi goes for the sweep and that could be close. No, maybe struck him outside the line of off stump. Big appeal from VOC. They know that Navi is the key wicket here today. Thank you, Rob. As he passes over the sunscreen. <laughs> Oh, and there's another appeal. Going down leg this time. So did you always just play for HBS then? Did you play for any other club? No. Nope. Just no, HBS? No, no, no. HBS and Northern's Goodwood in Cape Town. Northern's Good. Cape Town's a beautiful part of the world. Yeah. My word. Oh, and it looks like they're going to the long-haired assassin, Maxwell O'Dowd. It'll be interesting to see what you think of his leg spin. Have you seen him bowl leg spin before? Uh, yeah, I think I have. I think I have. Yeah, he's had a good start to the year with his bowling. He's being used more and more by VOC. VOC have four spinners, Max, Sieb, Arnav and Peter Saylor. A very spin-dominated team. So Ziggo Sports doing the cricket next week, I hear. Yeah. That's a pretty big achievement, isn't it? Yeah, great, great, great news for uh, makes the cricket a little bit broader. Yes, Open. absolutely. With the commentary from John van Vliet. Yeah. And I think Jeroen Smits is in the in the box as well. Excellent. Max starts with his first delivery. 
Oh, that's swept. Full ball swept, but pretty well swept by Julian DeMay. That's a single max uh, first slip. Peter Sale's hands in his head, thinks that was quite close. But uh, almost under 100 runs now. They've got a few wickets in hand still. Right, they've, it's been a battle of attrition this, this innings. They've just, just kept themselves in it the whole time. Navjeet Singh on 35 not out. The birthday boy turned 21 today, looking to bring his side home. That's a lovely drive, and Young Sieb does the mopping up at mid off. I think VOC likes to stick the board on 1 1 1. I don't know why. <laughs> You're a superstitious man. Not really, but uh, yeah, if it's... Oh, and that's a big sweep shot. That might spin away from Bobby Haneef. It'll just be a single. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. In Australia, it's 87. Yeah. 87 is yeah. our bad luck number, so you don't want them... If you're batting and it's you're on 87, you don't want them to put it on the board. You don't want the team show to be on the board, and no one's allowed to say the number. It's a really, really, really bad number for an Aussie. The score moved up from 1-1-1 one, one, one to 1-1-3 one, one, yeah. after this single. Maybe it was tactical. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short ball and Navi's gone to that favoured pull shot again and picked out Pierce Fletcher on the rope. So a couple of nice shots this over, but straight to the deep sweepers. But yeah, so you weren't superstitious as a cricketer? Yeah, I, I, I was a bit. Um, I had some routines. Um, mm -hmm wanting to step over the boundary with my left foot uh, oh well, that's pretty that's very superstitious that's quite a, yeah okay yeah <laughs> maybe it is yeah so it's just, <laughs> tell me that one again so when you went on the boundary over the rope to start the game you had to go over with your left foot yeah yeah <laughs> but it was more uh, uh it wasn't super, super superstition it was just sounds a habit. It, it was a habit what happens <laughs> if you went on with the right foot it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his Navi hits that nicely, and he might get two this time. As Bobby Hanif does the sweeping up. It might be three. It could be three if Julian DeMay is quick enough, and no, no, he isn't, so it'll just be two. I think that was an easy three. Was there anything else? Um, I would, uh, but it was more like a sort of a preparation thing that but when I would go out to bed, I would uh, do some eye exercises, uh, focusing, trying to focus yeah, okay, on, that's good on, prep. On, on, on grass uh, leaves and yep. looking at the sky to see the, the, the bluest part of the sky and, and, and just to get, yeah, get focused, yep. literally and, and, and figuratively. So not really superstition. But I like the foot over the boundary one. For me, if I ever did well, um, if I make a 50 or 100, the next week I'd have to be wearing the same socks and the same underwear. Okay. They were washed. <laughs> they were washed. <laughs> well, yeah, I always thought, well, something's right. The clothes, because you always had the blanket, but the socks and underwear had to be the same. It's a bit weird. We are, cricketers are a bit weird though, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, and that's a big slog sweep, and that must have been close to the stumps. They say um, Neil McKenzie was the biggest with superstition. He used to hang his bats from the ceiling. Uh, we had players uh, sleeping with the bats on, on their head. Oh, and he's tried the slog sweep again and inside edge. What was that? So could you say that again? Uh, there that, that, that was one guy playing with us. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, people that uh, played in that era know who he, uh, who it was. He, uh, he would uh, sleep and uh, put his bat uh, yeah, flat on the forehead. No way. Yeah, yeah. So he'd sleep with the bat balancing on his forehead. Yeah, I don't think it was the full night's sleep that he could uh, ma maintain this position. But what did his wife think? Oh, that must be close. That must be. Uh, and he's given the nod, and Young Steve's picked up another wicket. So Julian Demay, he he went for that slog sweep twice earlier in the over, missed it, yeah. and he's third time lucky for the young bowler. Rob, do you think that maybe he should have been looking to go a little bit straighter? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. The, with yeah. the ball turning yeah. away. and yeah. yeah, he'll be disappointed with that. And once again, that good partnership of 40. The score is now 5 for 119. And uh, it looks like, oh, we forgot to mention this. Adil Ahmed Adil. as well. He can bat. Yeah. He can bat Adil. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that takes C, the leading wicket taker in the comp with another wicket. He'll be ecstatic with that, the young fella. 
and Navjeet Singh still there on 39. So I don't want to get off this topic just yet. He, <laughs> he, he, I'm trying to picture this. So yeah, is this a teammate? Was this a teammate? Yeah, it was not a Habeas teammate. No, no. Dutch international. Yeah, young, young Holland, Dutch international. You've got to tell us the name. Nah. For all the nah, viewers, come nah, on. No, nah. everybody in, in Dutch cricket knows who he is. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna find his way. So he would sleep with the bat balancing on his forehead. Do you have, have a wife? Uh, <laughs> What's the, so the wife jumps into bed, she goes to roll over to give him a yeah. hug and there's a bat on his head. No, this was on tour. <laughs> that's one of the greatest stories I've ever heard. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I've heard some things in my time, but that takes the cake. Did it help him make runs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> not really, yeah, not really. So you didn't bat well, maybe you have to put your pads on when you go to sleep as well. Oh, that's funny. Cricket superstitions as Adil Ahmed comes to the crease and take his first ball and we'll see bowling very straight, very, very straight. So with Adil there with Navi, Ferdy Vink still to come, who I know can hit a big ball. RBS will still think they're in this chase, but they're falling a little bit behind the required rate. Yeah, 119. Yeah. Four weeks down. Five, I think it's five now. I'm not too sure that was updated. Yeah. That's five down. 14 overs to go. Yeah, what you feel Navi probably has to hit a big score to... He feels, feels like the glue. He is the glue at the moment. Yeah, there's more and more pressure on this. Uh, not so tiny shoulders anymore. No, 21. He's a man in America yeah. now. Yeah. That's a big birthday, the 21st. That's as big as it gets. That's your biggest birthday. Max O'Dell with the leg spin and stays a little bit low and two short covers and they've kept mid off and mid on up in the ring here and I like that maybe to try and entice the young fella to a bigger shot and I've just said it and he's gone for the big shot and he's got enough of it to get it through wide mid wicket and he'll turn for two but you were saying that he, he he does play that shot well when he comes down and it's sort of a chip over the top, you were saying before? Yeah, not so much a chip, more a, a, a sort of, um, yeah, a cow, a cow sort of, yeah. a controlled cow. Oh, and that is short from Max O'Dowd, and he's pulled that hard, and he should get two again, but Pierce has a good shoulder. Oh, here's a good throw, and he makes Navi run the full distance. A good fielding by Pierce Fletcher, but Navi, the young boy on his birthday, Getting closer and closer to a 50. For me, uh, uh, he has to be on the precipice of some more Dutch cricket, young Navi. He looks very good. That's a full ball, and he's. Where's that going? Oh, he's carved it out to Bobby at okay. deep cover point. But yeah, a young Dutch cricketer, 21, played top class for years. If he gets a couple of big scores this year. Yeah, if you score four 40s, 50s in a, in a, in a row, uh, yeah. I, I guess. Uh, You'd think the selectors or the, would at least be having a good look. Yeah. A good look. I've said for a few years, I think Navi is going to be playing a lot of Dutch cricket the older he gets. So Deal faces the first ball from Max. And that is a thin edge and it looks like it's caught. And Yeah, there was a big noise there, Rob. But Adil doesn't seem too happy. Do you think he got a bit about on that? I don't know. Really don't know. Well, they went up. He seems very surprised. Uh, mm. But it was a confident appeal. Yeah, it was very confident, and I know Scotty Edwards behind the gloves, uh, behind the stumps, is a good keeper, very, very good keeper. Doesn't go up for not ev everything, so he must have thought there was a little thin edge there, and uh, just those steady procession of wickets. As I reckon, that's now Ferdy. Yeah. So this is uh, for me. This is the partnership that has to to blossom. Ferdy Vink, I know very well. Went away to Croatia with him a few years ago. Me hmm. and Ferdy, a good friend of mine, good man, strong. Stronger than you think, Ferdy. Hits a hard ball. He just needs to go support Navjeet Singh for a while. As Max picks up his first wicket of the day. Yeah, Spinner's doing a good job here. Yeah, this is sort of what the VOC base themselves around in the middle overs, the spin, making them bowl nice and straight lines and waiting for the batsman to make the error. Yeah. 
it's the over 124 six down 12 hours to go all right so 102 and 12 102 of 12 now so the yeah. asking rates maybe at the 8 9 mark yeah yeah that's uh, starting to get a little bit that's four or five singles and a boundary for over yeah starting to get a little bit tough for Javier so I think they'll look back earlier in the day and be pretty upset with the drop catches they uh, unfortunately dropped seven or eight today I heard so I yeah. didn't see it I heard a lot about it I've uh, I know that RBS boys quite well and uh, I know they pride themselves on their fielding that was just one of those days they all had a bit of a shocker to be honest and Yeah, they'll uh, be ruining that. Six for 124. Here comes Sieb down the leg side. And that's well picked up from Ferdy Vink. But he gets it straight to Bobby Hanif and he's underway. That uh, was Navi. <coughs> oh, my apologies. It was Navi. Thank you, Rob. He's played that shot well today. Then. He loves a little tickle around the corner. So what can Ferdy Vink do? A little captain's cameo, maybe? C ball straight and blocked into the offside. A little bit of confusion, but he should get back. And Rob, you've got the scores of Sparta and Punjab. What's yeah, the score there? Punjab 285 for nine, and Sparta is on 77 for three after 24. Uh, Vorberg 244, and ACC currently 95 for five after 29 overs. Uh, VRI Dosti, Dosti uh, 130 for four after 29. Chasing three. Oh, two. and sorry to interrupt you, Rob. Young Steve's got the captain, Ferdy Vink, with a, a ball that's turned sharply through the gate and hit the leg stump. So, a second wicket for the young fella. He's having a good season. And uh, did it turn from off to leg? Or from I can't leg tell you, off? Rob. If you're not going to pay attention, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the traditional off spinner, and it went through the gate. It was actually quite a nice delivery, be uh -huh. one to look back at after. Now, you, was there a few more scores there, or? Uh, I think that's uh, that's about it with uh, Excelsior beating HCC. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Excelsior getting the win. <laughs> so looks like Benno to the crease, young Benno. Yeah, yeah, all uh, young guys maturing a little bit in the in the first team from from dedicated fielders to uh, bowling a few overs and, and betting uh, not high up the order but still uh, very capable of uh, assisting Navjit still so it's still not over but uh, looking uh, looking a bit darker here yeah look Navjit's gonna have to play an absolute amazing innings you'd feel for Harvey has to go over the line seven wickets down now for 124 Young Seeb with two wickets to his name now, the young 17 year old mystery spinner. No one knows in the country what he bowls, it's unbelievable. He bowls to the left handed Benno, and oh, that might have been the toppy. I think that was the top spinner, so almost takes the off stump. He's a clever little man. I think it's about time that, um, <laughs> that, 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 yeah clubs would have a look at um, slow motions and replays and, the, and this uh, yeah, well, with him taking so many wickets yeah no, it's pretty exciting for him it must be exciting for Dutch cricket to have a 17 year old leading the wicket taking comp so oh, yeah. well, was him and young Navi showing today that Dutch cricket's future is in good hands hopefully Navi can get himself to a, to a 50 today for the birthday boy but sort of feel 100 off the last 11 there's 7 for 124 probably a bit too much to ask that's stiff crazier things have happened though just like you popping your Achilles playing cricket again at your age what are, how old are you Rob? Uh, <laughs> yeah 45 52 <laughs> <laughs> oh it's Navi that's a gorgeous shot and that's over mid wicket that's going to slow down a little bit that should bring his 50 though should bring up his 50 should get 3 Yes, and that's well done and well batted from Navi. That brings up his 50, we believe, here in the com box. And I think it's 50, just waiting to hear if there's any applause around. 
Maybe we have our scores wrong, but I think yeah. it is 50 for him. Maybe he was on 44. And the on that's unbelievably quick scoring if it is. <laughs> Max bowling to Benno now. and ooh, Leg spin outside the off stump. Yeah, not too sure what Navi's score is. We'll have to clarify that. He's gone backwards one. Back to 46. Amazing. <laughs> That's well played by young Benno. So how old's Benno? Um, he must be 20, I think. Yeah. 19 yeah. or 20. Yeah, pretty young oh, squad. Yeah. Oh, and that's a big heave across the line. It's landed in a mid-wickets gap. Should be two. There's a, a big jumbo jet goes straight over us in the commentary box. Max continuing and Benno showing some nice technique and blocking that one down. So VOC looking to stay at the top of the table if they get this win. Do you have a, a favourite for the comp this year, Rob? Uh, not really. Um, Any teams that you've seen that you thought? Yeah, HCC looks very solid. VOC, from what I look now, what I see now, is, is yeah, they, they, they're right in the uh, favourites. As well, yeah, definitely solid as well. What about yeah. Excelsior? Yeah, always, always. Yeah, I think Excelsior for me is still the favourite. So they've Tough. won four of the last five, or three of the last four, or something like that. Tough competitors. It, uh, I think it's going to be between HCC, VOC, and Excelsior. Yeah, VCC with that strong bowling lineup, a ridiculously strong bowling lineup for top classer. Yeah, I, we have to see uh, that they, they they're all playing in the national team as well. Um, mm -hmm. Don't know if. Um, if they can keep up with all those heavy loads. Mm. Well, that's your Rolling. job, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Navi plays that beautiful sweep shot yeah, again. That's going to be his 50. Yeah, that should get past the rope for four. And uh, Yelta Schoonheim does the mopping up, and it'll just be three, so maybe he's only on 49. We're not too sure, but I swear he hit a three and a three, and he was already near it. Yeah. No, yeah. that is 50, so. Uh, with a three. It's a bit of confusion on the scorecard, but we believe that is Navi's 50. Can we clap? Yeah, yeah. we'll, do it. we'll yeah. give him a little clap through the comm box. We think it's 50, so we're going to give it to him. He's batted beautifully. 21 on his birthday. Let's see. A little bit of a long hop. Yeah, but Navi's, it's been a class innings. Well played by Benno down the ground. Takes the score up to 135 with uh, a bit more than 10 overs to go. And they, they say next year it'll be a 12 team top classer. Yeah. Have you ever, has it ever been that big before? Is that the biggest? Yeah, I can't remember. No. Navi pulls that hard to deep mid wicket for a single. Yeah, 12 teams would be big. What do you think of the finals system coming in? Um, I, 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 You're a commentator, you've got to be yeah, honest. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be up to date with, with how it works. Yeah, yeah so that, it's that, top that, four, yeah. 1v2. Explain. <laughs> and the winner of the first versus second goes straight to the grand final. Three versus four, the losers eliminated straight away. And the winner of three versus four will play the loser of 1v2 in a preliminary final. And then the winner of that will go back into the grand final. So if you finish in the top two, you get two chances to make it. Yeah. Oh, as Navi hits that hard to deep mid wicket, and Tim DeCock, good fielder, does the mopping up. And come back for a second. Yeah, so thoughts on finals or? Yeah, it seems seems quite uh, interesting, a fair sort of uh, setup. Yeah. Different? Different, yeah. You're a cricket would, purist, so it's yeah. probably a little bit not <laughs> on the side of what you like. I, I'm coming from Australia, we've always had finals. So I actually enjoy yeah. it. Like, no, I, I think yeah, I, it, it, it's better to keep it competitive uh, right to the end uh, for more and more um, 
clubs. Well, also uh, more and more teams. Imagine yeah. at the end of each year now, you have the grand final and there's two teams. So you might actually get quite a decent turnout to that. Most yeah. of the other clubs would come and watch. Makes a bit of a one day festival of cricket, which is quite nice. So it looks like they've gone to the old boy, Yelta Schoonheim, been handed the ball. A couple of lottery overs here at the back end. Still gets it through all right, old Yelt. And he's always been as strange as ever. Some would say getting stranger over time. And his father still playing as well. <laughs> And for which club at the moment? Then? Is it VSC? Yeah, okay. If we had a threes team, I dare say he'd be playing. <laughs> 75, 76, 82. 80. Yelta gets worked away nicely by Benno into mid wicket for a single. So now G on 51 not out for for the Crows. Where does the Crows come from? What's the story with that? Ryan Hub. Mm -hmm. It's our uh, club, mm -hmm. uh, our, our uh, ground. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, that, that's where the Kraaien, the crows are coming from. Um, I have to uh, think hard why Kraaien out. I'm not too sure. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Well, uh, this year, nice new outfits. Oh, yeah. Fully black. Oh, no, and that's Sky. So you have to get Pierce Fletcher under it. It's a swirly one. And Pierce takes it with those big bucket hands. So, a second catch for Pierce and uh, Navjeet Singh, who batted pretty well today, 51, is dismissed. The birthday boy. He did well though, didn't he, Rob? Yeah, was a mature innings um, and yeah, ran out of partners. Had yeah. Having to go for the big one, really. I was going to say that uh, he would go after Yelta this this over and mm. uh, see what happens. Yeah, just not enough support. He needed someone to bat with him today, and uh, yep. it looks like he's dismissed for 53. The score's 8 for 139. But, yeah, well batted by Navi, the birthday boy, as he gets a warm round of applause. Yeah, Pierce is right in the action. This, uh, yeah. this it, must have, it must have been that six, six overs he came off the field and just refreshed himself. Yep. So definitely helped. Yep. And that brings Stefan Vink to the crease. Stefan will be hoping to maybe show what he can do here. He uh, unfortunately had three dropped catches today. He dropped Peter Saylor on a duck. So, yeah, he'll be hoping for a better day with the bat. Yeah, I think he um, he's, he's the head of our coaching staff at Harvey. Yeah? So yep. I, I think oh, he does a good job. The basics, uh, he, he knows the basics. Yeah, <coughs> so we can all have pretty rough days can happen to us. <laughs> it's uh, well defended into the leg side by Benno, so just two wickets to go. Yeah, looks like VOC will take the four points here today. I think uh, Harbi S will look back at those dropped catches as pretty costly. Oh, Benno with a thick inside edge through backward square leg for a single. And that brings Mr. Stefan Vink on strike for the first time today. But yeah, you did say the whole black kit of Harbi S. I think it's the nicest looking kit. We were talking about that earlier today. That's our number one for the season. You guys look good. He's always a very nice kit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we are proud, proud of our uh, black uh, ancestry. And that's hit to cover. Another dot ball. How many members are at RBS these days? Uh, the, 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 the whole club. The yeah. whole club. It's yeah. about 2,300, 2,300. Yep. Hockey, soccer and cricket. How's the football going there? How'd they go last year? Uh, um, quite okay. They're at the uh, Second or third highest amateur league. Yep. So uh, <coughs> doing uh, quite okay. Um, years before, we all would always have uh, some some sort of uh, paid players, pro professional players, uh, ex-professionals in the football <coughs> system. In the football system, being paid by by the club, but uh, we 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 stopped mm -hmm. that. They're uh, on the full amateur basis. Uh, okay. Playing now or 
coaching, then they can earn a little bit of money. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we stepped off of that. So uh, yeah, then you can't keep up with the highest amateur leagues. No, um, of course not. It's too, too difficult. <coughs> Right, so it's a pretty healthy numbers, that many members. You know, see, bowls and... Oh, jeez, he's inside edge. I thought it bowled him at first. Looks like he's inside edged it for a one. <laughs> no one really chased after. I thought that clean bowled him for a second then. <laughs> so what do you make of young Sieb so far? Yeah, very interesting. Different, <laughs> right? Yeah. Surprise act. Every ball, a surprise act. Yeah, what he does do well is because he doesn't get much movement with ball both ways just a little bit he bowls very 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 straight so a lot of his wickets are LBWs or bowls really like he's out of his 15 wickets this year I reckon 12 are LBW so he makes sure that if you make any error as a batsman he capitalises almost he's not the tallest man in the world and he's always hitting those stumps with a couple of little different deliveries <laughs> oh, he's driven that nicely, Stefan Ving. So he's looking good with the bat. Bit of confidence back for the young man. Yeah, one of the senior players, really. Uh, yeah, he's been around a while now. Yeah, around 30, 31. Yep. Oh, that's well bowled again and well played by Benno who's looking alright here he's on 8 not out the score's 8 for 144 only 8 overs left in this game so unless there's a little bit of a miracle VOC more than likely to take the 4 points and that's what I was talking about but that one's sliding down but nice to have some cricket in some sunshine that was one of the weirdest first 6 rounds with COVID as well and rain and yeah I've been here for five years and I've never seen anything like that to start a season. I don't think you've seen it in... I've played for 20 years here and I uh, I haven't seen this. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Yeah, and the problem was just a bit unfortunate with timing that in May you play seven or eight games. The biggest congestion of fixtures is the first month. So a lot of teams had washouts when they uh, yeah, would have rather to be on the park. 144 score oh that's a wide <laughs> drive and he's missed that my uh, throat is playing tricks on me <coughs> oh mate I think I need a uh, need something uh, of the gold color yeah yep. it's getting to that time that's well bowled by Yelter as this game sort of meanders out now so coming to its crescendo, as they like to say, it's been a long day in the sun. I dare say my forehead's taken a beating. It was very red. Very yeah, looks, looks good. Yeah, good yeah. peachy colour. Yeah. Well, it'll be an early night for me tonight. And that's a little ledge and a little bit of luck this time for Stefan Ving. That should race away for four, so a bit of disappointment there for you to be looking for another wicket, but a bit of luck for the Harvey S. Batsman. So who do Harvey S. have next week, Rob? Do you know their upcoming fixtures? Um, we have Dossi tomorrow. That's what we know. Sorry? Tomorrow? Yeah. Huh? That's uh, a game that we um, were going to play in that Ireland week. Okay. I think on the, on the Ascension Day. And that's been postponed to today. So, okay, so do it got postponed? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. So, yeah, if, if in, in, in uh, collaboration with the uh, opponent, uh, you, you could ask for a, a new for date, basically. For a new, yeah. And we. Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, it wasn't the Ascension Day, it was the, the that game afterwards. Yeah. So, so we decided uh, that uh, we. We played without our two uh, overseas, or with mm. without Tobias and uh, Ryan. Um. Yeah. Okay. So you're playing tomorrow yeah. against Dosti. Yeah. Well, I just think you might be favourites for that one away. away. Yeah. Oh, and that's lofted straight to mid off, and Ayers Durrani sets himself and takes the catch. So that's the ninth wicket down, and Stefan Vink would be disappointed he didn't get a bit more bat on that. Was a slower ball. Yep. 
pretty well bowled, bit it from the wild old fox, and yeah. one more wicket to go, and the score is <laughs> nine for 148. So you got Harvey S. Dosti tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, Harvey S. They've shown glimpses today, Harvey S. They they had mm. us on the ropes. I think we were four for 70 at one stage, yeah. and yeah. Uh, they showed glimpses with the bat, just couldn't get the big partnership. Uh, this is a yeah a learning year really, yes. um, and without relegation that helps. Mm. But yep. Then again, we yeah we voted for uh, just the proper competition. We we wouldn't have mind if uh, if uh, if there was a relegation. Yeah, I think that's uh, the view of well, that's my view personally as well. Yeah. I think there should have been relegation this year. It would have just added a little bit more spice to the if competition. If you have a champion, then you have a relegation as well. Yeah. But then again, yeah, it gives us a bit more uh, freedom, fitting in young guys like well, Ju Julian van der Raat, who is uh, betting at 11. No, it gives you a chance to uh, play the uh, young kids and give some more exposure, which is always nice. I think you guys will probably be favourites going into Dosti tomorrow. Is it? I did know that it's interesting that you could postpone that game and play it on a thing. I, I wonder if in the future... If if the forecast is severely bad and everyone knows that, let's see, continues, and everyone knows that it's more than likely all the games will be washed out, why couldn't we just postpone a round? Yeah. Is that possible? I'm not sure well, yeah. about the regulations. Um, like if it's a day you know where it's 100% raining everywhere. And yeah. You say, yeah. Because, yeah, we did yeah. lose quite a lot of cricket at the start. It's that young C bowls, and that should be the end of the game. Caught by Tim DeCock. So young C picks up another three wickets. RBS all bowled out for 148. VOC making 225 earlier in the day and uh, 77 run victory. Robert, did you enjoy the game? A little bit disappointing they didn't get a bit closer, but Navi batted really well. Yeah, I saw good things with Navi. I saw Tayo, Tayo Walbrook uh, showing some class. Um, yeah, it was a bit. There were signs. Yeah, there, there were signs of a, of a resurrection, really. Yeah. It was a difficult few years that we had, so um, yeah, it looks good, looks bright, the future. Yeah. But we're not there yet. Uh, but this 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 is a process that we have to go through, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and look, it's a, it's a tough team to come up against at the moment. Three internationals, Max Scott and Peter Saylor, they're all in pretty good form, and the VOC uh, group as well, Young Sieb and Arnav and. Yeah, it's a good squad. I think a VOC will be looking for a grand final finish this year. So, pretty tough day at the office for RBS. But it was a good game of cricket, Rob. And thanks for joining us, mate. Hopefully, we'll get to do this at RBS later in the year. Yeah, we we'll definitely. We uh, we've got a commentary uh, sort of team. You and, better uh, get me on that team. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that uh, is, <laughs> that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us here, and uh, yeah, we'll welcome. be back next week uh, for VOC Excelsior in Ski Arm. Cheers. Bye bye. Who werkt dit? Who werkt dit? Fering, Jantje. Hey, 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 hey.
Oh, dat denk ik dan nog aan. Puppies weg. Oh. Wat? Dan heb je weer even tijd op. Hey joh, ik kom helemaal voor uit aan mijn vraag. Ik denk dat het groene apparaat de op...